<clears throat> okay, what is up, everybody? Ted one back for Strictly Comics, and we are here for an affordable auction 129. Yes, that is a special number to some people. If some of you guys collect comic books, it should be special to you as well. You know what that number 129 means. But we're going to go ahead and get this party started. I'm going to go ahead and kind of go over the rules and stuff, get that stuff out of the way. Then we're going to introduce our fantastic panel lineup, fantastic books, and then we're going to acknowledge our fantastic chat. So before we get started, guys, you know how we do. I do have to ask this. I apologize in advance, but hit that like button. Help us get the algorithm kicking. Help us get it up so we get notification and stuff sent out to more people because what we're going to do tonight is we got another free giveaway, but we got to get the likes up first. So smash that like button if you haven't already, and let's go ahead and get this started. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and go over the rules, get that out of the way, because I know that's what you guys love. This channel and its content is not for children. you got to be 18 years of age or older to bid on items in the auction, and we're going to kind of do it a little bit old school tonight. So old school bidding. Shipping costs. Sellers typically offer priority first class, media mail, and some free shipping. Now, international shipping. Some sellers are willing to ship internationally, but it is a seller by seller situation. So please understand the shipping costs likely or will go up. More international shipping news. Please inform sellers what part of the world you are in before you start bidding. Now we do have like a timer. There's about a four to five minute timer and there is usually lag with StreamYard. In some cases only 10 seconds and we've seen it up to 60 seconds at times. So this is not the platform for sniping. We do ask that you just throw in a bid if there's any real interest, even if it's an underbid. We are not deleting any underbids, and that's a reminder to everybody who has a blue wrench and all the panel members, please do not delete any underbids, okay? It kind of holds it kind of holds you in, in, in a place so that after people fold, if you still have an underbid and you want time to think about it, your underbid kind of holds you in that place. So... That's that bidding, uh, bid however you want. When bidding reaches $100, it will resume in $5 increments. Now, this is what we like to call the poll rule. When bidding reaches $500 or more, it will resume in $10 increments. Now, when it comes to the timer, when the timer goes off and only one person has placed a bid on an item, then that one bidder wins the item. When the timer goes off and there's two or more bidders on an item, then we go into overtime. While in overtime, anyone can still bid, but after everyone has folded, then the item goes to the winner. Once you fold, then you can no longer bid on that item unless the seller adds additional books or items. Now, when it comes to folding and adding items, if a seller adds any other books or items, then anyone can still bid, including those who had previously folded. If you are a first time bidder, then we will ask that you pay for your winning item immediately. Please do not take any offense to this. The purpose is to keep trolls from wasting time of sellers and others within the community. Sellers have their preferred payment method located on the bottom left-hand side of your screen. It is also in the video description below. If you are using PayPal, then please send, and I repeat, please send all payments as friends and family. If you cannot do that, if you're not comfortable um, with that, then you do have the option to send goods and services. Um, but we actually prefer you to use Cash App or a different method. But if you have to send goods and services, you need to add that 4% to cover the fees. We kindly ask this to avoid any red flags from PayPal and to avoid paying any unnecessary fees. These auctions for the moment are tax-free to all buyers, and we expect to be free from paying any fees. All right, so we got that out of the way. Got almost 20 people in here. Guys, hit that like button if you haven't already. It does really, really help us out. We're going to go ahead and introduce the panel. We'll do some buy nows. If they got any buy nows they want to show. Um, if not, they can just do a quick uh, hello. Um, but we'll go ahead and get started with, uh, let's get started with Jen. Jen, you want to you get us kicked off, man? Auction. Oh, okay. I got it. I got no, it. You I got it. All right. Good. All right. Thank you, guys. Um, Welcome, everyone. Uh, welcome to Auction 129. Um, let's get this show started. I am going to show you my Buy It Nows. Um, I have this right here. It's a Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man number one. It's by Randy Emberlin. Uh, he is the creator of um, of Carnage. And co I had him, yep. Yeah, co-creator of Carnage, along with Mark Bagley. Um, he... Um, 
did this um, sketch for me, and I am selling it for a buy it now at two hundred. I think that's a pretty good deal for this sketch. Then I am also doing this other one for Hulk Hogan. The nine eight signed by the Hulkster himself. This is also a buy it now for two hundred. <clears throat> And I also have <clears throat> the GoGo -Go Power Rangers number one, and it's signed by Gabriel uh, Piccolo, and he also quoted on there it's uh, Morphin time. This will be 100 with shipping, and then I also have another <clears throat> buy it now, which is uh, Archie number one, and it is signed by both Mark Wade and Terry Moore. It's volume two, number one, and it's signed by both guys. And this will be at 150. All right, those are my buy it nows, and stay tuned, guys. We have more stuff to come. All right, appreciate that, Jen. We'll move it over to Mr. Lawman. What is up, DJ Greggy Gray? Got any buy it nows? Uh, hey, everybody in the chat. I will last as long as I can tonight. Um, you know, all depends on what people want. People want big books. I know what I'll buy now. It's not. It gives you a regular option. Big thing is, you know, let us know. I've got some modern stuff. I've got the classic stuff. You can spend a little. You can spend a lot. Just up to you what you want to do. So, you know, um, that is what I'll leave it. And then let the chat decide. Thank you. I like that. So Lawman has a very wide range of books depending on the potential buyer or bidder. That's awesome. All right. Uh, Paul, what's up, man? What is going on? I'm back on Thursday. Appreciate you strictly in the panel. Got two two nice guests tonight. So mm -hmm. going to see what's, what's going to happen tonight. And just to let y'all know, man, y'all read this book, man. This is a really good book. And uh, when y'all get a chance, get y'all hands on it. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate it and ready to get going tonight. All right, cool, cool. Appreciate you being here, Paul. Uh, all right, so we got a couple of first-time appearances. We'll go to this guy. Let me get his IG going at the bottom there. Yeah, Frank Castle right there. Uh, uh, we got a first appearance of Card Shop Reality. What is up, Card Shop? Yeah, damn, Card Good to Shop, be here, guys. The Punisher. <laughs> 129, <laughs> man. man. You've been working oh, out. Man. First appearance, first full appearance, first full appearance. Got lots of stuff tonight. Got a little spin rack. We're gonna put some pulls on that for y'all, and nice. we got a few buy it nows. Got some slabs coming up later. Y'all will see those. Got a few auctions gonna be starting at a dollar, so be ready, guys. Oh, first, first full appearance, episode one twenty nine. All right, glad you could make your first appearance with us, man. I appreciate that. Um, hey, man, you've been working out. Yeah, he was working. He just shot. juiced up Good real Lord, quick, man. man. <laughs> been eating his spinach, man. Uh, <laughs> all right, so we have another first appearance. We're going to go to Mr. Weapon X. What is up, Weapon X? Weapon X. Oh, Making man. his first time debut tonight <laughs> oh, wow. on Strictly Comics. We got the world renowned. Everybody oh. knows him. Everybody's seen him. Everybody laughs at him. Here he is, Mr. Weapon X. <laughs> all right guys what's up weapon x? Wow. what's up guys? what's up weapon x that was funny. no comment man so which weapon x are you are you the one from wolverine origins or are you like you know are they gonna sew your mouth shut later you know that like deadpool. that was deadpool right yeah that yeah. was deadpool yeah. yeah yeah that was deadpool yeah I'm the uh, other Weapon X on the uh, on the other side of the multiverse, the one that didn't get so well with the uh, <laughs> the yeah, companion, So, but uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Strictly, um, I'll have some buy it nows, but uh, I'll have uh, some Miss Kellen Children sixteen, the Gallagher, uh, oh, yeah. up for tonight for buy it now, and then I'll have a uh, Umbrella Academy uh, first appearance as well here uh, later Got on. The free comic book day, right? Yeah, nice. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for being here, man. I appreciate it. I know not just you, but a lot of people have tried to hit us up to join, guys. Please just keep in mind that 
So there's really only so much space on the panel, and as much as I would love to just get a whole bunch of people in here, the space really is limited. So if you guys continue to be patient, I hope to try to squeeze you guys in. If not a Thursday, maybe a different day. But just continue to reach out to me. Continue to be patient, please. I do appreciate it. All right, so let's go ahead, and we're going to go ahead and kind of say hi to people in the chat. Uh, hit that like button if you haven't already. I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Let me see here. Let me go up to the top. <laughs> okay so we're gonna go first to card shop reality he is on the panel and he was in the chat he said only 100 minutes till start time card shop we got darth gorgira he says giddy second howdy card shop reality okay you got a fan card shop who else we got dominic ricky in the house dominic ricky is uh strong supporter of the auctions i really really do appreciate it dominic ricky i cannot say that enough not not only just to you but to everybody else who really uh, supports us we've been doing this for a long time and would like to continue to be in the game for for much longer so uh we got ricardo 900 he says happy thursday what's going on ricardo nice avatar man i think you had venom at one point back in the day appreciate you being here who else do we got in here uh oh we got steven Bynes. he says good evening panel on chat hope you have a great option yes indeed steven yes indeed i appreciate you being here sir we got uh i i, I want to say this i don't know yellow what up what's going on uh, uh i don't know idk got jw says what's up everybody appreciate you being here jay or joe i'm sorry joe w i don't know why i said jay joe w we got run the comics he says what's good nice uh nice little avatar run the comics appreciate you being here uh who else we got <clears throat> yeah monster warrior what's going on monster warrior he's starting to be a, a familiar here in, in the auctions got michael's comics 54 is that champions avatar nice appreciate you being here michael's comics we got vincent morales he says uh he says hola what's going on vincent <laughs> like that little skeletor we got wolf in the house says what's up guys wolf has also become a familiar we got that was that no nose fest nose feast what's going on nose feast we got warlock in the house thanks says, what's up everyone we got nether triple x sounds like a wrestler uh ne oh, is it nether neither neither triple x what's going on man we got james bullock what's going on uh robot monster island he is here hanging out with us Appreciate you and Max uh, uh, taking a backseat on this one. Wanted to wanted to try to get a couple of new guys in here who've been been reaching out to me for actually a while now. Uh, who else do we got? Uh, damn, it just kind of skipped. Uh, yeah, really shot out. Okay, Mister Unknown, it's his car shop man. They let anyone on the show. <laughs> what is up, uh, uh, Mister Unknown? <laughs> Weapon X on the panel and in the chat says, Hey, uh, he says, Warlock James and James Bullock. Uh, who else we got? Vinny P. I haven't seen Vinny P in a while. What's going on, Vinny P? Uh, Ultra Fleet is in the house. What's up, Ultra Fleet? Ultra Fleet. We got, uh, I, oh, we got Mr. Miyagi's side piece. I keep wanting to say Mr. Miyagi, but it, I guess I got to start saying the full name because it is a woman, not a man. Mr. Miyagi. I see six side noodles. Piece. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's she saying? I don't know what she'd be saying, man. I, oh, what she I don't want to read what she says, man. Oh, my God. I, like, I don't want to read what she says sometimes, oh, man. Oh, man. All right, all right. We got uh, the amazing comicsologist. He says, hey, panel dudes. We got uh, the the chat is really kind of just flying a little bit. We got Steven Sowell. He says, what's good? We got uh, uh, Celestine uh, Lyons. Lyons, what's going on? Uh, Celestine, if I, I hope I'm saying it right. Got TT in the house. What's up, TT? Who else we got? Uh, Bish, Bish, uh, Bishoju, Bishoju, <laughs> Bishoju Gamer. <laughs> What's going on, Bishoju? Uh, we got uh, who else? Uh, dang, we got some. We got some new people. Hang them by the thread. What's going on? Hang them by the thread. Got Patrick Kelly in the house. What's up, Patrick Kelly? Got Big Robert's Cream Dreams. Okay. What's going on, Big Robert? Oh, we got Stu Cat now. I haven't seen Stu Cat in a while. What's going on, Stu Cat? Mr. Stu Cat. I uh, think that we're all caught up, with the exception of this last guy, uh, Radioactive Man and Fallout Boy. What's going on, Radioactive Man 
and Fallout Boy. So I want to thank everybody for joining us. Uh, let's do. Let me ask this just one last time. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. And we're gonna actually go ahead and get this started. I'm going to um, show a couple things. Uh, let me see here. Let me just show this real quick first. Uh, just a reminder, everybody, that affordable auction 130 is Saturday. This Saturday, it's a little bit later start time, 9:30 Eastern, 6:30 Pacific. Join Beta Ray Jim and his all-star cast lineup for affordable auction number 130. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show what the uh, free giveaways are for tonight. But we've got to get up to at least 120. And you guys know how I am. I'm I'm really apt to just add more to this, but I have, um, so we'll start out with this. It's a three issue lot, completely free giveaway. Get up to 120 likes. We got this right here. Now it's been opened, but everything is in it. It was like this when I bought it. It's, but, but it's complete. Also, I have this right here signed by Mr. Doug Hazelwood. He actually lives and the not far from the Houston area, so we see him a lot. He inked a lot of uh, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Tom Grummet. Tom Grummet's artwork. Um, he inked a lot of, of artwork for Tom Grummet, and uh, he signed this. He also signed this and put a little Superman, um, little mini mini sketch on Adventures Five Hundred One. So I got these three, and I will definitely probably add more. But free giveaway tonight uh, for anybody at the end of the show. We got to get up to 100, 120 likes, though, first in order to put these in like a randomizer and get us a winner. Um, so, okay, so I don't – let me see here. I don't really have any buy it nows. Um, I do have this right here. <clears throat> so if you go to the video description below, I we're running another raffle. And we got about, uh, what, 17 spots left, $10 a spot. It is, uh, we, we thought it was going to come back a 9-8. It did not. Even if it had, we, we'd probably still be raffling it, but it's white pages. So if anybody's interested, just go to the video description below and pick a spot. And uh, if we get this filled up tonight, we will go ahead and randomize it. But y'all know what this is. It's basically second appearance of carnage so cgc 9.6 now i'm gonna start out with a spawn lot for my auction and we'll start this off at 20 bucks man pretty cheap less than five dollars an issue and i got five issues here let me put it in the chat okay i have and they're all near mints. I think maybe there might be one that's like VF Plus, but they're all in really, really nice shape. Uh, I got this right here. I got Spawn number 56. Okay. Yeah, great I got program. Spawn number 58. I got Spawn 63. I got spawn 66 and I have spawn 72. What I will do is I will actually give the winner the option to have all these shipped media mail for six bucks. That's up to you. You don't have to. If you want to go priority, it'll be $9. But if you're looking to save it just a little bit on costs, I can, I will do media mail for this. So, uh, so let me know if anybody's interested. Starting bid is twenty dollars, and I got a five issue spawn lot. So I'll just continue to do the Paul rotation. These are all the books. This is not a builder lot. This is just pretty much everything for the spawn lot. That spawn universe is out. <clears throat> All these characters are coming. Yeah. There's no first appearances in here or nothing? I don't think so, but no. you know, spawn is spawn is definitely 
heated up over the past uh, four or five years. So they're, they're, these books, Spawn books, are not in the dollar bin like they used to be. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's true. Especially the higher numbers. Yeah. So. Steve Bynes in at 20. Appreciate, appreciate you, Steve. It, Steve. Yeah, appreciate it, Steve. Thanks for the shout-out, Steve. But my, my helmet ain't going nowhere, Steve. What? He's Your helmet? To, he was telling me to throw out the helmet. Uh, let me see if... Uh, Nepal, tell me if I get this right, man. Oh, you're you're welcome, James. That's how you do Dang, it. I didn't get it right, man. man. Why, you... man? It's five books at once, man. That's an epic fail. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see if I can get it. Here we go. Boom, baby. Wait, no, it's kind of crooked, but oh man. Anyway, <laughs> the more you try, the worse it gets. I know, right? I better just stay in my place. Hey, man, just take hey, take it easy with Steve's books, man. <laughs> Plenty of time still left on the clock. The next bid is 21. James says you're welcome, Paul. Yep. Thank you, James. That's a really cool cover. Yeah. He has all these powers, but he needs guns. I know, right? Kind of crazy. Yeah. Well, he didn't want to waste his powers. Monster Warrior. Appreciate the shout out, man. <laughs> Help Stu, cat. He's fingering the books. <laughs> I told him, man, to be careful with your books, Steve. You about to get a good deal right here, man. Get these books. It's all good, Monster Warrior. It's uh, you know, people who know first round is kind of like an icebreaker round. Um. Don't worry, Monster I don't, I don't, Warrior, man. I don't want to come with the heavy hitters at first, so. No, it's... All right, not much time left. Steve's going to get a deal on these. If nobody else... uh. Bids once the timer goes off, it's going to go straight to Mr. Uh, oh, let me uh, highlight his name. I know, there straight you go, to Steve. Mr. Steve Vines. Yeah, right. Hey, man, I appreciate it, Monster Warrior. I had to let you know, man. Appreciate you. Wish I had more spawns, but I, I'm trying to complete a run, and this is like all the doubles that I currently have. That's it. At least all the ones I'm wanting to part way with. All right, somebody comes in with a $21 bid. It'll go into overtime. Otherwise, it will go to Mr. Stephen Bynes. Yes, Duquette. Um, I had a, I was running behind because I did not have that cage number ten, which I wanted to get for you to complete that twelve issue run. And I did not have that Spider Man number nine, which Patrick's I needed to complete asking, that. Do you have any Spawn homage covers? Um, no, uh, I don't have any like doubles or anything. This, this is it. This is all the spawn that I got un until, until I buy uh -oh. some more. Uh oh, you gave that so, a look. You're in trouble. Um, all right. So congratulations, Stephen Bynes. Stephen Bynes, let me know if you want to do media mail or if we want to do priority for $9. It'll be 26 media mail, 29 
Uh, H Pickens, I got you. Appreciate it. Um, so you just let me know, Steve Mines, what you want to do. In the meantime, we're going to go to Jen. And I'm going to get your IG at the bottom. And it's on you, sir. All right. Double head on. Nice. <laughs> no, that's a Deadpool. Deadpool. My that's bad. Deadpool. Deadpool. Yeah, Deadpool. I, I had to look again. Hey. Deadpool. No, you're good, man. Hey, I'm going to do my buy it now, guys. Um, just for the ones I just entered. Let you guys know what's going on for the buy it nows. <clears throat> All right. So I have a buy it now for this Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man number one, uh, signed by Randy Emberlin, one of the co-creators of Carnage. Uh, he did this Venom sketch right here. As you can see, it was in 2019. Um, I'm doing a buy it now for 200 for this one. I'm also doing a Faithless uh, number one, signed by Lee Bermejo. It's a Lee Bermejo cover, and he signed it in a special metallic blue right there. I'm doing a 100 for this one. <clears throat> I'm doing a Hulk Hogan signed uh, book also there you go right there who is known as hulk hogan and um i'm doing 200 for this one the movie's coming out the hulk hogan movie right <clears throat> I, uh, who's who's playing him i don't know but um i don't even i didn't even know there was a movie Paul. yeah the, the guy that plays thor uh oh he's doing a hulk hogan movie he's gonna star as hulk hogan yeah so, Go Go Power Rangers uh, Forever. Um, this is signed by Gabriel Piccolo. He wrote down It's Morphin Time 100. Buy it now. And then we have Archie, number one. Uh, volume two, signed by both Mark Wade and Terry Moore. They signed it right there by the guitars. And I'm doing 150 for this one. All right. Which one do you want me to show again, Stu Cat? Is it the Power Ranger one Chris, you want me to sh show again, or the or Chris the Chris Hemsworth Hulk? is playing Hulk Hogan? Oh, wow. He wants the I'm second. Just, he said the second one. The second one? What was that? Um, the Lee Bermejo. The Fate List number one, Lee Bermejo. Buy it now. I'm doing a hundred for this one right here. Buy it now. <clears throat> it's a really cool cover. If you don't have this cover. <laughs> Ricky. All right, All right uh -huh. guys. So I'm going to start my auction off with uh, Thor 337. This is, as you know, uh, the first appearance of Bader Ray Bill. But this is a different. Oh, that's the action figure one. Yep. Uh, These are becoming harder to find. So uh, we'll start this off at 50. <clears throat> and it is in pretty good condition. Let me see. Do that corner content for corner you guys content. right here. Corner con has this has not pressed? been. Nope. Oh, okay. Has not been pressed. There you guys go. So so that's the that's the explain what that is. That's the one that came with the toy, right? Yep. yep. And oh, it's well, becoming it's becoming harder to find just because yeah. these these people don't take good care of them. That's the thing. They, they well it's not that the, the box got crinkled up in the package when they packaged it. Mm -hmm. So those in high grade go for a lot of money. Lots and lots of money. And this is a pretty high grade. Um, it needs a press, I would say, like right there. Like, zoom in on it. <laughs> I see you, Dominic R R Ricky. Yeah, we're talking about the Hulk Hogan movie, so Ricky put that in. James said, very tough and high grade. Yeah, I'll show that. Very tough and high grade. Currently, yes. it's going for uh, starting it off at 50. Yeah, that's nice, man. I mean, 
The thing is, is I would gladly bid on it, but I already have one, and it actually got sent out to CGC. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> no, that's smart, especially if you if you have one, and it's in mm-hmm. a pretty high grade. It's 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 just smart to send it off and get it graded, especially with this character. I think they're gonna push him. You know, when when he shows up, I think they're gonna push Chris Hemsworth out. Nah, man, you don't what? think that, do you? They will, oh, man. Come on, I, man. He's 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 aging. He's man, aging. So they're, they're gonna... Hey, be careful, man, because Chris Hemsworth watches this show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> ben, Vincent Morales is in at 50. I'm going to pop you out of this. Out of the, out of the whole Appreciate thing. you, Vincent. <laughs> um, stuff like that. What kind of mess with stuff you saying? He's hey, going to have to be. Man, no, man. You gotta, hey, man, these, these See, celebrities Marshall watch says, this, man. He says the right thing. He says no way, too, because Beta Ray got it to be completely cgi Yep. Well, yeah, but you have to understand it. Or, or, Jin, or Jin can play him. He has his size and physique. Hey man, um, <laughs> if if they use Beta Ray Bill, I keep I keep wanting to say Beta Ray Jim. I think they'll do yeah, the right. Thor. I yeah, think I know. Do I keep Thor saying, Corp. <laughs> That's how you know you you, you miss Beta Ray Jim because he's like you say you you see him on here so much you're just like hey bro you gotta. Anyways, Beta Ray Bill, um, if he is CGI, then he then they'll probably keep him around just because of the fact that. Uh, you can get practically any actor to fill in that role. There, there you go, Mr. Unknown said. Big shout out to Chris in the chat. I told you. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you say you can get anybody to play Chris Hemsworth's role? No, no he's talking about Beta Ray. Beta Ray Bill. Oh. No, because like Chris he said, Hemsworth they got to is... they got to CGI him. Hey, Jim. What he's saying. Jim. What's up? Three words: Jar Jar Binks. Who? What about Jar Jar Binks? You no, you know, actor, you said you can get any actor to play the role. No, you can't. Jar Jar Binks is a great example. Hey, say the word, Jen. Say the word. Nurse. Nurse. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, I mean, Lawman's got a point, but uh, but I, I think they kind of flustered and pushed out uh, Jar Jar Binks as the movies went on because a lot of people hated his character. No one really cares for his character. You have, the, you have the wrong writer and the wrong actor. No matter who they they No, I'm talking about like like long term. Like if you were to keep that character around, you would probably be able to keep them permanent because it's kind of like what they did with uh, what's that movie that like Planet of the Apes. Stephen like, Sowell said it right. They got aging, de aging tech now, so people can last in their contracts longer. That's true too. But but if you look at <laughs> James, comics, <laughs> James. <laughs> the regular reg- reg- Thor outlast outlast uh, all day long. They'll not get rid of him. He said <laughs> No, I don't think the actor was the issue either, James. All right, so let me check real quick. Uh not much time left. Uh looks like Vincent is the only person that's got a bid in the game. So, does anybody want to want to come fifty one? If you do, it'll send it into overtime. Otherwise, it's gonna go straight to Vincent. Good pick up, Vincent, because that that regular the regular print is. Whew. And like Jen said, these they weren't taking care of these and those action figure things. Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah, and I know everybody wanted the. Uh, Spider-Man 2099. This has got to be like in the top five as far as these. Uh... Oh man, that's Spider-Man 2099. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Now there's something going on with this comic book, Jen. It says at the bottom left, not for resale. So you're not Uh-oh. supposed to be selling Uh-oh. this, man. Yo, yo, Jen's in trouble <laughs> again. Jen's what, always where, in trouble. Where, where does it say? Where does it say that? Because because I, I don't see it. Uh, I like that. You covered that, but not the Walt Simonson uh, signature. Nice. No, I, I know. Right? <laughs> Make sure uh, I don't there, cover the art. Everybody, this cover's been homage so many times. So just 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 That's to kind of follow up on well. the chat, Mr. Bullock wrote a paper on Jar Jar Binks, and he felt the actor was not the issue. 
So I'd like Mr. Bullock to tell us, in his opinion, since he wrote a paper, exactly what was the problem for Jar Jar Binks. He said, buy the book, lawman. You know, there's no book there. <laughs> <laughs> there's no book. He didn't write no book. He wrote a paper. But that may have been his dissertation. I don't know yeah. if it's just paper. Ask him on. Can you imagine your, your PhD, your professor, and someone says, I want to do a paper on Jar Jar Binks as my dissertation? Somebody right. did one on Spider Man. <laughs> All right, so we, so, we, so we got us a winner. It goes to Vincent for 50 plus shipping. Yeah, so that'll, be, uh, 50, Vincent. that'll be 59, the future of Batman, catch up. Uh, and you can find me on Instagram, and then I will package this for you, good sir. All right, much appreciated, good sir. He'll package it today. Yeah, he will. Too <laughs> As we speak. Make us all look bad. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right, so we're going to move it along. Let me see who else is next. Uh, Mr. HM Law, what is up, Law Man? What you got for us? You got any buy now? Is there anything you want to show? Or it's going straight I to do. The I, I, I'll, just, I'll just ask Mr. Mr. Bullock, you, you don't need to send me the paper. I just simply asked you to just tell us the reason why you thought, thought that was a problem with Jar Jar Binks wasn't the actor. I don't need the paper. You ain't going to read so it. So you're going to send it to you so you can read it. I'm not going to read it, so I'm just telling. You. <laughs> Put the little thing right there in the little in the little chat. No. James, just when you're on Saturday with Lawman, just read it to him. Well, you can read all you want, but I'm, I'm I got the power, baby. Got the power. All right, buy it now. I'll put this in buy it now. Uh oh. You know what this is, Paul? Just want to make sure. Is it? He's yes, flexing, sir. Paul. He's flexing. Yeah, yeah, I see that. Hey, man. All right, is, is that it, what we're doing tonight, Blahman? Hey, hey Blahman, is that the reprint of uh, Amazing <laughs> Spider-Man 300? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, you got the look. <laughs> recycling old jokes? Come on, man. Recycling old jokes? Come on, she. Hey, hey Paul, uh, Vincent says, <laughs> Vincent says, muchos gracias. And what are you supposed to say, man? Oh, you're Denata. welcome. You're Denata. welcome. Denata, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. So, damn, long man, I got to follow that. God, Dominic says it looks like a reprint. Guys, it is not a reprint. It's the real deal. <laughs> oh, I, don't, I, don't think, I don't think you would be charging uh, uh, $17 for a reprint. I mean, I mean, I mean $1,700. Sorry. <laughs> What's the grade on it? My, my, my uh, print guy says it should be one six. A nine six. Give me a nine six. Mm. That's nice. That's a nice grade, man. Yeah. Now we got a couple others. We got this hat, Avengers. Uh, one ninety six. Is that the toy variant? <laughs> 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 just, I'm just asking. It, it is. <laughs> Does it say not for resale? They oh, did make a, a toy variant copy. for that. They did make yeah, a toy variant. Yeah, they did. Yeah. That's what I say. It doesn't say not for resale. Oh, it's a it's a very clean looking copy. You said it's a, oh, it's a 9 4. By Are you advertising it? Oh. No, I'm just going to say this, 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 this is their grade. Torpedo Comics is pretty uh, pretty good for their grading. So, 250 yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. Now, I will do. It's a 100. Oh, nice. It's very nice. Now, this is a, a, this is a, a key issue, of course. I will do this for 150. Mm -hmm. And then finally, X Men. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. That's a nice book. I'll do this one for 150 as well. That's the first appearance of uh, Rachel Summers, right? Okay. I think All it right. was. Or... <laughs> All right. So I my I take one for the team. Christina. It's going to be this Ron Lynn variant cover, of Amazing Spider-Man 49, 850th issue. Homage to, of course. ASM 300 in absolutely pristine condition. I'll start at twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Nine dollars shipping. 
All right, it's in the chat. Starting bid twenty dollars, guys. If there's anything in particular that you guys are looking for, let us know. You want some DC love? We got some DC love. Yeah, I got to follow that. Yeah, if you want some good modern Marvel, that's a good modern Marvel. If you want some, uh, what's his name, Mr. Sinister, we got some of that. You know, we got some X-Men, got some ASM. I know some people ASM all day, every day. What, you know? Card shop. Where's card shop, Ian? Card shop. Yeah, man, what's up? What's your bingo card looking like? I know that thing is probably almost. Man, I'm not. I'm not playing tonight because I'm on the panel. Oh. I can't win. Damn. Okay, well I'm gonna stop saying stuff now. Just trying to see what people are looking for today. Looking at. Yeah, that's actually a good point, Lawman. Guys, let us know what you're interested in seeing, because a lot of these guys have a wide variety of items to sell. And H. Pickens, I got your payment. Appreciate it. All right, guys, starting bid is $20. Is this a builder lot, or is it just the one book? Right now, it's right now, just the one book. Okay. Like, like I said, I have no idea, I have no idea what people are looking, looking, to do, looking to get. Yeah, we got 50 people in here, guys. Let us know what you want to see. That's just, that's just it. So, you know. Gotta get some ideas so we can get some idea what, what, what needs to be done. If you want some modern stuff, you got modern stuff. If you want classics, you got classics. If you want some golden age, silver age. James, if you want any of your books back, just let me know. I'll, I'll put it up for, for, for you. You know, James, I trade books back and forth now. All right, guys, the clock is ticking. Starting bid is only $20. You want older Superboy? Super See, Patrick, you're being funny now. See, Patrick. I got you, Patrick. Yeah, that's right. Uh, NOSFest, somebody might have some stuff like that, but you got to check out the Wednesday claims because that's usually when we do, like, the really, really cheap books. Um, hey, that was all last to, night, man. That was all last night. Yeah, we may have to do more of those. I mean, but the problem is, the problem is, let's say, I mean, while, while, while we have quite a few of those, I mean, they get claimed, they, they cleaned me out last night. I mean, Patrick yeah. Curry asked for Super Bowl, Super Bowl, Bowl. That's what yeah. he took all mine. He took all mine last night. I can't, I can't I don't go so much. And, you know, you can send me a dollar five dollars a book. Mm -hmm. Can't find it at the honey hole. So that's all I can say. And, and I think one of the reasons why we don't do that all the time is because it's a lot of work trying to pack up all those small purchases to several several people. It, it's a lot more work, guys. I, I think I'm good for once a week for now, maybe twice a week in the future, but we'll see. I just didn't have it. Justice Society of America, Bronze All Star. Sam and Mr. Two. That is a tall order. JSA stuff. It must have been. It must have been because, like I say, I had. That was my doing silver, silver, gold age for five bucks a piece. Somebody took them all. Just every one of them took them all. So, I want to say that was like 20 bucks. 20, 30 bucks. But, you know, 
but don't have a whole lot of those. Those those once those aren't cheap. I just had them a long time, so I was trying to like I said move some, move some books. But yeah, Wednesday night. So the, that's the that's the, that's the, the real the, the good deals on that stuff. But you do regular auction, good stuff. But uh, you know. All right, guys. So the time is actually about to go off. So somebody needs to come in ASAP with a bid. Otherwise, we're gonna move it along to. I'm not sure who's next, but we're that's move the next kung fu. If you want that? Yeah. A little the seventies master kung fu. Anyway. What's going on, General Jedi? <laughs> all right, no takers, man. It's all good. Oh, good. All right. So, if everybody watches this on the rewind, you want to hit up Harold. His IG has been scrolling every time he shows an, uh, his face. So, we're going to go to Paul. Paul's next, and then we're going to go to Card Shop. Paul, what you got for us, man? All right. I got a few by nows. I got Yosagi Ojimbo. This is the second print. I sold out at places I went to. So, I'm going to do it by now for 15. First appearance of the. One character, second print. And I got some for Infinite Crisis number one. This is a Elite Comics exclusive. This is the Tattoo Wonder Woman. So I'm doing buying now for 40 on this one. And Mike bought my 25 Sunday. That thing is just nuclear now. So I have Earth 2 number 24. This is the he appears in costume in the last page of what Michael B. Jordan is going to be playing. So I'm still buying now for 30 for this book. All these Earth 2 books are just going nuclear. So I'll, I'll keep with the, what Lawman's doing. So I'll do a Sibiote Spider-Man number 3. But this is the secret blood, the carnage <laughs> splatter. I have Fantastic Four 11. With the carnage secret splatter, blood splatter, whatever they call it. And also I have Venom 15 with the blood splatter on it. And I have Venom 29, a Stegman variant. So I'll do all these at 16 plus 9. Oh, and then I can add this in. Is this a is this a auction item? Yeah, four books oh, okay. right for sixteen, and I can build to this one. You stand twenty ninety nine. Starting to the sixteen dollars, guys, in the chat. I'm gonna go follow. <laughs> So all these were like secrets, except this one. This one's just a Ryan Stegman cover. Beautiful Ryan Stegman. It's a secret with the splatter, carnage splatter. This one too, and also this one. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, people went crazy for these were for the absolute carnage run. Oh man, you got him, Vincent. Oh my bad, bud. Yeah. Some people collected all these. I figured. Mm -hmm. some, yeah, some they were really going after the blood splatter version. Yeah. Oh. Get action! I can, we can build to this. It's a new stand, twenty ninety nine, number one.
Thank you, Ricky. Yeah, we're over a third of the way there, Dominic Ricky. So, y'all hit that like button. All right, so we got how many books are in this lot? I got four. Four books, basically at cover price. Yep. Starting bid sixteen dollars. All right, guys, there is some time, but not a lot. Once the timer goes off, it's going to go straight to whoever puts in a bid. If somebody wants to put in the first bid, $16. If not, it's all good. We'll keep it moving. Appreciate the algorithm. Man, you guys are, man. I can tell you, man, I could not do it without you all's help, man. I really appreciate y'all. Yeah, you're welcome, man. <laughs> Oh, look at car shop. <laughs> Ricky, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> All right, after Paul, uh, I'm going to step, step away oh. for a quick second. Um, not much time left, guys, so $16 starting bid. I'm going to go to Car Shop Reality next. All right, nobody's interested right now. Let's see if anybody's interested in what uh, Card Shop has for us. But hit that like button, guys, if you haven't already. There's a lot of people in and out throughout the auctions. I know that. If you are new, or if you're just even if you're just popping in or lurking, smash that like button and help us to get those likes up. We got some free giveaways tonight. All right, so let's see here. We'll go to Card Shop, see what he has. See if he can get the. Uh, all right. Wake up, wake up the chat. Yeah, man. Episode 129, first full appearance right here today. Anyway, all right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to have some pulls. If they're about to fill up, I'll give you all the information in the chat here in a little, here shortly, but that's going to start next round. Right now, just like I did on episode 100, the um, charity auction, I put up a slab. And I'm trying to remember, what did I start that bidding at? What did I start that bidding at? Oh, yeah, a dollar. Uh-oh. So, here we go. This is uh, Rogue Joins the X-Men. Uncanny X-Men. 171. 8.0. Old label. Mm-hmm. Cool lady man busting through the back. Oh, yeah. All right. But yeah, here we go. Uncanny X Men starting it at a dollar. Nice. And only and also only a ten dollar shipping also on this. Oh, only ten dollars. Okay, cool. Yep. Yep. Let me put the put it on the screen. No, Vince is in for a dollar. Appreciate that, Vince. Cool. Darth Gorgira, what's up, Darth? He's in for five. 
thanks guys for coming out. So, um, does it, I mean, I know it's kind of hard to tell when it's in the slab, but yeah. can you, can you tell if it has any pressable defects? Well, let's take a look. Well, the spine actually looks pretty damn good. I think it's just, it's an old label and, uh, you know, the back's pretty clean, I would think. Could be a little bit here on the edges. Maybe that's the where the cover didn't go all the way. Mm -hmm. Could be. But I think it's probably pressable. Especially considering this is an old label. We bought this off of a uh, X-Men and Wolverine collection that uh, came in a, just about two years ago. Gotcha. All right, so we got Joe W in for 25. Appreciate that, Joe cool. W. And we'll have we'll have some more slabs coming up, and we've got some more lots. And like I said, we'll have the uh, we'll have my spin rack pulls. That'll be coming up here in the next few rounds. So We're even though it's some... an old label, 8.0, oh, yeah. he thinks it has some pressable defects, guys. So keep that in mind. And it's a white cover. This, I mean, this is it's pretty clean. So Stephen Biden's in for 27. Joe W. Kim's in for 30. So it's between... Vincent, Darth, no, Darth Folds, Vincent, Jake, uh, Joe, and Steve Vines. Does, does what open, Jake? Talking about the slab? I don't think so. I'd rather not open it. <laughs> All right, appreciate it, Vincent. We got uh, Steve and Joe and Jake ran just those three. We got lots more coming later tonight, too. Uh, no, uh, Jake, they don't open, at least not very easily. You have to crack them open, but then you lose the, the grade. You would have to send it off again to get regraded. Uh, but he says it's a press candidate, so if you want to crack it open and clean it and press it, try to get a higher grade. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Paul is an expert in cracking open these cases. Is he not strictly? Is he Paul's what? An expert in cracking open these cases. Um, he's an expert in like breaking things. I don't know if he's an expert. <laughs> My friend Yahweh, now he'll he'll crack a slab. <laughs> what are you Paul, talking about, Strictly? I, I I broke open those ones for you, man. Paul just wants to shoot it. That's all Paul wants to do. <laughs> no, man. Uh, like, okay. I can I can crack that soap in in my in, in well, so my eyes closed. If, if it if his if his cracking skills are the same as his wood cutting skills, I, I wouldn't recommend that he uh he get that in his hands. What? <laughs> you mean not not measuring and taking my time? He's talking about just cutting it. <laughs> oh man. Uh, you and Weapon X, man. Y'all been talking about me. I knew. <laughs> You're about as red as the back of that uh, X-Men. Why don't you go ahead and turn that around, Card Shop? What's on the back of that, that book, that Kool-Aid? There you are, Paul. Kool-Aid, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got our first overtime of the night. All right. So it's between, let me see, let me put this up. It's between Joe W., Steve Vines, and Jake. So... If you guys want to just continue, the next bid is thirty-one dollars. Big baby in the house. What's going on, big baby? Big baby at thirty-one. So nice. 
Joe yeah, there you go, Michaels. There you go, Michaels, man, man. Tell him, man. What? I never, never. Oh, like a, no, God. <laughs> Tell him, Michael. I'm going to call him a slab. He's a slab cracker. Call him that. All right, Steve Folds, but we still got uh, Jake. Uh, it's an 8 big baby. It's an 8 uh, Jake, big baby, and uh, uh, Joe W. And it's a new stand as well, big baby. And I'm curious what the GPA is on that. So, Jake, if you're going to fold, just put in fold. Right now, it's between you and Joe W. Okay, so then it goes to Joe W for thirty-five. Let me look at something. Awesome, man. Good deal. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let me remove. Yeah, so set me up on uh, IG. There's so his IG is scrolling at the bottom. His cash app is at the bottom left. Nice pickup. So it'll be forty-five total, and that's what shipping. That that ship. So check him out on IG and Cash App and we're gonna go ahead and go to go to Weapon X next. Weapon X, what you got for us, man? All right, all right. So I got these uh these buy it nows here. We got the uh Department of Truth, the blind eye variant. This is the trade paperback by the way. So this will be um I'll do this one for sixty five. And I got Never Never uh from Heavy Metal number one. This is kinda sold out. I got this for 20 and the Department of Truth, uh, number 16, the Gallagher variant. I'll do it for 35. Those are the, the buy it nows. I got also got a, a slab as well. Umbrella Academy, uh, the uh, free comic book day. Mm -hmm. Do this for 150 if anybody's interested in this one. And um, as far as the auction here, I'm going to start this off uh, kind of low because it's my first time, but I want to give everybody a good deal this first time. So I'm going to start this off at 30 strictly, if you don't mind putting that up for me. Yep. What's up, Sith AF? So we got a Avengers uh, 267. I think everybody knows uh, who's in nice. this book. I think this guy was oh, in, yes. uh, in Storm takes over the adventures yeah hey uh <laughs> he was in an episode of uh <laughs> disney plus but to go with that we'll throw in 268 as well mm. with this lot and my favorite cover the pepto bismol cover i'll throw in 269 wow so it's three books starting bid 30 bucks you can go check these on ebay for this set they're going for about 120 for this yep. set on ebay um but yeah, King is tonight. getting hot. That dude is getting hot, man. Now, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Strictly, I believe Paul was trying to go as Kang for a, a Comic Palooza, but he had some some trouble with the uh, the face painting. Is that what I was hearing, or no? <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I don't oh, know. Now, I think I don't think Paul does a lot of cosplay. What the <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, man. Boy. Uh, okay, so Vincent, you got to go 31 because James was in at first at 31. Uh, oh, never mind. Specsman comes in at 31. Specsman, I like that name. Just giving you a hard time there, Paul. Make nah, sure it's you're not good, man. You let me, you let me cut in line. So yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm not, I'm not getting on you. I'm glad you're <laughs> uh -oh. on you though. That's cool. 
Look at Ishim Law trying to get a piece of this action. Look at Law Man. Oh yeah, that's right. Because Law Man didn't have these in his. Uh, yeah, oh yeah, he did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nope. He started right after. He doesn't, these. he doesn't have them in the basement. Nope. Oh no, he doesn't. I mean, garage, in, the garage. in the garage. In the garage. I forgot. So this isn't obviously not his first appearance. They're just really iconic covers of. Uh, well, actually, Kang yeah. Covers. There's one that's. Uh, one of them is the Kane Council. Yeah. So two sixty seven. Um, the one in the middle there. That's the first appearance of the Council of Kings, and so. Oh, okay. um, yeah, you've been watching Strictly's videos, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then um, the the, the Pepto Bismol one, the two sixty nine, the one on the right is the uh, the Battle of Kang versus uh, Immortus, and uh, it has the uh, origin of Kang as a uh, Rama Tut in it as well. So. Right. What What did you call that? The Pepto Bismol on the right. I call it the Pepto Bismol because <laughs> it's a pink cover. Yeah. 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 Pink. You know, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but it's like strictly pink. Like, it's all. So, to me, I call it the Pepto Bismol. Yeah. Because I always used to see it all the time. I was like, oh, that's a, that's a horrible cover. But, of course, I already had it in my collection. I was like, well, I guess I can't talk too much about it. I got it already. Damn, James Bullock. All right, James is in for 51. Oh, now that I know that's what you wanted. I no, knew it. Vincent comes in for 54. Appreciate that, Vincent. And then Asian Law is right, right behind him. Yep. Yeah, I believe 267 also. Um, I think it, at the end it has the, the Robot Kang, which is kind of what we saw in uh, the Disney Plus series at the end when they get the the, the Timekeeper guys and they go and their heads come off and they're robots. Oh, you've been watching uh, you've been watching Carlos's videos, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I knew it. So. All right, deep dive is in for 65. Steve, you're a little short. So we got a lot of players in on this. Let me see here. Oh, Steve. We oh, got uh, James, dive. Vincent, Suspects Folded, Lawman, Deep Dive. Uh, let's see here. And Steve. So we got five players. Oh, James Folds. All kinds of Kangs, Warlock, yeah. And I was waiting for Kang to appear on as an American Idol judge, you know, sometime in our timeline here, you know, come on there and be a judge. Yeah, these are nice posts. I mean, I, I can't help but see Kang everywhere. I mean, he's definitely on the verge to be the next uh, Thanos or Thanos 2.0 or whatever you want to call him. Uh, yeah. Asian Law is in for 66. Appreciate that. I right, appreciate it, Vincent. Next time, Vincent, just, just type in fold. So we kind of look for the numbers and like fold, and that's it. It helps us kind of filter through all of the uh, all of the, 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 the word usage. We, we got to try to be quick. So, uh, so deep dive is in for 70. Yeah, Steve and Dominic, he didn't answer the, your questions, by the way, so he's kind of skipping that. But well, I'm sorry, were, what was the question? They were asking why Paul's room is pink. So. Oh, I'm in my... Uh, they, they know why. <laughs> <laughs> because he doesn't want to show you what he really has in his room. Oh, man, here we go with that. <laughs> Tell him, Jen. Tell him, Jen. <laughs> What's up, C-Wood? <laughs> I see wood in the house. All right, so that puts us in overtime. All right, so who do we have in this still? We got uh, Deep Dive and Lawman. Uh, Vincent is finished. Uh, uh, let's see, my Did Spexman fold? No, Spe uh, Spexman hasn't folded, so 
It's between um, Deep Dive, Specsman, and HGM Law. So I would say they're very fine, uh, HGM Law. The, on this one here, you can see there's some misrep on the cover. Um, that's really... I don't think they really hit you that hard for the misrep. Yeah. If yeah, at all. For me, like, aesthetically, it's like, eh. You know, yeah. Kind of, I mean, you can see there's no ticks or anything on the spine on, on this one here. And... Um, but I'm just, I would just say they're, they're like fine and very fine just to be safe. And the same thing with this one. There's a little miswrap down here at the bottom um, on the cover. But like, you know, these are older books, so they're not, hopefully not going to ding you too hard. And then um, they still have the Marvel value stamp in them on page 13, in case anybody's wondering. <laughs> <laughs> and the same with this. This is probably like the only, this is kind of the cover too. It's kind of miswrap. It's a little bit on the other side. Um, yeah, deep dive in for eighty. Yeah, those are nice books. That those, those misread don't bother me a, a, a bit. That spine is clean, and there's no dog ears or creases. No, I mean That's there's a, not. Yeah. All right, so uh, HM Law folds. I still have deep dive, and I need to hear from. I need. Oh no, Specsman did fold. I'm sorry. Okay, so I think we have a winner. I think it goes to, I'm just double checking. Deep dive. Yeah, I think it goes to deep dive for 80. All right. So yeah, congratulations yeah. to deep uh, dive. Uh, what am I going to grab a little set? I mean, that's okay. All right, so deep dive, there is Weapon X's. Oh, look at him. There we go. There you go, deep dive. <laughs> okay, he's, he's, he's like he's like Beta Ray 2.0. Yeah, yeah. Now I see where he learned it from. Nice. Yeah. yeah, okay. So there you go, deep dive. There's a cash app at the bottom left. He's also in the video description below. And we're going to move it along. Let me see here. We're going to keep it moving. Uh, so since, uh, since we got a Thanos 2.0, I want you guys, uh, Thanos, smash that like button. Help us out. We do appreciate it. I think I'm next. Um, I'm not really sure if I should go with this. Uh, I think I'm going to hold off. I think I'm, I'm going to hold off on this. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to plug this in real quick. Uh, I do have a raffle. So we got 15 spots left. Ten dollars a spot, nine point six white pages. It, it, I thought it had a realistic shot at a nine to eight. Um, I mean, my God, they were extremely picky. There's just like one, one really, really small little tick, which is the pretty much the reason why they gave this a freaking nine six. But I would just say, don't be afraid to resubmit for whoever wins this. Uh, in the video description below, claim a spot, and I will put a. Uh, I'll do like a poll as we get used to coming up with the next round where I will show this. But we're doing another raffle, and ten dollars a spot, fifteen spots left. If it fills up tonight, we will raffle it tonight. If it doesn't, we'll just continue on into the next day. Uh, I think that. Uh, let me see here. Jen, you are next. Are you ready, sir? Yes, I am. All right, got your IG at the bottom. What you got for us? All right, guys, we're going to do the buy it nows again. Uh, uh, Faithless number one, signed by Lee Bermejo. This is a Lee Bermejo cover. I'm asking for uh, 100 for this. Buy it now. We're doing Archie, volume two, number one. Signed by both uh, Mark Wade and uh, Terry Moore. Both worked on this book. Their signatures are right there. 100, buy it now. We're doing um, Go Go Power Rangers, Forever Rangers, Forever Rangers number one. Signed by Gabriel Piccolo. Piccolo variant cover. And he wrote down, it's Morphin Time on um, the cover. 
This, I believe this is a virgin cover on here. A yeah, virgin cover. We're doing a uh, 100. I, I'll actually drop it down to 100. So we'll do 100 for this also. Buy it now. We have, uh, a, I guess Paul informed me that they're making a Hulk Hogan movie. I actually didn't know that there there was a Hulk Hogan movie coming out. Yeah, Chris Hemsworth. Yep. So Hulk Hogan signature. If you don't have one, get one right now on this auction. Hulk Hogan signed 9.8. Shit, you can get all the other uh, wrestlers on here as well. 200. Buy it now. Then we have finally Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man. Number one. Um, the sketches by Randy Emberlin. He's a um, co-creator of Carnage. He's worked on other Carnage and Venom books. He did a mm -hmm. sketch for me. He did a lot of... He did a lot of inking for Eric Larson and Mark Bagley mm -hmm. throughout the 90s. So 200 I think that's a pretty fair amount for this sketch. It usually costs more than that. Well, uh, oh, man, I got something in the private chat. Can you look at that, please? <clears throat> That'll be the Buy It Nows. And I have one last Buy It Now. Any Harley Quinn fans out there? Harley Quinn number one. This is the origin of Harley Quinn retold in the Rebirth, DC Rebirth. It's signed by Chad Harden. So I'm asking for 100, buy it now. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna put up uh, Cable and Deadpool number one. It's a 7.0. It is signed by Rob Liefeld. Oh man, and, no feet yeah. guy. There you go. And we will <laughs> start We will start this off at uh, 65. We'll do that. Oh, this is your auction item? Yeah, this is an auction item. All right, uh, starting bid, and it is signed, right? Yellow label, old CBCS yellow label. Mm -hmm. It's an old nice. label, and this is like way before, uh, like you were pressing books for me. So this actually yeah. hasn't been pressed. Yeah, so. it doesn't even make sense. Why? Let me see. I wonder why they why did they give that a what is that as uh, what's what's the grade again? A seven. Why, why why do you think they gave that a, a seven zero? Uh, I'm not sure. I know that there's a little. I think there's that right there. But UG, if there's a check mark up here, they didn't give it a check mark either, so they don't think it's higher than a seven. But if you look at the back. Right there. All right, guys, I'm trying out something, putting it in the chat. Got a little poll for you guys to participate in. In the meantime, Jen is starting this off at $65. What's the shipping on this, Jen? Uh, it'll be uh, 15 Okay. Just, just, just double check. Because it's a slab. It's, just, it's a slab, so just with... Uh... <clears throat> Starting to the 65. Plenty of time still left in the clock, guys. I'm going to step away. I'll be right back. Hey, Jen, I heard that uh, Michael's uh, on his way back to USA from uh, over across the pond. Yeah, I think I have to go pick him up. So I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's uh, just uh, recouping and getting situated for work and all that so yeah man the originator of corner content yeah yeah <laughs> let him know let him know car shop no feed on this uh slab though jim mm-hmm
was this created by? CBCS? Yeah, it's CBCS. Yeah. Yeah. Did it give you the greatest notes as why it's a 7.0? He said it hasn't been pressed and cleaned. Yeah, I, I think it was because of the back right here. If you look at that. Or... Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's funny because the signature itself is like fifty bucks, so it's uh. You're really well, why just... do you, why do you think, Jim, that it got a seven? Uh, I think it got a seven because of the, I think it's because of the back right here. Oh, that's black back. Get... Yeah. Yeah. Because see, the front is pretty clean, but uh, it's always black back covers. Yeah usually like hurt the book that's a Be good right. one though to get autographed mm All right. Uh, I don't know strictly how the timer going. I presume he did. I know, right, guys? No feet. He has no feet on on here. That's how you know it's Rob Lightfield. Hey, do you think There's he was in ever, ever production meeting? They go, "Hey, Rob, um, why no feet, man? I mean, you know, uh, <laughs> everything you draw, is no feet. What, what, what's up?" Oh, oh, Rob, uh, and no hands. Sick. Look at this, and his hands suck too. Look at that. No, <laughs> hands are part of the gun. Rob, you don't draw, man. No more feet. No more draw. No feet, no Rob. Come on, no. Done. Blaine Lightfoot had a good five years early in his career, and that was it. He was done. Yeah, I know, right? He did create one of the most world. Worldwide known characters, though. Uh -huh. All right, note takers. Before you take that away, did you see any pressable defects on it? Well, this is before I was like giving you my comics before I pressing them mm -hmm. off to you. So, um, I mean, you could probably press this, but you'd have to pop it open. Yeah. I mean, I could retain its uh, yellow label, but now I was just just curious. I, I just feel like a seven O is a very harsh grade for a modern book, unless it was really something significant wrong with it. Yeah, I mean, you guys can like look it up. <sighs> okay. And I can do a. I can turn this into a buy it now if anybody wants to buy it off. I mean, I'll just give it to you. <laughs> okay. Just uh, just just Instagram me. We'll go from there. Okay. Appreciate it, Jen. No, appreciate you guys, man. Um. We're going to go to Harold next, but just a quick reminder, guys. Uh, Saturday is Affordable Auction 130 with Beta Ray Jim. I don't even know. I think he's going to have Remy, Robot Monster Island, maybe Max. I really don't know the lineup that, that Beta Ray Jim has in mind, but check those guys out. It is a little bit later start time because it is the weekend, so it's going to be 930 Eastern, 630 Pacific. Lawman, we created a poll for you, sir. And according to the poll, let me end it real quick. I just want to try something out real quick. Let me let me put your IG going at the bottom as well. Uh, so the poll showed. You had 30 votes. 50% voted for Thor 245. 40% voted for Moon Knight number one. So it is up wow. to you, sir. That is surprising. Well, I, well, is it, look, Moon Knight number one is the modern Moon Knight. I'm gonna switch up on all y'all. I ain't gonna put it in another one. <clears throat> now I'll put, I'll put it. Um, well, with all the Kang, all the Kang stuff, two forty-five. Terms of He Who Remains. We'll start this at uh, twenty dollars. 
So those <laughs> <Steven's laughs> <Steven's talk. laughs> said he voted for panties. You said the starting bid is twenty dollars? Twenty bucks. Those who you know are doing the spec know that you know, this is a pretty 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 decent Kang book. Anything that has the word Kang in it now pretty much is a big one. And I technically can build on this one. I don't know if I want to yet, but I'll see. And chat, the rest of the chat, I got something in the private chat for you guys to look at. Just uh, answer it uh, before each person, if you don't mind. I got Steven Sowell in for 20. Appreciate that, Steven. Hey, Paul. Paul. Paul stepped away. Uh, he, he went, he had to grab something to flex on you, law man. Please. <laughs> All right, so Stephen So Wells in for twenty. <clears throat> this is how Paul do it. Uh oh, MT's in the house. What's up, MT? Uh, oh, got the. Is that how you do, it, Paul? What was that? What oh, was that? you got the that Alex Ross that. cover. Oh, it's that how you do, Paul. Oh man. What, what, what should I throw this in, Paul? Hey, what's the what's the grade on that book? That Thor book? Who's asking? Jen. <laughs> hey, Paul. I'll put some in the private chat for everybody for each round. It's it's. You know I. You know, mid grade five or six. I mean, come on, man. It's a book I think from that's the, a good. That's a that's a really good grade. It's, I'm just asking because from the seventies, a little know. stamp on it, but I don't, I don't think it's a Mark Mm-hmm. Doesn't look like it. No. But but it's it, you know it's just it's a, it's a it's a decent book. If it gets see MT, if you just waited before you folded, baby. Just about to put it in there. He can jump back in if he wants. Uh, I haven't added book yet. Uh oh. Yeah, you're right. If it goes to 50, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put the Alex Ross in. What? You take your meds, man? <laughs> man, now Alex Ross is just heating up just like the, the book. Nice. So, so and, you know. There's some people that I still have stuff with that get some get free shipping if they get it. But at fifty, but both coming up fifty. Oh, Mr. Unknown oh, comes in. Mr. Unknown, Mr. Unknown was both of them. Mr. Unknown, you know what's up. I put it in the chat strictly. I got you. Uh, everybody in the chat, I got another poll question for you guys. This is concerning Paul. All right, we got Mr. Unknown Comics coming in for 50. 50. You're welcome, Mr. Burke. You're welcome, sir. Yeah, you're Glad welcome, you all it. man. You finally, finally f watching how I do things. Appreciate you, all man. <laughs> you know, uh, Harold. I hope that one day we all get to hang out, man, with you. <laughs> Especially if I bring Paul, Paul along with us. <laughs> hey. Hey, strictly, strictly put new. Hey, long man, strictly put new tires on so he can make it to you now. Now <laughs> <laughs> right, puts us in overtime.
Is there a bunch of other? Kang, Kang, Kang is all through the Avengers line. All these little, little, little Avengers books that have little references to Kang. Three to five dollars. I was thinking about trying to pull, through, pull out, but I'm gonna have to do it for next week. So it takes a lot of work in the garage, but as Paul said, my, my, my issue started at 274. That's why I was quite not happy. But I did sell like my Avengers Terminix, which had the council tanks on it, so. He's all through. <clears throat> oh, and they did, um, they, they started the, um, what if cartoon series on the 11th? <laughs> What'd you say? What? What's that? What? They started the cartoon series on, on the 11th. On Disney Plus. Oh. They're trying to promo on ESPN. Paul, I hope you're paying attention to the to the poll, man. Yeah, I think it says uh, it says Spider Man, but I didn't say Spider Man. But Come okay. on, man. <laughs> oh, are you are you like jokester twenty four seven, man? Like, <laughs> hey, man, it's got to be you got to have fun in here, man. The chat's having fun. We're you're right. Fun. You're right. I mean, you're it's right. just got to have fun, man. But, but, but watch right. out, Paul, put that special phone call through. Hey man, don't make me show what I showed you, law man. Oh no no no! Don't make me do it now. <laughs> Let me do it. Nah, you gonna do that it. Good, that's good. That's drop on Paul, man. You should have watched it last night, Edwin. What the? He shot up like a nine-year-old boy getting his little tug tug. That wasn't last <laughs> night, law man. That was that was not last night. Tuesday night, whatever that was. Yeah, I, I was man. I was talking, man. I was doing the damn thing, man. No, you weren't. Okay, man. No, you weren't. okay. Let me, did... let me let me stop you off for a second because I think we got a winner because yeah. uh, Stephen Sowell folded oh, and no. he folded. He never came back in, <laughs> so it's gonna go to ah, Mr. Said, Unknown for sixty-five. All right, Mr. Uh, MT said. Uh, MT said Jim Lee, Superman. That is my boy, man. I'm gonna go get it for you right now, MT. <laughs> Now, you know, MT wants a Turok, man. He 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 never he, he never got on that Turok bandwagon. Jedi Jedi said Spider Man. All right, guys. So we're trying a little something new out. I will end the poll. I appreciate all thirty-one votes, and I will let the uh, results pop up in the chat. Uh, I'm going to ask that you guys smash that like button before we move it along to Paul. Let me get Paul's IG going at the bottom here. And let me put Paul on the big screen. And, Paul, you had 32 people vote. 34 people wanted X-Men. Let's see what you got for the the, 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 the people who voted. All right. Uh, I'm going to do my bad nails first. Uh-huh. All right. So I got uh, Secret Avengers, number 18. This is a 1 in 20 Shang-Chi cover. This thing is like... Really hard, and uh, I'm do a buy now for 50. Beautiful book, and I have Infinite Crisis number one. This is the Wonder Comics Elite Wonder Woman tattoo. All her tattoos, beautiful Comics Elite exclusive. I'm gonna do a buy now for 40. And and uh, Mike got my. Earth 225, but I found this Earth 224. The last panel is the cover. Oh, I mean, the yeah, cover. I mean, uh, last page has him in, in his Superman uniform. So this is Michael B. Jordan going to be playing this character. And the last panel has it. So I'm going to do a buy now for 30. All these Earth 2 are just hot. All right. So y'all wanted. Alright, since y'all said X-Men, we'll do these. Okay, got X-Men 168. Here's Dan. I got X-Men 234. Uh-huh. And also I have first cover appearance yep. of 
X-Men 239 and it is a new stand. This thing is a nice high grade copy. What's your starting bid? I'm going to start this off 40. At 40? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A nice, uh, nice little lot here, Mr. Paul. No problem. They said X Men. I'm... You got anything to build on this, or is it just these three? I'm just do these three for right now. And this is a new stand, first cover appearance of Mr. Sinister. I'd put this at a 9.4. And a X Men 168 is the first appearance in this book. And I think this is the Goblin Queen first appearance. Yep, MT said, uh, said a first Goblin Queen. Yeah. And All right, guys, the timer is ticking away. Starting bid is $40. Is nice. Yeah, that does look nice. That is a hard book to get in a 9.8, but man, if you get that in a 9.8, that's like a $350 to $400 book. And this one is his first cover appearance, but it's a new stand. So I put this one in a 9.4. Thank you, MT. All right, plenty of time still left on the clock. Starting bid is only forty dollars. I know that that book right there in near mint condition is a fifteen dollar book by itself, fifteen to twenty all day. That is just a classic uh, uh, X Men cover by uh, what's his name? Uh, Who is this? He oh. created a. Uh, he created uh, Mark Silvestri. Mark Silvestri, yeah. Yeah, Mark Silvestri. And then the first appearance is getting crazy, so this one's starting to follow it. They do something with him. This is going to be. Mm -hmm. Is that a Mark Silvestri cover, too? I'm not sure. Kind of like it. Doesn't have his signature on there. Goblin Queen. I think there's something with Lockhead on this one. I think like first appearance of Lockhead. I believe. Lock Ear, whatever. Yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice X Men though. Yeah, Monster Warriors, man. These books are just going up, man. Like I said, I would have started out lower, but this is a nice book. Yeah, it is a nice sinister cover. <clears throat> I think it's really high grade too. Looks like. What's up, Steven Spot, Monster Warrior MT? So not a lot of time left. Somebody can probably get in with a snipe real quick if they time it right. But that starting bid is forty dollars. Stu Cat wants to know what comes in next. Oh, I ain't got nothing else, Stu. I said I, I did it at that price because these two books right here are really nice, nice grades. Yeah. And like I said, this book right here, look, this book right here alone is his second appearance, first cover appearance, and this is a yeah. really nice and it's a new stand. What's up, Milton? 19, 1988. That's the you want newsstand. Man, Monster Warrior, man, I wish you would have picked me up one in the dollar bin last year. 
Uh-huh. Me too. Yeah, I can't find these in the dollar bin. I just want one for my PC, man. All right. Um, okay, so maybe somebody can hit up Paul on the Rewind or Stu Cat if you want to reach out to Paul. Reach out to Paul. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Uh, let's see here. And we'll keep it moving. So let me end the poll. I appreciate you guys participating in the poll. This is kind of a new feature that we're trying to utilize. Um, we're going to go to Card Shop Reality. He is awesome. next. And let me get your IG going in the bottom here. So 41 people voted Card Shop, and 41% want to see Marvel Comics. All right. That's what's coming. Round two. So here we go. Let's do Wolverine number two. Regular wow. series from back in 1988. It's an old CGC label, so... Bart Simpson told me to put it at a buck. Let's start it off. Let's see what happens. So, you, so you've you've been drinking already today, huh? No, drinking. no, no. I'm just bringing deals. I don't know, Please, man. Strictly. I think he's been drinking, Paul. He's been drinking. <laughs> no, I, I promise I haven't. Not not yet. I'll do that later this week. So there that's we go, not, Wolverine. That's not true, Stu Cat. I never said I didn't like you. When did I say that? Always answer you on your emails, man. From Baytown, man. 1988, Wolverine number two. Yep, nice. 9.4. Old label. Gen one. This is round yep. two. This is round two, so it's time for Wolverine number two. By the way, only ten dollars shipping. Ten dollars shipping, not fifteen. Ten. Uh, oh. Given the deals, and we got another poll question. All right, so I see MT already at twenty-one. Stu, so nice. got Snick, Stu, Cat, and MT currently. Good to see y'all in the chat, my fellow chat folks. Um, Harold and Jen, I know that you guys have. I don't. I don't think you guys have access to this feature. Never mind. Never mind. I think I'm the only one that can do it. Thanks for bidding. Well, you know he's gonna bid on it. His name is Snick. Hey man, I play to my audience strictly. I don't know about you. You what? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm saying, like, he's going to bid on a Wolverine book. His name is Snick. You think? Is that a clue? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. JD comes in for 30. Also, his wall at his house has a bunch of Wolverine books, so that might be another clue. Steve Bynes, 31. Appreciate it, Steve Bynes. We got more coming later tonight, too. This is only round two. Yeah. I might have to put Ultimate Fallout 4 up in the fourth round. We'll see. We got some Spider-Man later tonight, Strictly. Got a little BC. I got one of my customers is telling me, don't do the pull rack selling the books. What do you know? MT wants to see the whole book. Sure, sure.
There you go, MT. It's direct. Back in 1990, 1988. That's only two years after I was on the news for buying comic books. He says, what's the visible defect on the slab, card shop? Well, let's take a look. It, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, honest, I'm going to say that we might have a little bit of a miswrap. Um, you can see that some of the spine in the back cover a little bit. It looks like a little bit of a miswrap. That might be why it got a 9-4. Very possible. Um, corners do look good though. I'm not gonna pay royalties to Michael for uh, corner content, but all right, that puts us into overtime. Overtime, fellas, plenty. Yeah, I would say the old, the older slabs likely weren't pressed. Wouldn't you agree, Strictly? Oh yeah, like pressing was a rare thing. Your dumb old slabs. You're talking like 2000 to what 2006 or later. This one, I don't know now. I don't know if the slab it was. This is just the label, but it is a 1999 slab. Well, at least the label. Now that obviously mm -hmm. the book's 1988. Obviously, it's a Wolverine, but. I don't know if they chant when they started changing out the labels. But yeah. Round two, Wolverine number two, why not? Started at a buck. See where it goes. If you don't have a Wolverine collection, you can start building one. saying the first gen was the red color well, I know it's an old label that's for sure um didn't they do the didn't they do the red just for like the nine eights what's up Tristan he, he does I I kind of missed it I missed JD he does Tristan JD has it for 35 right now so let's get a quick recap JD is in the lead. Uh, MT is still in the mix. Stephen Bynes just folded. So it's between currently MT, JD. Stucat hasn't folded yet, but he was way back at a dollar. Uh, and it's, uh, yeah, just those three because Snick had folded as well. So Stucat, JD, and MT are the current players. Okay. I actually think I like the back cover better than the front cover. Yeah. Is that a Sam Stu Keith or what is Stu it? Stu Foley. I think it's signed uh, Sinkowitz. Okay. Okay, so so Stu, appreciate the bidding, Stu. So it's between MT Thank you, Stu. and JD. Good luck, fellas. And Lots anybody, more coming, too. Yeah, anybody can still jump in and bid, guys. We're in overtime, so that doesn't mean it's just – between the two, anybody can still jump in. And he's got a slab right now for only 36 bucks. All right, JD folds, so it's going to go to MT for 36. Awesome. Good deal. MT, you hit me up on uh, IG, and uh, it's a $10, only $10 shipping to you, man. Cutting deals tonight. <clears throat> yeah, it's a nice pickup. All right. Uh, so appreciate that card shop. Yeah, man. And 
let me end this poll. I uh, had almost 50 people participate in this one. Let me get his IG going at the bottom there. Let me see what else we can do right here. Uh, so actually, just a, just a really quick thing. Uh, if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button and smash that bell. That way you guys get notified every time we go live. You don't want to miss an auction. There's lots of good deals going on here. Okay, so Weapon X, you're up, sir. All righty, all righty. Let's get this started here. There you go. All right. You know, I'm here first night, so let me just celebrate here, you know, Frank the Tank style. There you go. Drink <laughs> up. I'm crazy tonight. Let's Man, go. He Let's dies go. after this Let's get Weapon, some X. Weapon X here. All right. Woo! I, I wondered where the liquor went. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna go right, streak. You're gonna go streaking after this. I'm gonna go streaking after this. Me and Paul. <laughs> me and Paul. We're gonna head on out. All right, man. Come, come pick me up, man. Come All right. <laughs> <laughs> y'all see us on the news. Y'all know what happened. <laughs> so, you gonna go over the buy it nows again. I got this uh, never, never uh, number one from Heavy Metal for twenty. Uh, and I got the uh, something is killing the children number sixteen, the Gallagher variant for uh, thirty five. And I have the uh, Department of Truth, the trade paperback uh, variant here for 65 if anybody's interested in those. And let's see here. The auction was for, or the poll was for Marvel, right? And so everybody said they wanted some Marvel goodness. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's throw up some Marvels here. Start this off at, uh, you know what? Hold on. For. Start this off at five dollars uh, strictly. Okay. And we're just kind of kind of bill from there. So, so people wanted Marvels. No, what's going on? Here? We got some Marvel right here. Got Marvel. I think this is number six. We got uh, X Men number seven, the Gwen Stacy variant. We got X Men Gold number thirty six here. We got um. Fallen Angels, number five. We got Excalibur, number six. And really nice hot cover here is X Men, number six. That's for Paul. Paul, close your eyes, Paul. Oh, damn. I wonder so they're six. all sold out at the shop. You bought them all. Six. <laughs> six, six books. Started off five bucks. I was looking for that. What was that Mark Brooks? This one? Mark Brooks, ain't it? I can't tell. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know which one that is. Yeah, I was looking for that book. Somebody's. Oh, no, that was the wrong one. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm sorry, what was the starting bid? I was trying to do something. Uh, five bucks. Five bucks. All right. Let me change your colors. Yeah. I was trying to do another poll. These these polls are starting to be a <laughs> extra work, but it's all good. Uh, starting, you said five bucks? Five dollars. We got six books, five bucks. So oh, yeah, you've you been uh, drinking already, too. Yeah. Can, uh, Excalibur yeah. 6 here. X Men Gold number thirty six, the variant. He's been buying up all those sixty variants. <laughs> yeah, X Men number seven, Gwen Stacy variant, Marvel's number six. Got Paul's favorite here. X Men number six. That's for Paul. Let me get a close in for Paul there. Who, make sure who that, did that? That didn't look like a Mark Brooks cover. There's no spine ticks there for for Paul. Got Warlock in for five. Just to all let right, y'all know, up. he just to let y'all know, he bought up all those from the shop. He said one guy bought them all up. Now I know who bought them up. <laughs> <laughs> Me somebody beat you to it, Paul. Yeah, they, they said some guy just bought up all those sexy variants. I said, well, who did that? Now I know who did it. What's, What's up, up, Mark the Cuddy? So yeah, there's some there's some X Men uh, extra books that I had trying to sort through and 
shrink my collection here, so trying to trying to get out of the some of the X-Men stuff. What's up, Mark? Thanks for stopping by. Stu Kid. Man, I'm not mad at you, Stu. I don't know why you said that. I'm not mad at you. You can always hit me up, Stu. Hey town boy. T Pain. What's up, T Pain? I know you ain't here today because you said you're going to the fishing, deep sea fishing or whatever. Yeah, T Pain, let me let me show you what I show Lawman, man. Man, six bucks for all this. That's a good deal. You can tell Car Shop and and Weapon X have been drinking. Oh yeah. They're, are they under the influence of something? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. Uh, for for people that are doing the raffle spots, uh, someone's asking me a question. So when they're asking me for payment, how are they paying? Are they <clears throat> are they are they cash shopping at Strictly Comics? It, it's in the video description below. It says please send. It's number four. It says send all payments to Cash App, Strictly Comics. Dollar sign Strictly Comics. Yeah. That scumbag Agu, huh, Warlock? Man, what a scumbag. The Fallen Angels, like X Men. How many covers? What are these covers? The Dark Phoenix cover tributes. That is Sagu Scumbag. I'll go in at, at eight. What's up, Arak? How are you, man? What's up, bud? All right, Warlock is back for ten. So we got we got some players in this, Hi, okay? Man. Uh, let me see here. We got. Uh... Actually, I want to thank the chat for participating in the polls. They're actually kind of fun. Yeah, so we got welcome. Warlock in this. We got Agorhythm. We got Steve Vines. It looks like just those three. <laughs> what kind of poll is that? <laughs> Hey, man, question. I mean, That's I don't have a lot of choices because I, I can't, I'm cutting back on my selling right now just because I'm really behind on some things, so I don't need to add more to my plate, so just making it simple, at least for me. Oh, you hear that? Then you went hunting. You hear that, Jen? Come on, man. Because, <laughs> man, I went hunting because y'all was sleeping, man. I had, to, I had to take advantage of the opportunity, man. Hey, man, some of us value sleep more than money. There you go. Yeah, tell yeah, them, Jen. I know. Tell them. I'm glad, today, I'm glad today. I'm glad today that y'all valued it. I'm glad today that y'all valued your sleep. You get your sleep. I remember All Paul right. woke me up one time on a Wednesday, and he's like, "Hey, you you in the line?" And I go, "No, I'm in bed." He's like, "Why aren't you in this line right now?" And I go, "Paul, leave me the hell alone." That's not what you said, but okay. Yeah, I said that, actually. I told Paul. I told Paul there isn't a line, and then he he started like. No, he told me that, it. it you, no, you said it wasn't worth. Being the up to, there was nothing coming out today that was worth me getting up that yeah that's what you said and, and like then that. carlos beat y'all both yep well i don't know about carlos because i don't think we go to the same store but yeah sure yeah that's why <laughs> I, that's why i left weapon x alone because that man he's like hey man i know who you are you come on and jump the line i'm like yeah and I was like, man, you, you guys know who this guy is? This guy's royalty. You don't right. watch Strictly? Right. You don't watch Strictly? <laughs> man, right. what's up with y'all? Y'all ain't they, comic people. And what they tell us, they're like, we don't know who the hell he is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so Warlock folds. So I think we have a winner. It's Steve Vines was left. Uh, okay. Double. Wait, did Agu Rhythm fold? I don't think that he... No, he did. He did. Okay. So it goes to Steve Vines for eleven dollars. Wow, that seems awfully cheap, but okay. Wow. Oh. Yep. All right, Steve, I got you. Just hit me up on uh, IG.
some of us value comics over sleep. There you go, Jedi. All right, so there's his cash app at the bottom left. And we're going to step away from the screen for from Mr. Weapon X. Oh, hold on a second. Jen is right. <laughs> I have a light that I forgot to turn on, so sorry about that. Um, okay, so we're going to do a free giveaway, but we got to get up to 120 likes. I actually have a really good giveaway to add to it if we get up to 140, but for 120, we're going to give away for free to just a random winner, uh, Superman number 75, Death of Superman. Y'all know what this is. It has been opened, <laughs> but it's complete. It has the has the armband. <laughs> it has the armband. It has the obituary. Uh, it has the trading cards. And the book itself is in near mint condition, but it has been opened. With this, we're going to give uh, Superman or Adventure of Superman 500 signed by the inker who did a lot of inking for um, Tom Grummet in the 90s. He actually lives just a couple hours away from uh, Houston. So we actually see him a lot here in the city. Um, signed by Doug Hazelwood. And with that, it will be Adventures. We'll give away Adventures 501, also signed by Doug Hazelwood. He did like a little Superman symbol. Uh, COAs will come with these two. Okay. So, what's up, Ar uh, Iraq? Hey, Paul, look who's in the chat, man. It's, it's Iraq. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what's going on, Iraq? <laughs> um, okay. So, I want to appreciate you guys for participating in the polls. And we're going to go ahead and do this since you guys answered. I kind of let, let strictly know, Iraq. Iraq, let strictly know, man. Iraq. Let me know what, what he's saying. No, I was just telling him about. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I knew what the answer was going to be, but I just wanted to see what you guys what you guys would say. See how many people are just kind of awake. Uh, so let's go ahead and change the colors. Um, where's Michael and, and wifey photo? <laughs> Stupid cat. All right, so you guys yeah. wanted it. It's in the chat. Starting there bid. Go. There you go. Twenty dollars. It's a newsstand. Um, I have this at about a nine. It's already been pressed and cleaned. I have it at about a nine zero to a nine two, but it is a newsy. So we'll start this off at twenty dollars. Somebody's definitely been drinking. Hey man, well, I've, I've been blessed this week, so I've had to I have the opportunity to to get a couple of these. Um, I'm gonna actually create another poll here for Mister. Uh, who's next? Uh, no, Jen's not participating. So I'm gonna go to <laughs> I'm gonna go to HTM Law because HTM Law had a poll. Uh, Let's see here. Sorry, let me let me check this out real quick. Sorry, guys. All right, there's the other poll. <clears throat> Weapon X said already clean and press. Yeah. Uh, Remy, just just confirm. Are you you're at three ten? Let me see here. He said he's muted, so that's why I was trying to retype with your. Okay, so sorry guys, I, I wasn't. Oh, Remy okay, said one thirty. Got you. Okay. Um, what I'll do is whoever wins this. I you know I'll press it again, but I really don't see it any higher than a nine oh nine two. Just uh, just to just give you guys a heads up, but it is a newsstand, so <laughs> it's, all, it's all good, Remy. It's all good, man.
Yeah, uh, Robot Monster Island, man. Keith, you know, Keith is right, man. I mean, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta hold you to what you typed in there. So we gotta have that three hundred dollar bid. No, I'm just um, <laughs> <laughs> Keith is Keith is giving you a hard time. All right, so we got a lot of players in on this, which I guess I should have known. We got, did a, I thought I seen a rock fold. He did. Okay, so Mr. Unknown, Thomas. We got R. a new one at 140, Big Book Collector at 140. Big comic book the collector, what's up? All right, so we got uh, Mr. Unknown, uh, General Jedi. Um. Remy, big comic book collector. General Jedi comes in for 150. Thomas R. Appreciate it, Thomas R. Uh, Diaz, I have it at about a 9 0 to 9 2. It's already been pressed and cleaned. I will press it again. I think that. Let's see real quick. I think the thing that I liked about this. So, yeah, so it needs to be pressed again. I'll press it again. But the thing I liked about it was it didn't have but, like, a couple of uh, bindery tears from the manufacturer, which they do not knock off for that. I repeat, they do not knock off grade for that because that is super common for this book. So it is in a 9.0 to 9.2 newsstand condition. And I will press it again before it goes out. You have Diaz family at 170. <clears throat> I got you. Okay, so I'm starting to, there's actually plenty of time left. I'm trying, okay, so. Okay, so Wolf is coming in here. Yes, okay, uh, Remy, Wolf was in first. Okay, so I got. So that's better. All right, so I'm going to that one fold. He did. He did. Okay. So I got Diaz. I got Wolf. I got uh, uh, Remy. Thomas Fold. Appreciate it. Uh, General Jedi folded. <clears throat> Big comic book. There's still in it, but he was back at 140. <clears throat> and I apologize because I don't, I don't have anything else really to, to build on this. Excuse me. Like I said, you'll get another. Whoever wins this will get another press. It's already been cleaned. I'll just I'll press it again for free. Appreciate it, Remy. It's just the. Uh, I caught I caught Paul slipping today, so I managed to to get another one, but uh, but this one's gonna uh, this one needs to be cleaned and pressed. So in the meantime, we got this one. Look what he's doing, Jen. He's just flicks. <laughs> hey, you just, hey, you needed your sleep, man. You know what I'm saying? You know he he, 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 needed, he, your, every... he needed your sleep, man. That's a nine eight right there, baby. He, he has every red right flex. He has every red right flex. Come on, man. How often do I flex? I do not hardly flex. Every day, now. man. You do hey. it every day. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay. So, Remy had it first, Diaz. So, oh, he, he pulled it. Okay. Uh, yeah. okay Remy's so. saying, what, what brings those in? You keep flashing them. Oh, I'm, like, just, What's I'm up? just flexing Remy. They, they, they no. That Secret Wars is going to uh, CGC, man. I, I, if somebody offered me 400 for it, I might take it, but it's a 9-8 candidate. Hey, I'm man, not... I appreciate your service, bro. Good man, good man. You know, when he says that that's, that's a 9-8 candidate, 
that he actually means it's a nine eight ten. It is. Yep. <laughs> so if you if you offer him four hundred, because wanna... he's kind of putting himself on the spot now. How much? Ten dollars to put that one in? No. <laughs> uh, so you know, okay, so big comic book collector need to hear from you. General Jedi folded. Thomas R folded. I and Mr. Okay, yeah, Mr. Collect folded. I think we actually have a winner. Hold on. I just need to hear from uh, uh, Big Comic Book Collector because it's just between Big Comic Book Collector and Remy. That's or Wolf. Wolf is in the mix still too. So I got three players I need to hear from. How <laughs> you stamp? <laughs> I need to hear from Wolf and Big Comic Book Collector. What do y'all want? Yeah, uh, he might. He might. Anybody can still jump in. Oh, yeah, we're in overtime. I forgot to change the color. Sorry, guys. See, there's a lot going on when you're trying to sell and manage an auction. Um, Lawman's not helping me out. Jen's not helping me out. So there's the color. So we are in overtime. I want to do the oh. queen chefs in the kitchen. Yeah, come on, man. <laughs> All right, so Wolf Folds, uh, it doesn't have an ebook sticker. <laughs> Rock City says, Keith, I shall never submit the CD. Uh, well, what happened to your last experience, uh, Rock City? I'm curious, man. So, again, guys, I have it at about a 9092. I will press it again before it ships out so oh you said both folded oh okay i see it okay appreciate it monster monster warrior okay so remy wow can't believe remy won this okay remy <laughs> you won um no no offense or anything it's just remy uh he 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 biz but he does a lot of selling uh let me see here so remy um you know just for insurance purposes just add nine dollars because i could ship it for six but you get at least some insurance coverage with the nine dollar priority so remy just just send um 189 and i'll press it and i'll send it out your way so appreciate it sir um also guys i i got um ten dollar spots in the video description claim a spot i got 14 spots left so white pages it honestly it should have came back in nine eight it had one teeny tiny little tick I can, let me can see I if see i can it? show you where, where, where's yeah the tick it's 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 so it's so small that it's like it's like right there i don't, I don't even, I can't see, even it right see it right oh, there by okay. venom's by venom's uh calf it's right on the black of the roof it's so small this book is this book should have came back a nine eight. Yeah, that's a really clean copy. It's yeah. It, it if somebody wins this, I would I would say resubmit. Um, mm -hmm. especially if you win it for just one, you know, one spot or something. But you know, I'll show you the back too. Or or, or do what I would do. I would probably hold on to it and then wait for uh, Bagley and some of these other guys to come into town and get them to sign it. Yeah. This 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 this. It should have. It should have. It should have came at night, in my opinion, but. Um, I got 14 spots left in the video description below if anybody's interested. Okay, oh, yes. that's it. Let me go ahead and end this poll. Appreciate all 54 of you guys for participating. Um, ACM Law, you had 54 people participate in a poll. So we're going to go over to you. Let me get your ID going at the bottom. Wait, no. Wait, wait, wait. No, we got to go to Jen. Sorry. Oh, yeah, Jen. Jen yeah, we got to go to uh... Jen. We gotta go to Jen. So, Jen, you're up, man. All right, guys, what's up? Um, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna show you my buy it nows. I'm gonna go and do that. All right. So we have the um, Harley Quinn number one, signed by Chad Harden. It's a it's a variant cover, so um, he signed right there. That'll be a hundred. You have um, <clears throat> this sketch cover right here, 
by uh, Randy Emberlin, the co-creator of Carnage and Venom. <clears throat> and that'll be 200. And like Paul was saying earlier, if you've been watching uh, Hulk Hogan, they're making a movie on him. Yeah, uh, this is signed uh, by Chris Hemsworth. And then uh, this is 200 right here. Get more signatures on the back. It's a 9-8 candidate. You guys can actually go on my Instagram and see this being signed on there. <clears throat> and uh, you have uh, Go Go Power Rangers Forever Rangers number one, signed by uh, the cover artist Gabriel Piccolo, 100. <clears throat> you have Archie number one, volume two number one, signed by Terry Moore. And Mark Wade. That's also a hundred. I brought the price down for this one, so this will be one hundred. It's a Lee Bromejo cover. Faithless number one. I don't know if you guys are reading Faithless, but this is actually a pretty good book. <clears throat> it was a good really good run. <clears throat> Alright, guys. We're gonna do a this is a this is an indie book. It was signed by Kelly C Kelly Sue Decomic. It's pretty deadly. Number one, the nine O, and she also. Remy's asking, "What's the what's the buy now on the SS Harley slab?" It's a hundred, man. This the slab's a hundred bucks. You're asking about uh, he's asking about the Harley. This one right here. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a hundred bucks, man. To buy it now, you just that, have to add. Was that you, signed by you, It's signed by Chad Harden. Chad Harden, okay. Mm -hmm. And he's he's good peeps, man. He he uh, he actually worked on the book right here, so it's good. Uh, it'll be one fifteen because it'll be fifteen for shipping, but it's a hundred bucks, man. <clears throat> You got Pretty Deadly, number one, uh, signed by Kelly S Sue Deconic. Uh, she, uh, she's worked on um, a lot of different uh, comic books like uh, Bitch Planet, <clears throat> Miss Marvel, Captain Marvel. And she also, she's actually going into movies right now, so uh, this might be a really good pickup because I don't see her doing any comics anymore. She's doing a lot of screenwriting and working on actual comics. I mean, uh, working on actual scripts. Sorry. <clears throat> so is this a buy now or what is this? No, this is a... Uh, we're going to start this off at... Uh, we'll start this off at like 50 bucks. 15 or 50? 50. We'll start it 50. off at 50. Okay. It's just it's it's becoming one of those books where, and also with her her signing, she doesn't do any signings anymore, so it's uh, just to try to get her to come out. It's becoming pretty rare. But if anyone out there, you can probably grab this book now. And by the way, this book was not pressed, and I don't even know why it came back. And I know this is actually a shocker. <clears throat> if you look at it. All right, I gotta step away real quick. I'll be right back, guys. Keith is asking if there are any graders notes. Uh, here, man. You can go over here. Check it out. I think you got to pay for them, huh? Yeah, I don't have a... I have a CGC account, but I don't I, I don't have the one where you're actually paying for the CGC account. Right. I just have it where you just track your... track your stuff. I know some uh, some facilitators they get like special uh, discounts when they go through CGC. 
like if they have a business and so forth. Oh, Say. Paul, look who, look who it is, man. <laughs> oh, well, man. You, heard, you heard that laugh, man. Oh, man, I got <laughs> to sh show him what I show law, man, man. That's that's the laugh I do when uh, when I miss out on a deal to Strictly or Paul. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Paul, Paul, congratulations. You beat uh, Carlos ahead in line. I know, right? Well, he showed up late. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you have perks around here, man. You show up whenever you want. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Starting bid for this is fifty. There's uh, there's some Gamer time says left. Show it closer, bud. There's some time yeah. left. Not much, but somebody needs to come in because this is only a fifty dollars slab. It is signed. I mean, that's just for the slab alone. I mean, Keith, pretty Keith much. Said got, Keith said you got to pay five bucks to get the notes. Yeah. Yeah. Although I will say CGC has that they do give some notes more for like anything that's like probably nine four nine two nine zero or lower. They're not they're, you're not going to get notes for like a nine six, maybe not even for a nine four. OG says the notes will say spine stress. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right, MT. Snick says this book is on the move. Yep. <clears throat> All right, Bishoju Gamer is in at 50. Is in for 50. All right, sweet. Bishoju so, Gamer, I, I think uh, you've bought, a, bought something from me before. I think it was a different indie book or something or a girl-related book. So so here's what needs to happen. Since Bishoju came in, somebody else needs to come in for 51 <coughs> to send it into overtime. And they need to do it soon, otherwise it's gonna go straight to the shows you when the time goes off. Hey Carlos. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I just wanted to thank you, man, for sleeping in this morning. I, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. Oh, Here we I go. Appreciate, oh, I appreciate yeah. you, man. Go. I appreciate you very much, right. Paul. Very yeah, much. Let's get it yeah. going. All yeah, right. Here we get go. one to lot or something. Good <laughs> Lord. Paul, Paul called me up earlier. He was he was almost on the verge of tears, strictly. Yeah. I, yeah. I, it's been a while since I've seen a grown man cry, but he was so upset that you got a hold of those books. No, and don't let him like, lie to you. He's like, he. He didn't no, believe he, me. He didn't believe me until he saw your Instagram. No, no, no. no. And he wouldn't even, he would not even, uh, he, he was like, and he wouldn't even tell me where he got them. <laughs> no, he. I didn't say that. He goes, did he tell you where he got them at? I was like, no. You know how strictly is, strictly secretive. <clears throat> oh, man. He's, he's there chilling in the uh, VIP lounge of the local comic shops. They feed him grapes and bring all their best books to him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
All right, so we got a winner. It goes to Bishoju Gamer for 50 plus 15 shipping. There is uh, Jin's cash app at the <coughs> bottom left. And just just find me on Instagram. I like just like last time, and then we'll uh, we'll get we'll take care of this. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, now, Harold, I got to you prematurely, but we are on you now. And according to the poll that 55 people participated in, 56% wanted to see Amazing Spider-Man. Mm. Mm. Nice. Mm. Well, so, um, I'm going to start off with a three book lot. We'll add one to get high enough. First book, and then all confidence looking at uh um, next second book X-Men two thirteen. What what are these? Buy nows or what are these? No, this is this is this is auction lot. Okay, so you're gonna do X Men. Yeah, because I mean, I, you know, this is X-Men or ASM, so I had the X-Men ready. ASM wasn't sure what I was doing with it. That says, I didn't get results from now, so I'm like, okay, well, I'll do the X-Men. What's, your, what's your starting bid? Hang on, let's see. Um, we're going to start this at <coughs> 60. Okay, and how many books you got in on this lot? We've got three, and we're the fourth add one. So, yeah, go okay. back. Twenty-three. Yeah, one. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I need to glasses. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. <coughs> then two thirteen, which is classic Wolverine stage. But had a Mister Sinister cameo with your parents. Then we will go to. 239, the cover appearance of Mr. Sinister. Oh, nice. And to finish it all off, we will add in, if it reaches 75, we will add in pristine copy of X-Men 4. Oh, snap. Wow. Is that got, the direct? Yes, direct. Okay. Only news. Only news that I have is this is nine point eight. That ain't coming to me. So you have four. I'll go relatively minor keys. Well, four book lot. Starting at sixty dollars. All high grade. Nice. All very good. That's what's been popping. Nice. Okay, so guys, this is a builder lot. If you want the Omega Red, you got to go up to 75. Otherwise, the first three. So, okay, so guys are wanting no grades, all that stuff. Um, They're high grade. Man. They're high grade. Are they yeah, candidates? That, that, you know, there are no, no, they're no notice of tips. There are no notice of fine, um, color breaking creases or anything. They're all in extremely good condition. <clears throat> um, I got a little grading guru that he got. He has them, you know, at nine or above. But you know, yeah, Lawman is not a he's not a professional grader, guys. So, I mean, I even still at these, e yeah, even still at these prices, I mean, unless they're ratty reader copies, I mean, this is a deal. Carlos, yeah. do me a favor, Carlos. I'm gonna have you go next after Lawman. Okay. Look in the private chat. We got uh, poll questions, so what? if you want to kind of, if you kind of want to scroll up and see what we've been talking about, what? And so you can answer in the private chat. Um, I'm trying to help Carlos get caught up just a little bit, man. He can't stay the whole. He can't stay till oh, like okay, two in the morning. Yeah. He can't stay till two in the morning like we can, man. Oh man. So wait, so okay, so scroll up in the private chat. Just, just I, I look see. at what we've been talking about in the private chat, and then put in. Give me something quick on what you think you might want to 
auction off next. Yeah, like G.I. Joe, Transformers, or GoBots, or... Uh, <laughs> GoBots? Well, yeah, man, that man has all... Yeah, hey, that's is is that like a poor man's Transformer? <laughs> that's on they, my came, they came out first, but yeah, they were poor man's... It's on my hunt out. list, though. GoBots. Really? Yeah, you didn't watch his video, Strictly? Oh, no. Nah, I missed yeah. that one, man. Sorry. <laughs> Strict, strictly only watch watches uh MT says April. strawberry shortcake. Seeking new is asking the condition. They're high grade. I, I showed them all off. And, 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 and his well, he, he your internet in, is kind of choppy too. Yeah, David David just came in, so yeah, he just your came internet in is strict, a little choppy, uh, so all, man. Yeah, your your internet is kinda choppy, man. I, I, I have I have no problems on this side. All right, that's all I can Just tell put you. in another AOL disc, man. Keep trying, Paul. Keep trying. Uh oh, did he freeze? Oh no, he didn't. No, I I'm I'm probably You can't see me. We we can see your internet is really yeah just it's like uh, jittery. Oh, you froze again, oh, man. Oh, there you go. Well, I'll hop at I'll hop I'll hop off and come back on, but like I said, I got it. Looks fine here. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who did that? Who did that? That is cold. That is blood. awesome. That is cold. Who did blood. that, man? Hey, I just want to say that if Lawman finds out who did that, woo. Oh, yeah. He won't, yeah. Oh, man. He's going to send you a. a nasty gram. He's going to give you a nasty gram. He's going to give you the stare down. Sue you. Oh, I gotta say that wasn't me, long man. <laughs> oh, that's funny as hell. <coughs> yeah, Carlos, man, put something in the private chat, man. I did. Yeah, you have to give it some choices, man. You can't, you can't just say that. What do you? No, no, what no, did I he put, say? I put the choices. Oh, oh yeah, okay, he's okay, talking okay. about yeah. There you. That's it, man. What the hell? <laughs> Wait here. Let me, let me, let me. I got it. On. This one's for you, Paul. Let's see. I don't see none. Oh wow! Oh boy! All right, so it's kind of short notice, but I put in a, uh, I put in a uh, poll for the uh, chat to answer, but nobody seems to want this. Uh, Dave's like asking you a question. Yeah, it's an absolute no. <laughs> absolute yeah. no. <laughs> I wouldn't even acknowledge it. That's all. Thing. Okay, okay. I, I didn't know. <laughs> I wouldn't even acknowledge it. All right. Okay. Give me 50 cents. All right. Okay. So check out Lawman on his IG if you want to hit him up. Uh, and we're going to move it along. 
So I'll let you guys kind of answer the question for Carlos. Uh, I will just give you guys a quick reminder that Affordable Auction 130 is tomorrow. Not tomorrow, I'm sorry, Saturday. Affordable Auction 130 is Saturday, the 31st, with Beta Ray Jim, probably Robo Monster Island, Max, I think Keith Lackey will be there, and I'm not sure who else, but check those guys out. It is a little bit later start time. 9 30 eastern 6 30 pacific all right so i'm gonna get uh, carlos's uh ig going let me see here looks like the incredible hulk bronze lot is a runaway winner in the poll okay do you have any buy it nows yeah 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 i got some am i ready to it, go it was it was berserker I tried to vote for the wreath, but it wasn't available. <laughs> Edwin, put that Edwin, up there. Edwin, yes. Can you address Omar S's comment, please? If you'd like me to address it, I I don't think you really want me to right now. But I'm gonna ask you to address it. Well, I think I think Omar just the the prices that he was asking for. Um, I mean, obviously, if they were like nine fours, nine eights, they would be a lot higher grade or a lot higher asking price. But he had three out of the four books. I mean, the the X Men number four alone is a twenty to forty dollar book. Yeah, but that um, wasn't in yet. No, it wasn't in. But right. but I think that some people assume that it was. So, uh, Lawman is not like a grader. He just describes him as best he can. But he he said three times when people were asking that they should grade in the nines. So. A5, I don't think, was an option for any of the books that he had showed Omar. Well, the only thing I can tell you is that you know, I, when, I, when I get them, I ask the guy who I buy them from, because that's what he does. And I ask him to, act, to tell me what he believes the grades are going to be. Because I, I, I can't hold that out as a seller. Because the minute that we hold things out like it's going to be a 9 2 as a seller, then that means that we, we, we were holding whatever the grades going to be. I can't do that. I mean, because then actually, you know, if it comes back a 9 0 for any reason that's not my own, then you're coming back at me. It, it, it's a high mm, grade. Yeah. That's the we can do. So, I mean, yeah. I, I understand you want, you, want, you want assurances, but if I can't give them to I can't give them to you. Sorry. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. And, and, I, and I don't know. Even with my last ASM 361, I said it was a 9092. <coughs> I try not to do that. If I do, I grade conservatively because, yeah, you don't want it to come back low and then people get mad at you and they don't want to buy from you anymore because they think that you can't grade. Um, all right, so let's go to Carlos. Carlos, you got some buy now, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, just do a couple of them so we can get on with the auction lot. Um, so I've still got this electric black. This is the 1 in 10 variant of number uh, 1 doing this for uh, 20. And then I've got a... Something is killing the children. This is number four, the variant, um, and this is this is of course a very very crispy uh, book or copy. Um, I'm putting it at a nine, easy nine four, probably a nine six, and definitely a contender for a nine eight if you give it a like a quick press. So um, yeah, I mean I don't guarantee the grades, but yeah, it's this is a really crisp copy. And this one is buy it now for a hundred. So I got electric black um, for twenty. And that's the one in ten for number one, and then the variant cover for number four of something kill is killing the children for a hundred. And those are the two buy it nows. And then let's get to the lot. So the clear winner for the lot uh, for the vote was the Bronze Age was Incredible Hulk Kurt? lot. No, it wasn't. Stop it, Paul. It was a Bronze Age, <laughs> incredible Hulk lot. Um, but, the, but I know a lot of people wanted to see the Department of Truths. There are first prints of some of the later issues, uh, like two, three, four. Um, but I'll, so I will do that the second round, um, if, if that's cool to do. So here's the incredible Hulk lot. These range in grade from 70 to 80, uh, plus or minus. And I'll say Sam as we go. It's a five book incredible Hulk lot, uh, starting at 25. This is number 238. And this Keep is Paul to interrupt. I'm sorry? Keep 
Cue Paul to interrupt. Oh. You said starting business this, this, this is an 8 0 plus or minus. Then uh, Incredible Hulk number 239. This is a 7 0 plus or minus. Needs a definitely, this one needs a. All of these I recommend to press because it'll, it'll help them out immensely. Um, 240. Number eight, uh, this is an 8 0 plus or minus. Number 242. Doesn't include 241. Um, this is a 8 0 plus or minus. And then number 243. Uh, 7 0 plus or minus. And all these could use, like I said, a clean or press. And I will do a quick spine slide. Yeah, no, I mean, that's agreed. You know, we never know what, you know, what grade is going to be assigned for any given book. These are just going to be the best estimations we make based on experience and, uh, and just taking note of the general condition. So I'm going to do the uh, spine slide here so you guys can see. Oh man, what? Oh, and one's a direct 1979. Nice. All right. Yeah, and so as Paul as Paul pointed out, um, so the let's see, the 238 is a, is a direct, and then the 239 newsprint or newsstand, uh, the 240 newsstand. The 242 newsstand and the 243 newsstand. So that is the lot for the Incredible Hulk. Five bronze, uh, really nice Bronze Age books. Definitely great for a. Um, definitely a nice addition to the collection, or just books to have moving forward. Okay, so starting bid is twenty five dollars, right? Yes, twenty five. How many books do you got again? It is five, and they are Bronze Age, and then shipping would be nine for the lot. So let's take a look at these. Like I said, they are all seven zero plus or minus up to an eight zero plus or minus, and they all would be great to be pressed. To, uh, to give them a little bump. All right, so Paul doesn't have a question for me to ask, so I'm going to ask the card shop. <laughs> okay. Card shop, it's great to be on with you. Yeah, man. I was expecting Paul to interrupt you. It's your first round. <laughs> oh my he's, he's, God. Uh, he's got a little, uh, there's like a little red bat phone that he has now. Do you, do you, and, you do all, and, now you're, and now you're copying his spine slide. I know, man. man. You see that? Come on, Paul, get with it. Do y'all need a moment to each other there, car shopping, Carlos? <laughs> hey, man, I got to respect it when somebody's able to jump line ahead of you, Paul. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, he gets he gets these perks, man. <laughs> Over here in the comic shops with Strictly and on here, man. Boy, I tell you. These are the five Incredible Hulk books right here. You are getting these a direct two edition. Two thirty-eight nice. through um, two forty-two, I think is what it, or two forty-three. Missing number two forty. Yeah, it's two forty-three. Missing number two forty-one. All right, guys, starting bid is $25. So not a whole lot of time left. But he says, I'm waiting on... Uh, you got to go change the flat tire, MT. Damn, you got another flat tire again? <coughs> Chris... Creative, I got your message. I got your payment. Thank you very much. There are 13 spots left in the raffle. Uh, yeah, the poll's coming, but I can't ask that question, Karshava. I got to ask related to what you're going to sell. 
<laughs> Trying to help you guys out selling and making some money. Yeah. It's a good idea. I like it. So, Damn, three this month. You had to change. Man, what you doing, man? So here's 238. Mm -hmm. 239. And then you could watch the t the, the show. That's crazy, and he's not even like you're not even in his city, so he has no reason to be burning through tires like that. Uh, he's burning through tires, man. Two forty two and two forty three. Oh uh car shop, that's not allowed on here, man. Don't do I that again, know. man. Yeah, Sorry. don't do that again in car shop. Sorry, Paul. <laughs> 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 So Hi. just a quick, you uh, remi just a quick reminder. You have the electric black uh, number one, the one in ten variant for twenty, and then I've got uh, the variant for number four if something is killing the children, very high grade for um, for a hundred. So and who knows? I might in a later round I might decide to go ahead and do a flash sale on a couple of these. Uh -oh. we'll, see. we'll see. We will see. This is a lot. And, uh, yeah. and a quick preview for next round. Um, Strictly, are we doing the are we doing the poll for every round or? Yeah, if, I'm trying to I'm trying to just do something new. So every okay. time you guys are next, just put in what you think you might want me to ask the uh, chat. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right, and we'll hold that for next time. So I'm looking forward to the next round. Okay. All right. Uh, we're gonna go to Paul. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for right here. Uh, but real quick, before we go to Paul, let me just give you guys a reminder. All oh, right, quick. this is what I'm so. Oh, damn! Uh, man, doing a free giveaway tonight, but we got to get up to at least 120. We have a Death of Superman number 75. Nice. It has been opened, but the book is in really nice shape. It's about a, it's about a near mint, near mint minus. It's complete. It has the it has the the armbands, it has the obituary, it has the cards. It's complete. Um, and then also with this lot, Superman Adventures of Superman 500 signed by Doug Hazelwood, who did a lot of inking for Tom Grummet, and Doug Hazelwood also signed this and did a little uh, little Superman uh, symbol. So. We get up to 120 likes, we'll do these. And if we get up to 140, I got more that I will add to this. So if you haven't hit the like button, guys, please hit it. I know there's a lot of new people that are in here uh, every 15 or 20 minutes. So hit that like button. Even if you're just stopping by, it does help us out. You don't need to be present to win. I will reach out to all winners and give you guys like a week or so to claim. All right, so Paul, the screen is on you. What you got uh, for us, man? You got some buy right? now? You, you, am I ready now? I'm good. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Go oh, ahead. yeah, uh, Carlos, <coughs> since, you in, since you're in here, man, make sure you pick this up, man. Mm. This is a good read. Mm. But it, it comes out like August something, I think, from Free Comic Book Day. He likes to make such a big deal out of us getting special treatment. <laughs> well, I got my buy it now. It's a Sagi Ochimbo number 20. This is the second print. It sold out everywhere I I went to. But I'm gonna do a buy now for 15. First appearance of the character. First print is going crazy. That one sold out. I got Venom 26. This is a comic mint exclusive, and it's a I mean yeah I think comic. Frankie I mean a Peach Momoko cover. I'm gonna do a buy now for 30 on this one. Yeah, smoking Paul is here. Yeah, man. So uh, I got Earth 2, number 24. He appears in Superman costume in the last panel of this book. All these titles are just going crazy right now. But I'm going to do a buy now for 30 for this book. Hey, wait, is, is this for uh, Val Zod? Yeah, that's for the yeah, one okay. that Michael yeah, B. Yeah. Jordan is playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, nice. All right, since Strictly's here, 
I ain't do no poll, but I'm gonna put this up. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. I got Teenage Let me go. see, hold up, I can't read it. T- <laughs> Teenage oh, Mutant Ninja Turtles number three. Man. This is a first <laughs> print. Let me take it out of the thing. You better man, not this, put that up, man. Yeah, yeah, man this, put it up. this man did oh, no, a man. Hulk so Hogan I'm, I'm ripped the shirt at, flex with that Ninja Turtles. But I'm putting this at a nine nine oh nine two range. I'm gonna start this off at two hundred. Oh man. And then I'll Strictly. do that's for you. This is for you, Jen. I'm gonna do corner kind of. Let me right let here. me let me see that cover real good, man. Let me see it real quick, man. No, no, oh, man, that's, the, that's that's cool. That's Paul, clean. you gotta be aware of the uh the error variant, man. So make sure it's not an error variant. No, it's not the error variant. I mean I would so, so you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. This would be okay. lighter. Now it's the first print. Okay. But it okay. still is a low print turtle book. Yeah. Oh my boy came in at two hundred. Damn. <laughs> Nice. There you go, big dog. Mm-hmm. I didn't know he was a Turtles fan. Oh, shit. He knows his number three. He knows his low print run. In. That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's a and, 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 and you know what, Eric? Appreciate your service, man. I got this. I was going to show this since you showed up. It's my hat. And then nice. you had to. People know what's up with that. You get tight. That's my division on there. That was my serial no I mean, uh, my last of my social. That's what you had to do when you were at boot camp. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, Paul. Look at that. Can, oh, can Paul get some? Can Paul get some fire? Because we don't see turtle books like this up on here. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'll give him some fire in a minute. Hold yeah. on. Lucian. Lucian, I found this man. Nice. Yeah, that's the ship I was on. He's on. He was on a nuclear sub. I was on a nuclear, nuclear aircraft carrier. I found that Lucian. I just wanted to show you, man. And I could take. I could take the bagging board out if y'all want to see the back. Oh snap! Oh, oh lawman! HGM oh, law. M four twenty five. J H G. Mister Unknown, thank y'all. Appreciate y'all. And I can show the back if y'all would like. If not, I'll just leave it. And I also will throw in this because I don't have anything for it. And I'll just put it back in here. Damn, I thought Strict where's Strictly at? I thought Strictly would be in here. He bar wants to know how much for the buckle. Who? Who? <laughs> oh, Daniel. Oh, man, I, I just polished it, man. Polished it. This you was on my brasso. What'd you use on that brasso or what? What'd you nah, use? I used the. Uh, there's like a. There's like a thing I got from the ship. It's like good with the. Uh, it's kind of like stainless almost, but then you buff it, buff it a little bit. That that was for my dress. I mean, my work inspection uniform. But I was thing just is, Paul's it. already got this book, man. So. Oh, I knew it. But I can always use another copy. Don't tempt them. <laughs> All <laughs> yeah, right, so we'll, we'll I put another this. poll question up for you guys for Car Shop Reality, who's coming up next. So check that out if you don't mind. I got Mr. Unknown. I got Iraq. I got HGM Law in on this. And HGM Law comes yeah, in. Yeah, there you with go, Steve. Toothpaste. I've, I've used toothpaste before. Oh, Thank 275 you, to Iraq. My, my veteran brother. I appreciate you. They're wanting. Uh, what'd you say you had that at like a nine two nine four? No, I put it at a nine oh nine two, but it has not been pressed and cleaned. But I'll show the spine again, and if y'all want, I can show the back. Mister Unknown is in for three hundred. What's yeah, up, you Otaku it. Dan? You missed it. 
But yeah, I was I was waiting for you, Lucian. That's why I wanted to show you, man. I polished up like oh, like I used to back in the day. Since you were on a nuclear sub, I was like, man, I, I'll show him my nuclear aircraft carrier. Oh, thank you, Weapon X. <laughs> Look what Lucian said, man. <laughs> I've seen it. <laughs> I just want to say these, uh, what, strictly these uh, one through four? They're yeah. low print, right? Yep. Yep. Very low print. Even the number four second printing has gotten ridiculous. Freaking ridiculous. But this is the first print. It's not the uh, New York Comic Con, I think. Yeah. It'll be, light. It'll be lighter right here, but this yeah. is the first print. Or the issue number three. I think it even mm -hmm. has a first appearance, huh? What's the first appearance, Strick? Uh, Is it April O'Neil or? I don't know. I'm asking you, man. You the turtle guy. <laughs> Everybody wants my belt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're talking about the wrong thing, man. Oh, so man, not much time I, left. I just had to show Lucian, man, when I had those those uh, inspections, man. He knows underway inspections, man. You had to be right. Got my days off. I can show the bag if y'all like. Or... A rock is in for 320. Yeah, you, you get it delivered, man. I'll give it to Strictly. He'll deliver it to you, bud. <laughs> All right, that puts us in overtime. So let me change Cause, cause I'm, not, I'm not going over there, man, because I can't move another couch, man. man my back still hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's so true. Hey, everywhere Paul goes, they start. They use him like uh, they use him to uh, move furniture and stuff. He, he done moved the dishwasher, or no, he moved the uh, washing machine for me, uh, Iraq, and I had him cutting some wood on my deck. Yeah, man, we went to Iraq, good man. Oh, uh, man, he's like, hey, man, since, since Strictly's out of commission, can you help me with this sofa? I was like, what the hell? But Strictly got something nice from him, man. Hopefully Strictly can show up. Mr. Unknown, appreciate you, bud. Yeah, they tell them, tell them, Lucian, man. We had those regular ones, but man, they, you were proud to wear these because that's where it, that's where it said where you were stationed on. Those sold out at the ship stores. Glad you're on here, Lucian. I had to show you because I remember you telling me about the nuclear sub. Appreciate everybody bidding. Like Strictly said, this is number three. All the all the earlier ones were low prints. This is a first print. Okay, so quick recap: we got Iraq Zentara, we got Mister Unknown. Iraq, if you win, man, folded. I'll come deliver it, man. Or I'll just get strictly to do it, man. Lawman has folded, so it's just between those two. Anybody you, can still man. jump in. Anybody can still jump in because we're in overtime, but it's just between Mister Unknown, Comics Guy. And a rock Zantara. Oh, both of us were in the Navy, man. No, oh, man, he was in the Army, man. You were in Ooh, the Navy. Oh, Lu Lucian was in the Navy. Man, you can't be in oh, the I thought Army. you were talking about a rock. I thought you were talking about a rock. Oh, man. no. A rock was in the Army, right? Yep. Hey, man, you win, man. I'll help you out, man. I was just kidding with you, man. You're good people. We just have to talk about some books you got, man, and we'll make a deal. <laughs> I got a movie. I got a movie fee, man. I'll help you move, man. You just help me out. Just hook me up on some of them nice books you got, man. So, did did a rock? He said he wouldn't have folded if you came, Paul. Did you fold a rock, or are you still in this? Because I don't see a. Yeah, I didn't I see, see him a fold. fold. I still see you at uh, 320, and I see Mr. Unknown for 325. That's all good, man. I'll help you move, man. But you win. I'll come deliver it for you, man. No big deal. Yeah, I appreciate that, Dominic. Yeah, definitely thank all veterans for their service, man. Yeah, Ricky always says that, man. I appreciate you, Ricky. 
It's just mm -hmm. Lucian came in. I had to show him because uh, he knows what that means. Oh, Mr. Unknown takes it, I think. Yep. So appreciate the bidding, the rock. Thank you, everybody else who's bidding. Congratulations to Mr. Unknown for 325. 325, and then put a uh, Mr. Unknown put a. Uh, You know what? Just put uh, just put ten, and I'll I'll insure it for you, for you, and then I'll put it in. Uh, it'll come like this with the loader and everything. So appreciate you. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Um. So we. So let me end this poll question. Appreciate everybody for participating in the poll questions. Uh, hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. Let me get Mr. Um. Car Shop Realities IG going at the bottom. And Paul, this is for you, man. I forgot to give this to you earlier, but here you go, man. Oh, Ooh. man. Oh, Jim, look at that, man. I want black oh, eyes. Right, Jim? We want black eyes. That That's sweet. right. <laughs> give them some black eyes. <laughs> give them a lot of black eyes. <laughs> All right. So, Car yeah. Shop, you had 35 people participate. Oh, you're reading oh. comics, man? No, this this ain't, <laughs> this ain't car shop. This is North Ric Flair North. now. Look at, uh, look at Ric yeah. Flair. Fifty-seven percent of the look, people said they. Oh snap! Look, he's, man, that is that is a decent suit right there. Decent. Thank you, thank you, Carlos. I'd, I'd wear that on a Sunday. <laughs> and and check the boots. I know. I saw them. I was like, those are pretty. Those are pretty swank. So it's episode one twenty nine. My first full appearance. So here we go. Uh, I think the poll, what did the poll say, Strictly? It said 50% want to see Amazing Spider-Man. Rick Flair. Okay. Someone. All right. I'm going to try to raise some money <laughs> so I can try to buy a spot on Strictly's uh, graded deal. So we're going to put up for auction. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. A newsstand. Nice. And it looks good. We're going to show it pretty tight. We're gonna start the bidding at a dollar. Oh, I he's, have, been, he's been drinking. Yep. No drinking. No drinking. This is this is uh, this is just uh, me giving back to the community, man. I love the chat. Love hanging out with you guys. So let's see what happens. All right. We can give it plenty of plenty of time. Give you a good look at it. Looks really nice. I got three copies of this. They all look very similar. And I just grabbed one. Oh, Don Cop coming in for 25. Nice. Our rock, you are a little slow. You got to come in at 26. Vincent is in on this. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add a little bonus to it also. Free shipping. Free shipping. What condition did you say you had that in? I believe I believe it to be near mint. Okay. And you can you can give it a good look. This thing's been in a box for 20 years over. Okay. We read by, I recall, and this is part of my personal collection that I had for years. I've got three, I've got three copies of it. What did this start off at? A dollar. Man, car shop drinking again. All right, no. so maybe that suit, that suit's messing with you, car shop. Punisher, man. Be careful, car shop. All them muscles are messing. What? What? You gonna bend the book? All them no, muscles, man. It. I got it up top. I got it up top. <laughs> a Rock said thirty-five for the comic, five dollars for a tip. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I wanted to do something special for episode one twenty-nine. Make our first full appearance on. Oh, you Strictly. know what? I'm gonna, nice. I'm gonna do something. No, oh, that's a good book right there, man. Appreciate it, Vincent. All right, so I still got okay. So I got Doc Cop, Rock, MT is trying to get a piece of this action. Nice. Uh, tre treasures Noir. Nice. I got four people. You can look them up. Look it up. Strictly knows how good this book is. Yeah, man, that's just that's just a classic book right there, man. And and think about what's it what's it going to be in October? What's it going to be in Halloween? Well, the movie comes out in September, I think. Right, but but give it you know give it some time for the people to go see it. Yeah. 
uh, Red Hood, do you want a spot? Are you claiming a spot? I don't pick numbers for people, so you have to pick your own spot, man. Actually, I need to get uh, who's next. Uh, Weapon X is next. Let me get his poll question going. And we got more stuff coming later tonight, too. All right, guys, I put the uh, question in the chat. Weapon X is coming up next. Let us know. Let him know what you would want him to put up for auction. All are right. We getting, are we getting near overtime? We're getting close, aren't we? Yes, we are. Not much time left. Appreciate a Red Hood. I got you. I want to thank everybody that uh, came out that I invited to the come out to the auction tonight appreciate y'all you're welcome man you're welcome. yeah paul you too <laughs> paul you need to subscribe to strictly here. <laughs> hey yeah, man, man I, paul, you, hold you, up man you're, pu you're pushing it now man you're pushing it now Carson. okay 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 all right Just i asked I know, too much me and Carson are talking for a few hours man good people good people thank you man thank you now now that strictly got new tires man we're gonna go and see you man well, good. I got a vehicle, feeling I'll, I'll see you guys first, probably. My, my vehicles won't make it out there, man. Yeah, because they're so loaded up with comics. <laughs> <laughs> he'd, he'd hit up 50, uh, 50 shops on the way to see you. Come on, I man. Bet. Come on, car shop. You see what kind of vehicles I got, man. I ain't got nothing to fit no comic books in there, man. One short box, right? Yeah, five comic books a piece each one. Okay. That's why I, that's why I call strictly when I pick up like short box or something. Man, that's a nice newsstand. Yeah, newsstand. Oh wow, nice. I own three copies that I bought a long time ago, like this, and they've been just put away. Nice. All right, guys, we're in overtime. Let me get a recap real quick. I got uh, who's in this? I got where uh, Paul's cars go. <laughs> Hold on, man. Strictly will answer that, man. Answer him, Strictly. I can't go off the road, man. Shoot, that man can climb mountains. It could be a <laughs> shop at the top of Mount Everest. Carlos will be there. <laughs> I mean, I mean, coming no, out, Carlos, too. Carlos and Paul, they get there at the same time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, so I still got MT in this, I think. Uh, Arad folded, uh, Vincent folded, uh, dot cop, yeah, dot cop folded. Um, so MT, it's really between you and Treasures, Treasures Noir. Anybody ever, anybody know Treasures Noir? Yeah. Yeah, I invited okay. her. Her okay. name's Kayla. Okay. Yeah. Uh oh, yeah. You know what to do, Strictly. Uh, so MT or anybody else can jump in, but MT, what do you want to do? The uh... hey, it, MT, no joke, man. There's a there's actually a a, a Delorean sh uh, warehouse right here in Houston, man. That builds those cars, man. I need to go talk to him. You gave me a good idea. All right, so MT folds, so it's going to go to Treasures Noir. Nice. For 35 plus shipping. Congratulations. Wow, that's a good, good deal, man, on this. 
It's All a right. new stand. Wow. Second carnage. Yup. Yeah, this book's gone. gone this is up. this is Sam De La Rosa, everybody, man. Man, this is nice. All right, so there said, is his cash app at the bottom left, and I'm going to I'm shut in. Mark, down. Mark Bagley. Mark Bagley. Uh, I'm going to shut down this poll. Appreciate uh, almost 30 people voting on it. And yeah, man, you got to quit pumping it. during the rounds, card shop. <laughs> okay, so Weapon X, you are up, sir. I got your IG going at the bottom here. Weapon X. Your turn, Weapon X. All right, I got it, I got it, I got it. You got uh, 53 percent Weapon X, 53% voted for something that's killing the children. Uh-oh, let's see it. So which one? 42% Wolverine, so it's pretty close, but. Oh, okay. Everybody, the winner is something's killing the children. All right. Yeah, but, yeah. Got it, got it, got it. Something's killing the children. All right. Can't see nothing, Weapon X. I'm right here. There, there you go. There I'm you right go. here. I'm right here. I'm right here. All right. Um, so we're going to do some mystery on the children. All right. I'm going to start this off at uh, $5. Four books. It's not. You see that, Paul? All right. So we got uh, something that's killing the children. 11. I was, I was about to say there's stands, but no comics, man. You said five dollars starting bid. <laughs> yes, five. sir. Oh, the prison cover. God damn, Weapon X. Just to let y'all know, man, I was looking for this prison cover, but they now I know who got them all. Yeah, I went in and bought them all. <laughs> I know, I man. I love that prison cover. <laughs> That's one of the best covers in the series. The chat doesn't understand. I gotta fight Carlos Nan Weapon X. God, yeah. I'm gonna have to move to another city, man. Then I got uh, the girl in the dark. Oh yeah, that's a good 17. one. Isn't it the first appearance of her mom or something like that? Or they were saying something about this cover has something. I don't know. And then uh, the fourth book is uh, Basilic Second Print, but this has oh, a preview yeah. for House of Slaughter in it. Yep. So the only thing with this one is there is a small, or there is a. Ben oh, take yeah. yeah, right there. That's probably the one Carlos left behind. Man. I think so. I think that's the one he yeah. grabbed and he bent it for me. I got you, Mister Unknown. I'm gonna check it. And then if we get up to, uh, are we at twenty? Uh, you know what? If we get up to forty-five, I'll put in. Uh, Something is killing on chart number 16. If it gets up to 45. So this is the Megan Hutchison Cates cover. And that one can come in to play. Oh, we got Edwin Diaz in the house. What's up, Edwin Diaz? What's up, Tristan? Tristan, I got your books too, man. Just, we got to get together, man. I got to bring your books. So I got Doc Hop, I got Edwin Diaz. Those are the only two currently. Okay. Michael Delgado in for 45. Wow. Delgado on a hammer. Dropping a hammer, man. All right. Because of that preview, man. That preview's just going crazy. What so now, yeah. Now I know who's got who has them all. <laughs> yeah, I left all the first prints there for you of uh, Bass. Yeah, like, man. Oh, I was like, if you want to go get them, know, but I was you know. like, who got the second prints? There were like some. Oh, you know, you know the two guys that come in here. I'm like, oh man, man. I'll tell you, just tell them my my box number, and you can get the hookup. And say, yeah, yeah and, and you know what, Strictly Web, Weapon X texted me like, thanks for not hitting the shop yet. <laughs> <laughs> or like, if I hit the shop, he's like, damn it, Paul. <laughs> I saw you back it in the other day when I drove by. I was about to text you, back, say, get out of my parking spot. Back in. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, Carlos. 
I mean, Paul Parson a handicap, man, because you don't want to give nobody else a shot at getting any books. No, man, that's not true at all. Right, Carlo? <laughs> hey, Strictly, uh, Strictly, this is a uh, card shop. You, is uh, spot number one still available in the raffle? It is. I'll put you there. Okay, put me in. All right, you got it. Thanks, man. I'm gonna try to beat my. I'm gonna try to be back by the end of my round. By the start of my round, I'm going to the drive-through. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, are you going in the? Are you going in the costume? Even no. Be, oh. No. Hey, but, but I am wearing the boots. I am wearing the boots. Yes. Car yes. shop. Even if you don't make it back, man, we'll we'll, we'll skip you and we'll just come back to you. Okay. I think I'll make it. It's right down the road. All right. I was hoping he was going to go in the costume. <laughs> I got the boots, though. <laughs> he rides the short bus. <laughs> oh, you, oh, man, you talking about Carlos like that, man? <laughs> Tristan. Damn, Tristan. Oh, you man. I, I love it when Tristan's uh, when he's being a savage man. He he has such potential to be an asshole, but he just tries to be a nice guy all the time. <laughs> Tristan is a nice guy, man. He is, man. But I love it when when that comes out, man. Yeah, you right, <laughs> Tristan. Every time I call Strictly, he's got to drive through somewhere. Man, people can hear you, man. <laughs> I was talking to Tristan. Tristan knows. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you talking about me, Tristan? Oh man. Okay, so I'm starting to see a lot of folds. I'm seeing a fold by Comics and Bud. Yeah, uh, I see. I see Weapon X folded. Edwin Diaz. Uh, I see Card Shop folded. Card <laughs> 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 Right, I'm gonna put this in the overtime. Eggs. I'm gonna put this in the overtime just for a second. I gotta make sure that uh, okay. I count all the. Uh, make sure I count all the folds. Uh, while I'm counting, how many likes do we got, guys? Can somebody tell me? I think we got like 21. Man, come on, Paul, I'm gonna meet you, man. <laughs> <laughs> we got 82 likes. 82. Okay, so only 82. less than 40 left to go. So while I am looking, if you guys haven't hit that like button, please. Hit it now. We get up to 120 likes. We're going to do a free giveaway. Get up to 140, and I will add to that giveaway. But I think that Michael Delgado wins it. Did Michael? I did not see a fold from Michael, but Michael Delgado has the lead. So Michael, Michael, man, you getting a good uh, I think deal. it's. Uh, I think is that is that Papa Willie? Is that who that is? That that Michael at 25. Uh, it, it, either way. Do you want to go 46, keep it in overtime, or anybody else, or, or do you want to fold? Michael folded. Okay, okay, appreciate it, Michael. So, okay, so we have a winner. It goes to Michael Delgado for 45. Congratulations. Wow, 45 is a good deal for these. Got it. Damn, weapon next. Appreciate it, Tristan. Yeah, I was just, just making sure, man. We... We, we, we got to wait till everybody folds in overtime, at least with these old school auction style rounds. So, okay, so there's a cash app, and we're going to go to me, but I will not be long because I'm not I'm not selling anymore for the rest of the night. So, oh man, <clears throat> yeah, so free giveaway tonight, guys. Death of Superman, it's open, but it's complete, everything is in it. The, the, the Superman armband, the obituary, the trading cards, the comic itself is in like near mint, near mint minus condition. Um, with this, we're gonna give away, and this is all, this is all gonna go to one winner. Superman, Adventures of Superman, sorry, 500 signed by uh, Doug Hazelwood. And this also, this is, I mean, extremely high grade, also signed by Doug Hazelwood. Uh, with a little Superman logo remark, Adve uh, Adventures of Superman 501. So if we get up to 120, those will be giveaway. And I, I think that I'm going to add some more to that even now. Um, so 
I got, I think this is half halfway filled up. So only 10 spots left, guys. If we get this filled up tonight, we'll run it tonight. Only 10 spots, um, $10 a spot. That's it. Go to the video description below and pick a spot. You can cash app it to me. You can PayPal it to me. It's all fine. But if this gets filled up tonight, we will raffle this. Um, how much to ship? Uh, that's a question for Weapon X. I got him. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. So, that being said, Jen, are you ready? You're on mute too, man. Yeah, I'm ready. All right. We got the camera on you, man. All right. Let's see. Um, um, Arag, just just pick for me, man. I, I don't like to pick for people. There's, I'll put the spots in the chat, and you can pick what spots are available. Sorry, <clears throat> Jen. No, you're fine. Um, all right, I'm going to show you my buy it nows. <clears throat> We're doing a Harley Quinn rebirth. Harley Quinn number one. Origin of Harley Quinn retold, signed by Chad Harden. That'll be a hundred. <clears throat> We're also doing a Fate List number one. It's a Libra Mayho cover variant. Doing um one hundred for this also. <clears throat> this is Archie 100. Volume Two. Uh, number one, signed by Mark Wade and uh, Terry Moore. They signed on the guitars right there. Doing 100 for this. <clears throat> Go Go Power Rangers, Forever Rangers number one. Signed by Gabriel Piccolo. It also says it's worth in time by him. This is a Virgin cover. 100 for that. <clears throat> I believe Paul had said earlier that Hulk Hogan is getting an autobiography. I think Chris uh, Hemsworth is going to play Hulk Hogan. So this is a Hulk Hogan signature. Blank cover, 9-8, sign, signed by Terry Hulk Hogan. <clears throat> 200 for this. Buy it now. Peter Parker, the spectacular Spider-Man. Uh, sketch cover by... Um, Randy Emberlin. Um, he's a co-creator of Carnage, worked on um, Venom and Carnage books and many others. <clears throat> and uh, that is, I think, all for my buy it nows. <clears throat> so going up is Origin 2 Wolverine number one, signed by Adam Kubert. And he oh, actually yeah. wrote Inside, he's the best at what he does. <clears throat> he wrote that actually inside the book because this cover opens and mm -hmm. you actually see a for I can't remember what it's called. It's like a it's almost. It's like like a they call it like an acetate cover. There you go, acetate cover. So he actually wrote it inside the front page. It's a pretty clean copy. The nine eight. We'll start this off at fifty. I think that's fair. <clears throat> All right, y'all see it. $50 starting bid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then also, you know, uh, somebody on here was selling, uh, what was it, uh, Card Shop was selling uh, uh, one of those CGC books, like those first gens, or th someone said that it was a first gen. Okay, well, that wasn't a first gen. This is a first gen. So when you have a first gen, the covers were red. So oh yeah, these, these are the modern graded cgc when they got in the nines okay mm -hmm. okay yeah so these were the these were the original first gens this is unpressed and haven't touched it since man Uh, this price on the spectacular Spider-Man number one, uh, Snit thirty-three forty-two. That's uh, it's uh, two hundred. 
Because he's pretty pricey, man. For this one right here. Just 200. Doc Cop. That's, that's not going to ever get sold. That's part of my PC. And if you look at that book at a 9.0, it's never going to get sold. I'm already back, Jim. Mm -hmm. Drop her. Man, that was fast. That, that was, was fast. pretty Yeah, man. <clears throat> hey, Carlos. Yes, sir. You didn't say hi to me, man. Oh. What's up, Law? <clears throat> How are you? You got some beef? Do I, do, do I need to come to confession? <laughs> no, there's no beef. Okay. I'm glad that, I'm glad that you're feeling better. I'm really, All right. Robert really Burke is out at 50. It's good to see you back and uh, and feeling feeling better, or at least I hope feeling better. Yeah, you know, you know, I, I, I feel I feel fine. Not 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 as good as your cushy little face. It's really <laughs> thing that you got going on there, man. My cushy face. Cushy little face. Thank you, Mr. Unknown. I think I think what he's man. saying is we're not used to seeing you without a goatee or something, uh, Carlos. <laughs> no, I I uh, I shaved it in case uh, in case I had to put a breathing mask on. Oh, you got in trouble so. again, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you got in trouble again, huh? No, no. Lawman, did you have a question you wanted me to ask? The it's kind of short notice, but I didn't see anything in either. No, I've got my. Okay. So you got to you got to put it in the chat, Lawman. What do I put in the chat? No, he he he's good. Yeah, because he's doing the 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 thing, Lawman. No poll. Paul, if you Paul, if you want me to ask, put it put what you want me to ask in the private chat. Paul, Paul. Paul. Yo. Paul, are you there? Damn it. <laughs> what is going on? Well, what you what you need? Well, man, I'm right here, man. I hear you. I didn't, I didn't know. Yes, sir. I, I, I'm 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 gonna start a slab at a dollar. Oh, snap. oh man, he ain't took his medicine again. All right, <clears throat> guys. So real real quick, Snick is the. Only bidder for fifty. Somebody needs to come in. Ninety fifty one. Yeah, real quick. Up to send Andy it in the overtime. Kubert. Wow. You have to send it in overtime. Somebody needs to come in with a fifty one dollar bid real quick. No worry, Mr. Unknown, even though you give me a hard time, man. Who I signed think, that, I you think signed you, that Jim? It's signed, signed by, by Adam Kubert. Adam Kubert. He, he did a lot of Wolverine back in the day, and he signed a quote in there too, right? What does it say? It says he's the he's best this. at what he does. But, yeah. 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 If anybody doesn't know, that's what Wolverine says in his slogan. Yeah. I'm the best at what I do. I'm the best there is at what I do. I'm the best. Okay, my bad. I'm the best there is. Uh, let's see here. Uh, both ways, I think. I'm sorry, Chad. I did not mean for them them two to say it like that. Okay, so I got TT, I got MT, I got Snick. You know what? I should have known Snick. 
would have been on this. I, I just keep forgetting. You got to be yeah. a Wolverine guy named Snick. Yeah, oh, maybe. yeah. That's that's true. Where's the corner content at, uh, Jim? I didn't think it needed corner content because it's a 9-8. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes sometimes I'd be old in the book and I'd be like, this guy. Like, ignore this like, guy. Loop, Jim. Loop. Like, you know what? I agree, I Jim. Ignore this guy, man. This should come back a 9-9. Nine, nine. You just they should. It should be a 9-9. Nine, nine. This is an acetate cover. I don't understand why, why it didn't come back a higher grade. I know, right, man? It's crazy. There's the gin I've been missing. It's like, man, what happened? Why, why did it come back a 9-8? <laughs> <laughs> It is nice. A 9.8 signed by Adam Adam Kubert. All right, Snick comes in for 53. There you go, Snick. <clears throat> so, since Paul ain't got a question for me to ask. MT uh, <laughs> collects Torox number one. Uh, actually, you know what, Carlos, you want to put in a question if you haven't already? Yeah, it's uh, it's in the chat, in the private chat. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, so for my for this next one. So and I got the I went ahead and pulled the books. That's my question, strictly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, isn't Carlos after Jen? Oh no, Lawman. Carlos then. after Lawman, yeah. Oh yeah. okay, yeah. You just had to cut me off, but I'll see how it is. I got a I got a question for uh, I got a poll question for Paul here. Uh oh, here we go. Let's see. All right. the, the 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 timer went off, right? I don't know. You yeah, but to... uh, other people came in. Oh, and Steve. Yeah, Appreciate no, I can't, you, I, Steve. I can't remember, man. I'm I'm sitting here trying to do too much, man. Oh, man, so, all you doing is pressing one button, man. Yeah. Been, okay. Uh, right, Jim. Me and Jim been. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get one. you that Torah, um empty. And the funny thing is, it all started off as a as a troll. Oh, uh, what? I hear Mrs. Edwin. Mrs. Edwin, I hear. Yeah, Mrs. Edwin laughing at you, lawman. Yeah, she, she's mean. over here giggling. Yep, oh. she's laughing at lawman. <coughs> That's a giggle. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you should see her when she laughs. One of these days, uh, when, 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 when we get together in person, you're going to have to tell me the story about how you two met. All right, you guys are um, <laughs> okay. bidding on a it ain't up the special, but signed I yeah, they went. I, they, to number one. Dynamic. Interesting dynamic. dynamic. Well, so I got, he's the best at what he does. Yeah, right. I still got Stephen Vines. I got Snick. I got MT. I got TT. So we actually got four players in on this, which is interesting. Um, Did anybody kid, read? Did, did anybody read the run on this? It's actually. Really I started weird. reading it. There's a lot of um, <laughs> he and Sabretooth kind of team up um, mm -hmm. against an enemy. I think I read the first two issues. I don't think I finished it, but I think they were just trying to capitalize on the first origin because I think the first origin was pretty successful. Mm -hmm. um, it, it was. It was. A, it was okay. I mean, well, I I read it. it I I liked it. It was. It was good. <laughs> Uh, but I think I think if it wasn't for for Adam Kubert, I probably wouldn't have picked it up. But it's it's yeah. a good run. Yeah, I think I'd I think his here. name on it is what made me go. You know what? I got I should probably pick this up, and then I did. Yeah, and uh, it was it was a good decision because I think at that time I think when was it when was when the book came out? I think it came out. Carlos, yeah, so not even answers, That's when they were man. starting what to the hell kind of answer is that? Yeah, rebooting. <laughs> Okay, so, so not even an folds. answer. Hold on, hold on, guys. So empty folds. I need to hear from TT and Snick because you know he started off at fifty. We've only gone up five dollars. Um, so if if somebody wants to drop a mini hammer, scare everybody else away, or keep the yeah, bidding mini, going. Mini hammers are always accepted in this auction. Mm -hmm. So let me put up a Strick, strictly mobile. What the hell? <laughs> Car Carlos, do me a favor, man. Put everything in one sentence. Man, I'm scrolling through a lot to find uh, 
to try to <laughs> compile your poll question. Okay. Okay. All right, snake folds. So I need to hear from T. Okay, so T. Okay, so all right, so it's gonna go to Steve Bynes for fifty-five plus shipping. All right, yeah, you just it's Steve. All right, Steve. Uh, just cash at me. Um, add fifteen dollars to that. Cash at me at the Future Batman, and then um, uh, find me on Instagram, which is the same as the Future Batman, and I'm gonna start packaging this for you. All right, yeah, thanks, you'll, you'll have Appreciate it dropped it, off. You have it dropped off at the post office before the. Before the auction is over, man. Right. Yep. All right, man. That's All no right. lie. <laughs> that is no lie. That's oh, actually God. true. Look, look at Ric Flair over there. Look at Ric Flair. Yeah, that's the kind of fast service we've come to expect. All right. Uh, let's do this, guys. Hit that like button. <laughs> and we're going to try to get a few more likes so we can do some free giveaways. Uh, oh, man. Um, let me see here. Also, guys. Ring that bell if you guys are new to subscribing. That way you guys get notified every time we go live doing a video or an Hey, auction. Strictly, I just sent payment on the uh, raffle spot. Okay. Thank you, sir. Let's go to ACM Law. What you got for us, sir? You got any buy it now or are you going straight to auction? I'm going straight to auction. I have two uh -huh. 9.8 slab. Uh -huh. um, uh, by a very popular writer. <laughs> both, um, both, like I said, both are 9.8, one CGC, one CBS, C, C, CBCS. I'm going to start at a dollar. The winner gets his choice of either, either, either two slabs. I'm not going to tell you what the slabs are, but they're very popular books, very good, very good slabs. <coughs> for some reason, the bidding gets to 125, and the winner gets both slabs. Oh, Again, wow. both 9.8. Man. Very, very modern. One CGC, one CBCS. Virgin, virgin variant. Pristine condition. Starting bid a dollar. Man. Wow. Like I say, whoever, whoever wins, it's his pick of you one. But if it gets to 125, you get both. James Tinian is the author. Oh. Boom Studios oh, wow. is, 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 is the... Um... Something's killing the children. <laughs> Berserker. Okay. Well, you know that... You know, you know, both slabs. I'm, I'm just I'm just naming random books, man. I'm semi trolling. Yeah, both are done by Tinian. Both are Boom Studios. Both are uh, again Virgin variants. Both are nine point eight. One is CGC nine point eight. One CGC yes nine point eight. They're already bidding. Oh yeah, yeah. Where, where's the book at? I don't see it. It's a, mystery, it's a mystery thing. That's what I say. Oh, you're doing what Remy did. Oh, okay. Whoever wins will get their choice. Be the one. Oh, okay. You're doing what Remy did. You're not going to give him a hint? I just gave you hints. <coughs> oh, <Tenny>. yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I stepped away. My bad, man. Keep, 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 keep up, man. Keep up. I stepped away for a little bit. <coughs> All right. I got Michael Delgado. I got Milton. I got MT. No, for General, 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 General Jedi. Jedi. <laughs> this boom makes Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, and the next crossover. I think uh, IDW does what Adventures or something like that. He's been in those, those kind of books. So, so the winner will will they be able to see it, or they just yeah, or their their discretion they'll just no. okay. But like I say, if you get if you get one twenty five, they get both. Okay. No, what I'm saying like you can keep it a mystery unless they say they want to see them. Well, I mean, they have to choose. Whoever whoever wins is going to have to have to choose. Oh, okay, I got you. I got you. 
So it's whatever the winning bid plus, of course, 15 shipping. Gotcha. If they decide they want both of them, then obviously I'll do this. One is a something that's killing the children's lab. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, law man, are you drunk? You doing number one? Holy crap. No, I said one is a something that's killing the children's lab. Oh, I got you. Gosh, man, come on, Paul. Hey, right, man, I'm just trying to guess what the book is, man. All right, see, see, see those. See those are up. Since Steve's hit 90, I'm going to throw them both in now. <clears throat> both slabs are available. They both, they both go into a um, meeting container. Michael's in at 91. So since, since both are in, first slab. Win oh, number two. the Peach Momoko. Peach Momoko. Oh, Virgin. 9.8. Nice. Seven. You can see, 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 that's 9.8. Something to kill the children, number 12. Oh, yeah, that's the, that's the exclusive one, right? Yep. Yeah. White Frankie Pages. Comics exclusive, yeah. Nice, law man. So, Steve's in at 100. Oh, nice. You got them both. Both are in. They're both in at a hundred. Both in. Man, I took both in at ninety. Uh, somebody, somebody, somebody take his medicine. Yeah, that's uh, that's a good deal. Yeah, that's a real good. Deal. <laughs> MT. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> One. <laughs> wow. Uh, MT. I'm trying to do something. I'm trying to do something. Oh, that's mm -hmm. a that's a that's a sweet deal, man. That's hey, man. those are nurse, good books. Nurse, where's his nurse at? Yeah, his his uh, he's gonna end up like Edwin with his sugar levels dropping. <laughs> no, I'll be, I'll be like Carlos, have to shave my shave my face. Empty's <laughs> 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 yeah. at one oh five. One oh five, nice. Hey Carlos, did they do that for for a bypass <laughs> or a CPAP? Oh, Carlos is off. Carlos is getting ready for his round. It's next up to you, Lawman. Damn, there you go, Steve. 120. Nice. <clears throat> <laughs> MT said last bid. So I'll do just like Jen. I'll, I'll pack up in the next 15 minutes. <laughs> oh man, you hear that? You hear that, Strigley? Yeah, I mean, I I, I heard that. Man, what? Well, you, man. Well, we got Mr. Bynes at 120. <clears throat> He's winning. It looks like when the timer goes off. You know, someone else decides to pop in. Will have Steve, great pickups, man. If you win. Oh, everybody folding. Do, 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 do. If you win. Oh, I think it was the time to go off. Sorry mean? about that, guys. I had to step away for a second, but yeah, the timer's actually about to go off. So, uh, so I got Steve at one. Okay, Steve at one twenty. We got a winner, or is it going to overtime? Nope. Uh, I don't oh. know. There, a lot of people folded, so you probably have to yeah, check up. Cool. I think he's the. I think he's the last one standing. Yeah. Thank you, right. Oh yeah, I see a lot of folds. So okay. Yeah, Michael. Uh, did Milton? Milton yep. yep. Milton, Milton and Michael. Yep. Okay. All right. So, congratulations, Stephen Bynes. Sorry about the delay, guys. 
right. That's the board. All it's right. Been eaten. All right. So it's one thirty-five. You have a PayPal information. All right. Cool. All right. So we ended the poll for Carlos, and we change. There's a change. clear, there's a clear change. winner on that one. Yep. Yeah, uh, we want to care. See ASM. Care Bears. Care Bears. <laughs> All right. So a couple of quick, uh, just a couple of uh, rehash on the buy it nows. Um, we'll go ahead and do a flash sale. Uh, we'll do. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, so electric, electric black. Uh, the sec the uh, one in ten variant. We'll go ahead. And, I'll go ahead and drop this from twenty down to fifteen for this round only. Yeah, Weapon X was always talking about this book. All right. Uh, something is killing the children, number four, the variant in high grade. We'll go ahead and drop this down to 80 from 100 for this round only. That's Weapon X's favorite cover. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll also say, uh, I think I think this one's a hot variant. I'm not sure. This is Batman Catwoman number one. Uh, it's a... I don't know who the variant is for it. It's oh. this one's number one uh, virgin. Well, is that minimal Francis variant. Is that Francisco yeah. Matina? It looks like it. it. It looks like it. But I'm going to go ahead and put this one up for ten also for this round. So we got those three. Um, Steve Bont. Wait, I'm not sure if he's asking me, or, but I do have Cash App also. I think he's asking <clears throat> Lawman. Okay, and then I've got um, Lawman. You got Cash App. I'm answering him already. Uh, oh, okay. All right. This is a VF copy of Mighty Avengers number one. Um, the first, uh, I think, as Photon, uh, Mike Rambo first as Photon. We'll do this for 15 this round also. All right. So those are the four. Those are my four bite nows. Oh, and I'll do uh, also this static variant in about an 8 It's a VF. Uh, I'll do this for uh, 20 this round. <clears throat> Those are the buy it nows. Uh, Robert wants your electric black. Okay, cool. Let's see. Man, Robert Burke, you like that Mr. Unknown picks. <coughs> it's no, it's already been optioned, I think. I mean, uh, Weapon X picks, that's what I meant. Those are all good picks. Robert Burke. Oh, there you are, Weapon X. I was waiting for you. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, when you go to that shop, you know how they have that picks by the staff. There's actually one from my section, picks by Weapon X. It's right yeah, there on the corner I, in the yeah, back. Yeah, um, I saw that. I saw yours and, and, and Carlos's picks on there. Okay. I tried to tell them let me do a pick, and they All won't right. let me. All right, so I got Robert Burke. I got you set up. Um and then, uh, okay, so here's the lot for this round. So this is a, it is not just one comic, it's four. Uh, shipping will be nine on it. We're going to go ahead and do a starting bid of $50. And this is a raw autograph lot of amazing Spider-Man books. So Monster we've got... Monster Warrior wants, your, uh, wants to see the Batman again. If you can, you show it, please. Yeah, yeah, real quick. The Batman one. It's a variant of uh, Batman Catwoman. Number one is near, it is near me. Wow, that thing is beautiful. Yeah. Batman Catwoman number one. Yeah, yeah. But uh, mm -hmm. is it a historic suit or just a regular variant? I I don't know to be honest. I got I got it in a bulk thing. Uh -huh. I'll take a look at the back real quick. Let me see. Uh, Joel's are collectibles. It's an exclusive Francisco Matina variant cover. So Joel's are collectibles. It's a, so it's a store exclusive. Francisco. So I think I said that. I, yeah, and for for the yeah for the Batman and Catwoman, I'll do ten on it, and then uh, the nine shipping. All right, I got another question in the chat for Card Shop Reality coming up after Paul. Okay. Okay. All right, so here's so here's the auction lot for this round. Um, let's go ahead and let me go ahead and get this up here. 
Uh, okay, so Amazing Spider-Man number 104. Uh, this book, okay, so this is Amazing Spider-Man number 104. Okay. And this is signed by Roy Thomas. You can see it right there next to Spidey's legs. Is he still alive? So this, I'm putting. I'm putting the. He he is, but uh, you know these are good autographs to be stacking up on right now. He's getting up in age, huh? So this is. I'm putting this at a VG fine, and this is Amazing Amazing Spider-Man number one of four. It's not a key, but it is an iconic cover with Craven there, uh, uh -huh. taking him and uh, I think command command me. Okay, so that's number one hundred four. The second book in the lot is Amazing Spider-Man number one forty one. This is the first appearance of the second Mysterio, Dan Buckner. This is signed by Jerry Conway on the cover. Okay, and this is fine, very fine right here. And Jerry Conway. Yeah, Jerry Conway, creator of Punisher. Yep. 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 <laughs> And so, and, and then it's got some of the other classic villains on. That's one number one forty one, and then uh, Amazing Spider Man number three sixty five. This one is a newsstand. I'm putting it at about a very fine. But here's the deal: it's incomplete. It's what? it does oh, not. It's yeah. The, the, the centerfold is uh, out. The poster, yeah. It's wow. signed by Randy Emberlin. Okay, but here's the deal. I felt bad because it was missing a, uh, a centerfold, so I decided to put a complete copy in, too. So there's going to be two copies of Amazing Spider-Man, number 365 in this lot. This they're one both is, signed. They're both signed by Randy wow. Emberlin. This one is double, double signed by Randy <laughs> Emberlin on the centerfold and on the cover. Yeah. And this one, this one is a near-mint minus. Um, it's in really good shape, but you're getting both of them because I decided to just throw them in together since this one was incomplete. But that's the that's the lot. Starting bid is um, is yeah. And starting bid is. Do we have it in here? No, you didn't say. How much you say? You yeah, say. starting bid is fifty. All right, fifty for what? Fifty for these four books. Damn, man, you must. Oh man, everybody drunk tonight. Yeah, so they're all four <laughs> autographs. Um, two of them by classic creators that we all know who have done Man. big work on big books. Nice. Robert Burke didn't he, as soon as Strictly put it in there, Robert Burke was right there. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yep, cool. Here we nice. go. Okay, so we got, yeah, Robert Burke is in, James Bullock is in, General Jedi. Yeah, good. So I'm glad you guys seem to like this one. I'm going to show it in just a second. second three, the second. Uh, the complete one is that a newsstand too or no? No, no, no. The uh, complete was... the the complete one is a direct, uh -huh. but the incomplete is a newsstand. And as you as you know, uh, obviously three sixty five is the first appearance of Spider Man twenty ninety nine. Okay. So we got these two. Uh, the complete one is a near mint minus in a uh, uh, a, a direct. And I'll go ahead and show you the spine on it because it's actually really, really clean. For you know, because you know these thick books, it's hard to keep them in good shape. Yeah, because you buy them all. <laughs> and you leave me and Strictly and Weapon X with all the crap. Oh my gosh! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, those are three sixty-five, and then we got the Amazing Spider-Man. Like I said, this is the uh, first appearance of the second Mysterio. So as you know, in the MCU, the first Mysterio, he's he's passed away. You know, we know they're going to be, we know they're going to do more with uh, with Spider-Man and with the Sinister Six. So, might be a hot, a nice hot book to, to pick up now. Oh. It's so it's a four, or it is an autograph by Jerry Conway up here, and this one I'm putting at a fine to very fine, and then. The last book in the lot is The Amazing Spider-Man number 104, also another good book to have right now with Craven being cast and coming to the Spider-Verse. And it's signed by Roy Thomas right there next to Spidey's leg. And this one I'm putting at a VG to find. So these are the four. Let's see. Yeah, I think yeah. Some Omar, some of these guys are are doing uh, CGC signings, 
Um, you know, I'm a big fan of raw signed books. I like them, and especially with CBCS having the verification program. I, I enjoy picking them up when I come across them. Yeah. Wait so, a minute, wasn't that that 365 I was telling you I was going to go pick up that I found? <laughs> All right, this is amazing. You see how he does me weapon day? I'm just, boy, boy, cold I'm just bloody, man. man. All right, Amazing Spider-Man number 104. Amazing Spider-Man number 141. This oh, one's yeah. signed by Jerry Conway. First first uh, appearance of the second Mysterio. Amazing Spider-Man number 365. This is a complete direct edition copy and a near mint minus. This is uh, signed by Randy Emberlin right here on the cover, but it's also signed on the centerfold on the inside. I think that was a book and, I was telling you about, right, Carlin? <laughs> and the last book is an incomplete uh, newsstand copy of uh, ASM 365. It's missing the centerfold, but otherwise complete. And this is also signed by Randy Emberlin on the front cover. Air, was it Air, a rock is a a hundred. I got it. Sorry, I had to step oh, away okay. for a second. <clears throat> yeah, I see the fold. So, yep. Uh, I think once the timer goes off, it's going to go to a rock. Uh, Hold up the three sixty five again. Yeah. Is that the direct one? Uh yeah, yeah. yeah remember that? Just... Remember that book I was telling you about, Strictly? Hmm. Look who got it. You did not get this from anywhere <laughs> that you needed. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put that poll up <laughs> in the next round of you uh, of which car should, should uh, Paul take out for his nightly comic raid. All right, here's the um, the ASM 365 that is complete. Man, look how clean that book is, man. Yeah, and then check it out here. I'll very, very carefully be careful. show. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be careful with it. Here is the... Look how crisp that centerfold is. And there it is. Nice. Signed on the inside. Ooh. Because he, he was actually the one who pointed out to me that the first copy was missing the centerfold. And he, he said he felt bad that I'd had one that didn't have a centerfold. So he signed this one too. So he signed the inside also. You see what happens in there, MT. He says, "Will you deliver?" Why? Why deliver? Yeah, if you're if you're a Houston local, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I mean, you know, if you're like in like Channel View or something, you know, don't have <laughs> all the way out there. But no, nah, he's he's not far from from me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's yeah, that yeah, supposed yeah, to mean, Carlos? Huh? That damn the car you got gets like. 50 miles to the gallon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so do we got a winner? The timer went off. Do we have a winner? Uh, oh, I think that we man. do. I'm just double checking. Did Snick, <laughs> yeah, Snick folded. James folded. Yep. yep. So we got a winner. So it goes to a rock for a rock. A hundo. Yep. A hundo. All right. Man, good pickups, man. Yeah, that was a good pickup, a rock. Um, all right, so just a quick reminder before we uh, close out my round: um, Batman and Batman Catwoman number one, the a store variant by Francesco Mattina, is uh, ten bucks. Static. What did I say? I think I said thirty for this one. This is about an eight zero for the variant cover number one. That's coming soon. Uh, Mighty Avengers number one. I put this at 15. This is about a near mint minus. And then this is a near mint plus. Uh, the variant cover um, for Something is Killing the Children number four. And for this round, only 80 bucks. It's the cheapest price you'll find on that book. And then I got Iraq Zantara. And then make sure your back is good because he's going to make you move a couple of furniture. <laughs> right okay, so who's that? 
All right, so we're going to go to Paul. Paul's next. Let me get Paul's IG at the bottom. And let me get Paul on the screen. Right. Appreciate you, Mr. Unknown. Paid me. I get that out to you. Uh, I got my few buy nows. I got Infinite Crisis. This is a Comics Elite exclusive. This is the the Wonder Woman tatted arm edition. I'm doing buy now for forty for this book. I got Secret Avengers number eighteen. This is a one in twenty Shang Chi cover. Oh wow! Yeah, I'm doing a buy now for fifty for this book. Punching that dude's head off. Yeah, it's a one in twenty. Oh my gosh. So, and, uh, and my last one is Harley, Harley and Poison Ivy number, number two, Warren Lau's. These books are I don't know for some reason are really hot, so I'm doing a buy now for sixty for both, and they are high grade. All right, since card shop's on here, I'll yep, do this for, I'll do this for you, card shop. I'm gonna put this up. I got nice. 129, but this is a Lionsgate reprint. Nice. Yep. So I'm just going to start this off at 10. Wow. Nice. Since Car Shop came on here dressed up as Punisher, I, since y'all first appearance is really out of reach, so this is a reprint. Started off at 10 bucks. Now that one was that one where they gave it away at the movie theater, or was that with yeah, the action this figure? Is the, yeah, that was the movie theater one. Yeah, okay. Gay. When the when the Thomas Jane Punisher movie came out. Yeah. Yep. This that was yeah. Man, Thomas Jane was a really good Punisher. Yes. Yeah, I was. have the I had the action figure one. I don't have this one. Oh okay. Yeah, since we talked about it that day, so I was like, well, right. Since you dressed up. Not those well. are those are actually becoming harder to find because uh, they people really didn't are. take care of didn't yeah, take care they, of them. They threw them away after the movie mm-hmm. theater. And the and the crazy thing about that is that um, it actually says on the CGC label that it's a that it's a um, what does it call a Lion Gate exclusive. Oh yeah, right there. Lion Gate. Actually says that on the on its label and. It says it doesn't. It doesn't even say reprint. It just says uh, Amazing Spider-Man. Shop. I knew you would get in there. One twenty nine. Nice. Yeah, one twenty nine. would jump in there. What's the grade on that? Oh, uh, let's see. No popcorn stains, brother. <laughs> nah, it ain't. Uh, I don't see no That's popcorn good. stains. That's good. It, it has not been pressed and clean. It does have a few ticks, but I don't think they're color breaking. <clears throat> right there oh and right here it needs to be pressed right here it needs to be pressed a little bit was this one signed by Thomas Jane and the centerfold as well on this no one? man it's <laughs> oh. sign, man I mean you can get it signed if you want to with the next well, yeah, I was just, I was just, you know, hitting on Carlos's previous, you know, thing. You know, he oh, he, the... he kind of dogged us on our idea for next year at Comic Palooza. We're going to set up our own little booth, you know, PGS, and for twenty five dollars, Paul will authenticate any signature you bring up to us. Oh, that, you know, what we'll, the, what we'll, were you going to tell me this, up. man? You man, that sounds that. like a brilliant, brilliant idea. Oh my god. I, I think yeah, and we'll get a little throne and a crown for him and a little oh scepter god. with a little stamp on it. And he'll stamp each book as he authenticates the signature. Exactly. Like he'll put the stamp on the book itself. Come on. I don't know what these guys are talking about. But since uh since card shop dressed up as Punisher, I've put up this reprint for everybody. Well, it's episode one twenty nine. Oh, this That's is one. 
this is where uh, Punisher, you know, and, and where where the scope is, you know, he misses Spider Man. Yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah, spoiler alert. He doesn't hit him. Yeah. So where the scope is, if y'all have ever shot a, and I, I don't know, I don't know what kind of rifle he's using. Looks like a thirty out six though. Hey, but Paul, it's a Paul spoiler. He missed him on purpose because they become friends. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. He was supposed to be in the beginning a, a villain, but they seen how. But but they right. Paul spoiled it. They Paul spoiled it. So Carshop wrote in, you know, when he was younger, he wrote in on it. He wrote in. I wasn't born Marvel. yet. I wasn't born yet. <laughs> 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 You know, he, he probably had too much, you know, trigger pull, and that's probably what caused the uh, the missing, you know. Yeah, you're probably right, or he probably <coughs> had, like... Oh, uh, A-Rod, A- A-Rod, uh, you, want, you want the Harleys? You want the, the Warren Lows? Let me know if you want them. Just, just tell me yeah, and I'll... They're yours, bud. It's the Lionsgate reprint deep dive. Yeah. Yeah, it's the Lionsgate. He said yes, please. That was probably oh, okay. uh, that probably came out in the early two thousands, right? Oh uh, yeah, two thousand five. Yeah, two thousand and five, yeah. two thousand and four. Yeah. But this one's starting to get traction. I mean, I've been looking them up and let me get traction. I said Karchoff uh, dressed up as one uh, as a Punisher, so we and him talked a while back, and I told him I'll put this up. Yeah, we did. We worked this thing out back at uh months ago. Yeah, yep. Well, I guess I'll be sending it to you, Karchoff. Maybe. Somebody, <laughs> somebody might want to get in. Yeah, this is Lion <laughs> Gates, and I think like what uh, Jim was saying – a lot of them weren't taken care of. They got they get yeah. out of the movie theater. Yeah, and there's a Black Panther one that's worth a lot of money too. Uh yeah, but that wasn't a movie variant. It was a it was like a comic book movie variant. Right. Like it was right. it was found at a comic book show. Right. <clears throat> In fact, those are becoming super rare just because yeah. um because of the death of what's his name? The guy Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because of his death, those those are just if skyrocketed. June first, two thousand four, according to cover <laughs> price, Jen. Mm-hmm. So Jim, I'm sorry, man. Jen, Jen was off deep dive. I'm sorry. It was two thousand four, mm-hmm. Jen. Yeah, I mean it's whatever, man. It's uh, it's <laughs> two thousand and four Lionsgate edition, or whatever. I had one. It was signed no. by. Uh, mine was signed by. Uh, um, what's his name? Um, John Berthal. Hey, bud, you get it. I'm sorry. It'll be in here, deep dive. You know how I do it, bud. It's all good, man. Ten bucks. I, I did it for uh, Karchow being on here dressed as the Punisher. Mm-hmm. Was his overtime? Yeah, it's up uh, to your deep dive, man. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh man, I don't, have, I don't have the first print. I sold that, man. Oh, okay. I got, I got two. Oh, I got two first prints in here in the shop right now. One twenty nines. That's it. Two. I don't, I don't think you're a true Punisher fan, man. Fair enough. I think you need like think ten what you, of them. Think, what, think, you need, think what you want, brother. I feel like a true fan has like ten copies. Okay. Oh wow, good lord. <laughs> I don't know about all that. If you, I mean, maybe if you like jumped on it in the beginning, but mm-hmm. I'm just hard shot being at fifteen. <laughs> Uh, Mike V, I just threw this up because uh, he he dressed up as the Punisher. We were talking about this a while back. So, come on, these guys. Sixteen ninety nine. Yeah, there you go, Michael. At least one hundred twenty nine copies. You need one hundred twenty nine copies. Uh, man, you get one hundred twenty nine copies, man. Come on. Dude, you, want me, you, want, this... you want me to flex and grab them and show them to you? I'll show them one twenty nine. Uh oh. I'll grab them. Oh, okay. All right, car fold, so... But I got like, a turn coming up next, so... I think yeah, it deep, goes to deep dive. Yeah, deep dive, just 17, and then, uh... Just, just 7, mm-hmm. and I'll send it to you, man. 
Alrighty, so we're gonna go to Mr. Deep Dot. I mean, not Deep Dot. Uh, <laughs> card Shop. We're going to Card Shop. Deep Dot. Appreciate it. Card Shop. What you got, man? All right, the poll. The poll said Origin Wolverine, right? Uh oh. Oh right. yeah, that was a uh, Andy Kubert. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna do a little bit of a builder lot, actually. We get to 40, I'm throwing another slab in. Okay? Man. Starting bid a dollar, shipping 15. Okay? See, you, you ain't been drinking yet, but I'm, I'm about to make a drink. Go ahead. I've already went through the drive through in like five minutes. Oh, no. Right. Strictly, strictly got you beat on that, man. <laughs> okay. That dude is the drive through professional. <laughs> I understand now why Strictly starts eating about the third round. <laughs> uh oh, Papa Wheelie, what's up, man? At two bucks. Nice. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Jim, if you could, like, keep up with the bids, that'd be great. All I'll right, be right, Papa back. Wheelie's at two. Yep. And when we get if we get to forty, I'm throwing another slab in. If and you can guess what number comes before six, number six, you'll probably be right. All right, Monster uh, Warrior got five. He's in okay. five. Go. Cool. Hey, Jen, did you go to uh, the Comic Palooza? I heard you talk about it. Yeah, I did, man. It was, you did? I had, a, I had a pretty decent time. It was all right. Okay, cool. I'd heard everybody else in, in, in around the group in Houston talk about it. I had not heard you. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> well, I, me, and, uh, me and Edwin ended up uh, meeting up, up with, uh, with a few people there, and we met up with um, Donnie Cates and Ryan Stegman. <laughs> Now was Donnie Kate's wife? Was she there signing also? No, I didn't. I didn't see. Okay. Uh, I didn't see her, but I saw Ryan Stegman and uh, I saw his agent. And apparently, we found out that if you're if he's doing a convention in in Houston, yeah, then he won't be able to do one in Dallas. And his agent uh, was she went on our on a tantrum, so she got in my face and she was like. He's not going to Dallas Fan Expo. I'm like looking at her. I'm like, ma'am, it's on the, it's on the, <laughs> on their website. Just go on their website and look. She's like, she's like, no, it's, it's that's absurd. And I'm, so then the fans and that were in the line were like, yeah. look, here it goes right here. And she's like, wow, they didn't even tell me that. And I was like, and you're his agent? I was <laughs> like, okay. I was like, all right, man, whatever. I mean, the fans are following these guys, you know. If you're a Venom fan, you're gonna follow Donny Cates and and you know whoever the creator or or the popular artist of Venom is at the time. So uh, we were following him, and and then she found out she was like, "Oh well, I think it's because Ryan Stegman was the deal for Comic Palooza, and I guess Ryan Stegman is gonna be somewhere during the time he's gonna be at Dallas Fan Expo. Ryan Stegman is gonna be somewhere else that day." So they were like that's a team how, deal? Yeah, so that's how Comic Palooza got him and also how Dallas was able to get him also. Yeah, let me let me let me hold you for a second. Um this slab is only at seven dollars. Um is there anybody else that wants to go ten? I mean slabs are at least forty, fifty bucks to get slab mail. If we can get stuff. up to forty, if we can get up to forty strictly, I'm gonna throw in another slab. Yeah, yeah, I gotta talk about the book to try to get people to 
I mean, damn, this if it's going to be uh, like this, origin. you might as well just shut it down. Yeah, man. W which one is that, number six? Yeah. That's, uh, number six, Wolverine. Number six. Wolverine this the Legend. A, this was a high series when it came out, when they told yeah. the origin. So, this was a hot, hot series when it came out. That's why Karshaw had it graded. Uh, no, this was part of the collection I bought. Oh, okay. My bad. Yep. I'm sorry. Yep. Man, I see you it excited, was... man. I, I told you I was going to do it, Carson. Well, there's not much time <laughs> left, so somebody needs to come in. I'm a man of my Otherwise, word, um, Carson. There's three hey, man, people in too. it. There's three people <laughs> in it, but. It's going to be a good pickup. And yeah. Wow. It, it costs 15 just to grade it back at the end. Yeah, but with with shipping costs, you're gonna you're looking at easily forty bucks all day, forty forty five all day. MT back at ten. MT jumping in. Yep. Yeah. Now we're in overtime, right? Yep. We are. We are in the one twenty nine overtime. Thank you. He said, feel the cocaine fingernail. <laughs> uh, the next book will be number, number five. Nine four on the uh, five if it comes in. What? Well, how much to get it in? Forty. Forty. Yep. All right, forty. So get it to forty or fifty to bring it in. Forty. Forty. Yeah, he said forty. And and Weapon X was talking about this series. Yeah. Y'all so y'all check him out, man. Check up my. Uh... On my uh, feed on uh, LinkedIn, you'll see that I'm talking about this book on uh, LinkedIn. Oh, LinkedIn. <laughs> we Weapon, X, Weapon X. What do you think? Uh, you think those uh, Marvel Comics presents? You think they're about to really make a move? Uh, the ones with Weapon X. Yeah. Ye yeah. I wait think a minute, so. Car Shop. Hold on. You you just asked. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. You just asked Weapon X about that instead of me. Yeah, I sure did. Oh, man, I throw, I throw, I'm throwing softballs, not fastballs tonight. Man, okay, so Steve, empty went to 40. Steve Bynes at 41. <laughs> um, guys, we are in overtime, so we're going to go until everybody folds. Papa Willie has folded, but I've still got MT, Steve, Steve Bynes, Bynes, Monster Warriors still in the mix, and Michael Delgado was in, is in the mix technically, but he's way back at a dollar. Okay, so you got two slabs now. Man. Well, let's see. Well, let's get to hell. Let's just get to 60. I'll throw another one in. And I'm not drinking. Damn. Y'all heard him. Get, get, to, to 60. get to 60. One more is coming. Oh, wow. Was that one number four? Good guess, Paul. Man, you're smart. Man, I'm, I'm fast at it, man. I, I've read <laughs> this run, man. This run is actually pretty good. Wolverine becomes friends with himself. Yep. You see him over there. He's about to commit suicide in that in that uh cover, right? Now he had, he had not become friends yet. Yeah, he becomes friends with the the wolf right there. But I mean, he's ready to jump off the cliff right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was really big when they announced it and came out. Now I'm starting to get hungry. Here we go. Alright, right. this one's in, in now. Nice. Nice. Oh, Alright. 62, Stephen Bynes. Nice. There we go. Good job, Everybody. guys. That's three of them. 
You're welcome, All right, so man. it's just between these two, but guys, just because we're in overtime doesn't mean anybody else can't jump in. We got three slabs right now. Yeah, it's open. 62. Open anybody. 62 is the hive to the high bidder. <clears throat> He said he paid you under in Morales for the uh, for spot ten. Yep. Um, I got Red Hood, man. That got spot ten, and he claimed it a while back. I'm not sure when, but let me let me let me look. It he up. said that's him. Oh, okay, okay. He said he paid you under N morale. Yeah, when you see the dollar signs, that means I've received payment. So, all right, if you go to, yeah, yeah. If we can get, if we can go to all the way to triple digits, if we get to a hundred. I'll throw another one in. One more. Man. In. One more. Man. Man. Oh wow! And then that's the the that's the old label too. Damn. Yeah, this is an old one. Damn, car shop, y'all boys be having those old labels in Louisiana. And I got a box of slabs over there here at the shop. So. Man, Strictly, we need to go over there, man. We got to clean up over there, man. Take a trip. We're going to stop at Cushada on the way back. and <laughs> Yeah, I think boat. Yeah, you're right. He's in northern Louisiana. Yeah, you're right, Webberneck. Let's look. Strictly got new tires. We can ride. Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to, man. I, uh, Carlos and... Paul made me step my game up, man. <laughs> I'll pitch in for some gas, uh, Strictly. I got about five bucks on me, man, for gas. Oh, yeah. Stric <laughs> Strictly's car does like 10 miles to the gas. <laughs> now, I got a Toyota, man. I'm getting about 30. Damn. But that hey, just means I can't carry as many comics as Paul. Hey, Eric, I think there <laughs> may be a problem with YouTube on, uh, on certain numbers. So... Uh, so there's certain numbers that YouTube bans. I think you can't, you can't put 88. Yeah, 88 they won't allow. They won't allow it. Other than that, you can put anything. Yeah. Eric, I've taken up to 70 already. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay, my bad. I'm, I'm sorry. I was trying to trying to create another poll, guys. We only got eight raffle spots left. Let's, let's try to get this finished tonight. We'll wrap it up likes tonight. Brett? Uh, General Jedi, you got to go 71 because Iraq Zantara had you beat first at 70, so you got to go 71, man. That's a good deal for these slabs, man. You yeah, don't see the slabs at that price Thank where you, I'm at. Yeah, like you said, you're, you're paying like 30 something for each just to get yeah. it sent in. Yeah. Not even that. Just like shops are not charging. Yeah. And plus, well, I'm shipping this week, so you'll get yeah. it next week. Golly. Man, you and Jen are making us look I know, better. man. And Max. I didn't say I was shipping tonight. I said this week. <laughs> man, well, I'll tell you, man. Them things are going to be ready to ship. Well, the week's <laughs> over tomorrow. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly, Weapon X. <laughs> Is that Craig? Uh, Craig? Sick. All right, we uh Origin number four, number five, number six, all CGC. <laughs> Max. No, oh, man, we want to talk to shit, hey, Max. Hey, you speak of the devil and, and she appears, boy. Yeah, yeah I want to talk about you, Max. <laughs> talking about how you are, like, Packing and packing up and getting to the post office. I mean, Max has day. a twenty-four hour yeah. post office guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Steve Bonds is in for seventy-one. So okay, so who's still in on this? I got General Jedi. I got Steve Bonds. MT is saying, "Tell me what the next slab is." Uh, the next slab is going to be number uh, three. I got a Rogs and Tar. I got MT in an old label there. Uh... In an old label, MT. That's before your time, right there, MT. <laughs> man, I'm, that's a great night tonight, man. Got car shop on here. Got Weapon X. Hey, Paul, you're welcome. Ah, <laughs> damn it. All right. 
What's up, Steve? All right, so I still got again. Steve he said, Vine. "What's the grade on the uh, of the other one?" Uh, nine six. In the old label, uh, MT. That's before your time, man. Wow. All right, so I got four Matt? people. I got four people. I got General Jedi, Steve Bonds, MT, and a Rock Zintara. There'll be a poll coming up in a little bit, promiscuous, uh, asking if you want me to put up an indie lot. That'll be in my next round. Just All right, Iraq, man, if you got to head out, man, if you got to head out, man, no big deal. I, I don't Thanks, even know Eric. It. Thanks, Eric, for bidding. I don't even know what the confusion was, but y'all, y'all was, y'all was, uh. Well, you can't bid 88. They don't allow it on YouTube. Oh, okay. So, Iraq, I think if you bidded 88, did, did he bid 88? I don't know. If you bid 88, you can't, man. You got to yeah. bid. Yeah. It won't um, let you. YouTube won't let you, man. YouTube has that as like some kind of Nazi It's like banned. Like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you got to like spell it out or something. Yeah, I had that happen to me before on here. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yeah. That was a YouTube's problem, right? Right. Well, I mean. I'm going to try to put 88 later. <laughs> 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 all right good night iraq have a good night brother iraq man appreciate um, it i got your payment man i'll bring them out to you on saturday if you like mt is at 72 on a toyota corolla omar <laughs> i don't know man i'm trying to get paul to install them lambo doors man I don't know about suicide, but all right. So, so okay, so MT fold. So I got Steve Bynes, a rock yeah. folded. I got Steve Bynes, and the only other person left is uh, General Jedi, I believe. Thank you for bidding, MT. Good luck on the drawing, on the raffle drawing too. Uh, let's see, General Jedi. I think that you are still in this. So, General Jedi, what do you want to do? It's just between you and Steven behind. Wait, I thought you were in it, man. You had, uh, you were, you were back at 70, man. You are back at 70. No, so. promiscuous. We don't see it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so are you in Promiscuous for 88? Yeah, oh, MT, he MT. says he's not bidding. Okay, he yeah. says he's not bidding. So, okay, so we got a winner. It's going to go to Steve Bynes. We got a winner? He said, he, yeah, he says, I'm not bidding, but do you see my 88? Okay, so it goes to Steve Bynes for 75 plus shipping. Okay, uh, uh, Steve Bynes, if you want to go to 100, you can get the other slab. If not, that's cool. It's up to you. Dominic, I don't know if that's gonna happen, man. I don't think people. I don't, I don't think people like Superman too much, man. DC don't get a whole lot of love. <clears throat> yeah, I love Superman. If Superman we get up to eighteen more likes, we'll do another give. We'll do a free yep, giveaway. Yep, MT, I jinxed you. All right, so there is Car Shop Reality's Cash App at the bottom left. Yep. I give you a second to look at that, Steve Bynes, and then we're gonna move it along. And Thank y'all for coming out too. We got more to come. Yeah. So, I mean, I'm trying to find some. You know, I, I thought people would like the 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 whole death of suit. So here's what we can do. Then here's what I'll do. Um, I'll give you guys an option. I give you guys a choice. The the reason why I didn't want to put some of these in is because they're not they're really not complete. So I'll give you guys a choice. We we'll get up to 120 likes. If uh, we get 120, we'll do a randomizer. We get a winner. You can either choose from this stack right here, which is an opened but complete Death of Superman with Adventures of Superman 500 signed with Adventures of Superman 501 signed and a little remark. Or 
we'll do a, like a mini Wolverine lot. Just kind of threw some fun stuff together. Uh, weapons of, weapons of uh, mutant destruction number one. X Men is this twenty five forty five something like that? Kind of an onslaught cover. <clears throat> uh, Wolverine and Punisher number two and number three. I don't have number one. I'm sorry. And uh, just to throw in a Wolverine number one eighty. So you got your choice between one of those two if anybody's interested but guys we got to get up to 120 likes um, that should be fairly very easy for me i got almost 2800 subscribers so if we can't do that we'll just take the giveaways and go on to the next uh affordable auction um so please go ahead and just hit that like button we're going to move to weapon x let me get his ig at the bottom and uh, Weapon X, what you got for us, sir? You got any buy nows or no? Uh, I do, I do, yeah. and this will probably be my, my last round here. Sure, the, uh, sure. Little one down here. Yeah, yeah, it's getting late. So I got a couple of buy <laughs> nows. I got uh, Miles Morales, Spider Man number 10, or issue 250 in the Legacy. It's for 10 bucks. This is the uh, first appearance of all. Uh, Ultimatum. Got the uh, second print of Thor number six, also ten dollars. And I got uh, Never Never still uh, number one, uh, twenty dollars. And then for tonight, if anybody's looking for uh, Punisher two eighteen by uh, Mister uh, Crane Crane, I'll do this one for forty. This is uh, Punisher in the uh, see it there, in the Iron Man armor. So that may be something that comes into play here with the spec on that. And then um, somebody picked this up. So somebody picked up the uh, Umbrella Academy. So thank you. This oh, is uh, nice. going to a nice home. So and, um, I have one more. By now, I'll do this one for like 65 shift. It's a... Uh, Batman 664 and a 96. And this will be 65 ship, but also will include uh, Batman 497. The breaking of the Batman. Mm -hmm. Yep. Classic. So you get stuff basically, right yeah, you get number 11 and number 12 of the Nightfall series, basically. Yep. If anybody's interested in that one. All right. And so for my last lot here, I'm going to do a. Um, Kind of a, a builder slash. Uh, well, it's like a it's it, it, it's a Kirby lot. <laughs> I'll leave it at that. So, um, these are true believers, but they're from the Kirby run or the Kirby uh, celebration um, from 2017. So, we're just gonna do a couple of them here. If you want to start this off at ten dollars uh, strictly. And we'll kind of build from there. So I'm going to bring in this uh, True Believers number one. It's in the chat. $10 starting bid. With, uh, Groot. You can see it's the Kirby edition here. It's a great way to get these books. If, you know, Instead of trying to chase the uh, originals. Um, yeah. we got the Eternals. Reprint of Eternals number one. And there's that Kirby. I'm gonna bring up uh, another True Believers here, Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, if you're trying to get these older books, you know they're getting kind of out of a uh, the range for some of us here. So, you got True Believers, the Inhumans. Yep, I couldn't even get none of these because now I see who got them all. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then uh, gonna bring in uh, True Believers. Ooh, that's a good one. The Devil Dinosaur. Devil Dinosaur. So we'll start these off here at ten. That's basically two dollars a book. And I got a couple more here. If we get the bidding up here, I'll bring these other books in. Uh, 
Yeah, I got I got a lot of these true believers, and a lot of them are actually worth mm-hmm. like 20, 15, 20, 30 bucks, man. It's crazy. Yeah, I mean, you can look some of these up. I mean, they're going up. It surprised me because I was like, these aren't anything big. Because I had a few of them. I was like, oh, man, these are starting to go up. Like, uh-huh. People are buying these up because, you know, they're, they're getting their original ones. So. Yep, so it's $10 starting big guys, and that's for, what, all five issues? That's all five issues uh, oh, yeah. so far. Yeah, yeah that's that's. And then uh, Paul told me to hold this one for him. Uh, he wants me to meet up to give him this one, but it's a uh, X Force number one, and uh, you know, because I told him it had the uh, I told him it had the Deadpool card in it, and he's all right, all right, I got you. So. We'll come by and pick it up. And you're just gonna throw it in, huh? Well, tell you, cold blooded, just like Strictly. I learned. I know where you learned that from. <laughs> You got plenty of time. Utilize your time, man. Utilize your time. You got plenty of time left. Nope, it's over. It's over. Mr. Nash in for 10. Oh, you know what Mr. Saying? Nash. All right. That's a good man right there, man. Mr. Nash. Appreciate it, Mr. Think, Nash. Uh, I think you bought from me, Mr. <clears throat> Nash. I sent out your stuff, I think. I think you should be getting it. Got Eternals. Got the humans. There goes Steve. Steve. Groot. Got some double dinosaur. That man, the Wasp. Oh, hell. Now I see why y'all are bidding. Y'all just wanted to get that book that Weapon X is holding for me. Uh, y'all. <laughs> Boy, panel, panel cold-blooded. Chat cold-blooded. Man. <laughs> oh, man. Guys, I'm, I'm on your call. side, Paul. Um, I'm, kind of, I'm kind, of, kind of wiped out, so I'm just going to call it a night. So okay. Good night. Take care, Law Man. I will... Um, I'll catch you uh, next time. All right, Harold, man. I hope you feel better, man. Yeah, thanks, man. All right. Oh, you gone, low man? Yeah, he, he's, I don't think it's feeling too well. Oh. 15... Here. Okay, so only two bidders. Once the timer goes off, it will go into overtime. Unless one of these guys folds, somebody else needs to come in as well to keep it going. <clears throat> but I got Mr. Nash and Steve Bynes. All right, all right. I don't have OBS. I mean, I would love to have like some kind of clock on the screen, but I'm just yeah, that, that thing broke. <laughs> <laughs> it was right. It was right twice. Yeah, it's uh, right twice a day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's go up here. I'll write it uh, Steve is asking how much for shipping. Oh, he's asking card shop how much for card shop. Yeah, one million dollars. Uh, fifteen for all the sub shippings. Oh, okay. okay. Seven, eight, <clears throat> All right, so we are in overtime, people. Um
So, Mr. Nash, you want to go 16? Mr. Nash is at 20. All right. Um, okay. If uh, if somebody takes it up to 40, I'll throw in the other five books I have here. So we got uh, Thor versus Hulk, number one. Yep. You should check this price on this one. Yep. I got True Believer Black Panther. Mm-hmm. True Believers Avengers. Iron Man. And True Believers Mighty Thor. Yeah. And, and let me say something about these guys. A lot of people might be laughing or joking that um, we're trying to sell these. Go look at what some of these books go for in a 9-8 slab. Hey man, all I all I gotta say is they're sold out where I'm at, and I know why now. These these books are going for a hundred and fifty, hundred to two hundred dollars slab than a nine eight on eBay. Go look it up. There's a there's value with these true believers because people want these books, but some of some people don't want to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on some of these books. So this is a great alternative. Easy flip, easy flip. <laughs> Thanks, Craig. <laughs> What's the grade? <laughs> I mean, I'll let you What's answer What's the grade that. on them, with the Nick? Um, for the majority of them, I'd say they are very fine to near mint. The only one that has an issue is this uh, True Believers. The Mighty Thor one, it's got a, uh, a spine tick right where that little red is. I don't know if you can see it. Good job, Mr. Nash. Put him on the spot. I like you, Mr. Nash. So, you know, yeah, I, I think it's funny that you were doing this first because I was actually thinking about doing it one day, but... But, I mean, it it's it's pressable. Yeah, not like you said, I mean, strictly, it got me. Just so I happened to check because I was going to um, move these to a different box for storage. I just said, let me see what these are going for. I was like, wow. These are... Uh... Yeah, I think okay. long-term, all of these reprints are going to be really good. Especially yeah. at your buy-in price. Especially, you're, you're paying... You're not, you're not even having to buy in very high. Well, it's not even that, but the facsimiles, the ones that are three ninety nine, those are going for... Um, yeah. Yeah. Pretty, a pretty penny as well. So, Mr. Nash says, for okay. 40 give me the rest of them. Cool. Yeah, this is a great deal because they're, these, they're not going to reprint these every year. This is not, yep. they're, this stuff's not getting reprinted very often at all. And then, like I said, these are the Kirby edition ones too. These are the ones with there the, you go. the stamp on Actually, I think a lot of these, the last reprints you probably had was like probably the Marvel um, Milestone, the Marvel Milestone editions. So, okay, so Mr. Nash gets it for 40 because... Cool. Yeah, Steve's. Uh, Steve folded. Steve folded. Yep. yep. I didn't yeah, know they thank, had the Iron Man you. one. That's pretty awesome. Thank you, uh, Mr. Uh, thank you, Mr. Nash. I, I try to teach people, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, is that one? That Mr. Nash, there is Weapon X's cash app at the bottom left. He also has. Um, yeah, those milestones are starting <laughs> to go up as well. He, he also has Steve PayPal. Man. In the video description, if you want to go the PayPal route, well, please send friends and family. And we're going to go ahead and move it along to myself, which I will be very brief. Cool. I got you, Paul, on this one still. I got you. Oh, man. <laughs> hey. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying that, Strictly. <laughs> All right, so I only got eight spots left, guys. I would love to fill this up tonight. If we don't, it's totally fine. Not a big deal. But if we could get only eight more spots filled up, we can row for this off tonight. Um, they're in the video description below, so just pick your spots. It is white pages. I honestly think that if somebody wins this for 10 or even 20 or even 30 bucks, 40 bucks, what, what, the, what the book goes for raw retail, I would seriously consider just sending it in again, man, because um, Jalen says he'll take one. Okay, Jalen, if you don't mind, man, I, I don't like to pick spots for people. Oh, man, we're at 101 just, likes. Nice. Just just, just go to the video description below and pick whatever number you want. But I would seriously con at least just consider 
resubmitting this if somebody wants it. If not, it, it's not a, not a problem. I mean, it's yours. You can do whatever you want with it for whoever wants it. Man, I um, love raffles. Raffles are great, especially if we can do them on a Thursday. That'd be awesome. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoy. It. I actually, I uh, I participated in one today on uh, on IG. Um, Is that how you got win. that uh, that Carnage book? You got it from that raffle? Right, right. No, no the truth. No. Yeah. <laughs> that was a no. good one, Jen. <laughs> no. All right, so look at, look at that smile, man. Look at it, boys. Like caught deer in headlights. He's like, I mean, I won the lot. Hey, strictly, man. strictly is uh, hey, strictly, it's a car shop again. Is uh, spot number two available? Uh, yes, it is. Jenny All right, put me in. 12. Put me in for spot number two. Put me in for spot number two. Gotcha. And Jalen wants twelve. I got you, Jalen. Thanks, man. You woke. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Somebody get Paul and sir, this is your welcome. Okay, so yeah. we got six spots left. That's it. If we get them all filled up, fantastic. Oh. Jalen okay. sent payment sent. So we got, okay, I'll check it here in a minute. So we got almost uh, 120 likes. I would like to do a free giveaway, but I will not do it unless we get at least 120 likes. If we don't, it's fine. Not a big deal. We'll just take the free giveaway books for tonight. And, and add them to the next day in which I will do a free giveaway. Beta Ray Jim is actually going to be holding it down Saturday in just a couple of days. Um, that being said, check those guys out for affordable auction 130. It is a little bit later start time. It is 930 Eastern, 630 Pacific this Saturday. Beta Ray does a really good job holding it down, doing free giveaways, very professional be there and uh, support these guys we're gonna move it along uh lawman has left he's not feeling very well we're gonna go to gin um carlos if you're short on time let me know i can have you go next just let me know what your uh what he your, is next what your time frame is he is next after a gin oh he is isn't he he, he yeah. kind of did he pop out and yeah he popped out and left I so don't know what he did man. yeah <laughs> I mean, Carlos, you almost Carlos, you did, almost man. jumped two people in one night in the line. Paul, Paul stop like that. <coughs> man, Paul, what is up with that? All right. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, am I next or am I cutting in front of somebody? No, nope. man, you're, you're next. next. You're next. All right. <clears throat> Just making sure, man. Only All Carlos right, so... cuts in line, man. <laughs> 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 so, um, I'm going to show you my buy it now. Is this the last round or are we going one more? No, let's make this the last round, man. It's getting late. Well, All 24. Right. Yeah, okay. All right, so <laughs> Harley Quinn number one. So this is the last round, so I'm going to I'm gonna uh, show off the uh, buy it now is one last time. So uh, Harley Quinn number one signed by Chad Harden. Uh, it's a variant cover. There goes the Tr signature right Tristan, there. Yeah, and Tristan says somebody's asking for some pops. Okay, well, I mean, I have this Thanos Punisher pop that I'm selling Ooh, for nice. 35 bucks. I mean, if anybody wants this, it's in good condition. Corners are good, never been dropped. It's all, it's great. Anyways, I have that. I have this Iron Man one right here. I know it's going for like some good money. I'm selling this one for like 50 bucks because it's just hard to find. I have some pops. I mean, if you want pops, just, uh, Instagram me at the future Batman. I, I'll show you all the pops I have. There, there you go, Jedi. You see what Jedi said, uh, Strigley? All right. The uh, no, Spectacular Spider-Man number one. Uh, nice. This is a sketch cover <laughs> by Randy <laughs> Everlin. <laughs> and this will be 200. Buy it now. Nice. <clears throat> that is nice. All right. Then um, my other one is Hulk Hogan signed slab. Mm -hmm. uh, Paul told us earlier today that um, Chris Hemsworth will be playing Hul the the great Hulkster, you what? Know, uh, Mr. WrestleMania himself. Here so this will be two hundred. Um, buy it now. <clears throat> Just to let y'all right. know, when he came up where Jim went, that line was long. It was very long, and yet the cool thing was, man, he was interacting with people. Yeah, he was. He was like, what you gonna do, brother? He was, he going was dressed NWO, wasn't he? 
Yeah, well, he, no, he was... I, I can't remember what colors he was wearing. Actually, the video is on my uh, Instagram. On oh, your Instagram? Guys. Yeah. Just, just go in, in there and just check it out. Um, then we have uh, Go Go Power Rangers Forever Rangers number one. It's, it's Morphin Time, signed by Gabriel Piccolo. 100, buy it now for that. And we have Archie Volume 2, number one. Signed by Mark Wade and Terry Moore. Signed on there. So, so real quick, guys. Um, Stephen Bynes, I think he says he's going good night. Good night. But you also sent me money, and I'm not sure what it's for. So you sent me $26. Um, if you don't mind, just remind me or anybody else in the chat or panel. Uh, what was the twenty six dollars for? So if you could just get that, you know, let me know before you actually officially head out. That'd be great. Sorry, Jen. No, no worries. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Fateless number one, signed by uh, Lee Bermejo. Nine eight, signed by Lee Bermejo in nice. metallic blue. One hundred, buy it now. And then I have this one that I did not show. But it's the voice actor of Deathstroke from the uh, the animated series. Oh, nice! Damn. Um, it is a nine six. Um, I was kind of hoping this would have came back a nine eight. He was at Comic Palooza, so I ended up getting him to sign this. Uh, I'm asking for one fifty for this because he's much harder to get just at any con. So, all right. So we're gonna do an auction. For an X Men lot, we're gonna do the 1991 X Men. Nice. We're gonna do X Men number one. Jim Lee, goodness. We're gonna do number two. Oh nice. snap! Uh -oh. We're gonna do number three. Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We're gonna do number six. Oh yeah! <laughs> we're gonna do number seven. God damn, number strictly. nine. That's strictly, boy. You. <laughs> We're gonna do number ten. <laughs> We're gonna do the iconic cover number eleven. Oh yeah, that's oh, a good yeah. one. That's, that's the last cool. Jim oh, Lee. Okay, yeah. Yep. Do number Yay. twelve. <laughs> Yay! I'm gonna do number thirteen. Oh. Yay! Strictly like oh. Number fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me see that 14 real quick. Let me see that 14 view on my uh oh. Uh oh. Is it a newsstand? Why wow, she's gonna be like the no. double variant era. He's got yeah, two trading right. cards in there. Y'all know what trading <laughs> yeah. cards are doing. I'm just I'm trying, I'm trying to complete a newsstand run. So. H Town. There's a 15. What's up, H Town? <coughs> there is uh, a 16. That's too funny, man. Oh my god. <laughs> That was, what was it, uh, 16, and then it was, what, 17? Yep. What was, yep. was that, 16? 16. Uh, and then what? we got 18. Oh, All right. So uh, I don't know how many books we have here. We have, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Count about 100. So we have, like, 14 books here. I mean, <laughs> you want to – let's uh, let's start this off at a dollar. Damn. Mm. A dollar for what? We're just gonna start a dollar for this lot. Damn, somebody's been drinking. Yeah. yeah, we're just gonna we're we're gonna start a dollar for this lot. I think there is one key in here, and I think it's it's this one right here. It's uh the first. <laughs> really, that's a key. It's a first appearance of Birdie. Oh, oh man, show the number eleven, man. That's that's the book, everybody. And then I, I <laughs> yeah, number eleven. <laughs> Come on, man. We got we got number eleven right there too. <laughs> <laughs> we got. We'll uh we'll do that. We'll start it at one dollar. Tristan said if he, if he hits a certain amount, will you throw in four and five? I don't have four and five. I actually got oh, my wow. four uh, graded and signed by uh, Chris Claremont. Oh, and then you sent it in to get Jim Lee. Boy, you a smart man. Actually, I, actually no, I. Right. Oh, you, uh -huh. your your uh -huh. mic, your uh -huh. mic, your mic, right. Jen. You muted yourself, man. Uh huh. Oh yeah. I'm waiting on. Uh, okay, there no, you I go. got it signed by Jim Lee, but I'm waiting on. Uh, I, I believe Chris Claremont and a few other people to sign that. 
so the timer is ticking. I'm going to. Oh, nice. damn, Brian. Thank you, bud. Oh, you're going to throw me in? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brian, man. Hey, I'm going to be nice and let people else get in on this, man. Cause hey, man, Carlos is in at a dollar. Man. Man, man. I, dro I dropped a mini hammer. Hey, man, man. <laughs> man, he dropped a yeah. pedal, man. Yeah, he dropped a. He dropped a. He dropped the mini hammer on this. He saw the the pack the the number eleven and jumped in. It's all good. Oh, strictly that was down. <laughs> that made my day. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, there it is, strictly in at ten. Nice. Yep. Yep. Waiting on Carlos. Where Carlos at? <laughs> here, here, watch, watch. Oh, watch, watch what I'm coming with. Don't do it, oh, Carlos. Oh, yeah. Eleven. Don't do He's it. Coming in with He's eleven. Coming in with ten ninety nine or something. Watch like it. Look here. Ten on ten on one. Ten on one. Throw it down. Oh no, man! I'm throwing it down. <laughs> Want me to keep oh, it at this? I don't see a dim. I don't think I've ever. Oh, oh look at what man. he did! Uh, oh man, eleven, eleven fifty. Yep, that means I know what Strictly gonna do. He's gonna fold. He's like, oh man, it's too, <laughs> too rich for me. Oh, oh look at Strictly <laughs> back at it. They, oh, oh, snaps. Strictly like I sold my three sixty one. I can buy this lot. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck <Paul>, me, man. <laughs> right? I can afford to buy this now. So it's all 361. <laughs> Boy, y'all making it sound like I'm broke as hell, man. <laughs> no, you just. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mean it like that. But I was like, oh, snap. Look oh, shut, shut her down. Up. Shut her down. <laughs> oh, snap. Yeah, Shut her down. Maybe go in on y'all, man. Oh, man. Yeah, maybe go in on y'all, uh, man. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. What issues were they again? They were, or, um, what? You're just there missing you. four and five, right? No, I'm missing uh, like 17, <laughs> four, five. Um, I, think, I think that's pretty much it. Oh man! Maybe no, maybe. eight. I think I'm missing eight also. Uh, okay, so. Oh, man, it's made my day. Oh, he made Carlos fold. Oh man, Carlo. Yeah. He didn't make he sold a couple <laughs> of <those. laughs> You know, so Doug, I I I'll I'll play along with you, Shutter Doug. I I like your name, man. <laughs> Shutter Doug back at fifteen ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. whoa. Thomas R is here. I'm not playing. Oh snaps, man. <laughs> If, if you don't have the run, this is a really good opportunity to snap. It is. Them. It is. Um, I mean, I have a lot of these, but I definitely have never completed this run. I want to. Look at that! Look I mean, at that cover, man. That's a pretty sick looking. How cover. many? How many books total again, Jen? Uh, I think we have fourteen here. Fourteen. So I think it was about two years ago. Yeah, fourteen. I settled on Jim Lee as like my favorite artist of all time. And you, so I think you settled I, on that. Well, like, like, you know, you go back and forth between different artists. And for me, Art Adams always been a big one, too. Oh, yeah. uh, but I finally just said, you know, Jim Lee was like, like, you know, this run was the run when I was in high school. And yeah. so, but wait a minute. What were you saying about Jim Lee? The, there's so much, uh, <clears throat> so much nostalgia tied up in it, too, as well as just it was a really strong era for the X-Men. So I picked up like I, I built a full run before like four and five started getting out of hand and um, some of the other ones I, I built one through twelve I think with all the variant number one covers. So what were you saying about Jim Lee? 
<laughs> that was his favorite artist. It's, very, it's oh. still, my, still my favorite artist. Man, you a smart man, there. Carlos, that's the smartest thing you've ever said, man. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, H Town, he says there's about 14 comics. There's 14 in there. H Town. Yeah. So just so just what he has, just if he, if you sell, if you get that nine, ten, eleven, those are worth about thirty bucks just by themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah eleven is the last of right his X Men run. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So just 12, those, was, twelve was the last Jim Lee, right? No, I think eleven. No, so I think eleven is the last Jim Lee. Yeah, because look. Well, 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 we're gonna uh, we're we're going through it. So here goes twelve. Yeah, no, not, that don't look like him, does it? Yeah, that's not him. Oh, yeah, that's no. Okay. It was this just... book right here. Yep. Yeah. 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 One, yeah. one through eleven. It, they're about thirty bucks each or something right now. Yeah, yeah Jake. Still, they're all. They're all, all together. as a all, lot. All in the lot. Yep. Yeah. yeah so, all. so I went ahead and folded. So it's between Thomas R and Shutter Duck. And Shutter then Duck. those ones that he just passed up as executioner ones with the cards. Like yeah, seven dollars. I already read the executioner song. It's actually pretty good. I just I'd never read this this run. How, how many parts was that executioner song? Do you do you remember? Uh, it's either 12, 12, I think twelve issues. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty solid read because they had some very iconic villains in that storyline. You got Apocalypse, yeah. Strife, uh, Mister Sinister, all together. It was just a well written storyline, in my opinion. Well, okay, so Jake Ro Rain, Rain comes in for twenty four, so nice. now it's Jake Shutter Duck and Thomas well, R. When you look this up, like if you go to Key Collector, and you mm -hmm. look it up, it's um, the first appearance. It, it go, it's the first appearance of the uh, X Men Gold Team, which yeah. is consists of Storm, Archangel, Colossus, Iceman, and Green Jean, Jean Grey. The new team. And then it's also the first appearance of the blue team, hmm. which is Cyclops, Wolverine, Gambit, Rogue, Psylocke, and Beast, which is why the covers are the way that they are. Yeah. Because they split off into different teams, right? Yeah, yeah. The yeah. 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 X-Men line had the blue team, and then this line had the gold team. I think this was also like the first time they had two X-Men teams. Hey, Brian, I don't know about you, man, but there's a lot of things that I've found out through Key Collector, and I end up even finding more rare shit just because I use Key Collector. Yeah, and, and guys, Like, I found mind. the first Godzilla print ever using Key Collector. So, mm -hmm. I wouldn't bash Key Collector, because there, there are people on there that have knowledge on comics, <clears throat> but it just depends on how, how much research you do on your own to find that stuff. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Yeah, you got you to do your own research to supplement what's on the app. And, you know, he's actually yeah. been pretty cool. I, I emailed back and forth with him about a first appearance for a mm. personal favorite character, and, and he was real cool about it. You know, he he, he tag teamed on the research and mm -hmm. ended up mm -hmm. listing the character. <laughs> in that. So so Jake Rain is saying, show them again. And then Shutter Dog is asking for general condition again. All right, man. I'm gonna show each book <coughs> just by condition. This is the last round, man. So you know you're, you're good, man. All right. So this is Near Mint. That's a Near Mint copy. That's Near Mint. These are all Near Mints, man. These are like all like nine eights or something nine six nine eights. Um, I should just say that they're Near Mint because I don't know the. I never opened them up. I had like reader copies and then I collected one copy and hmm, put it hmm. away. And these are those copies that I put away. So as hey. you can see, these are clean copies. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> yeah, man, Tristan, that's right. Right, Strictly? See, look at that. You can look up right here. <laughs> these are clean <laughs> copies. Coupon for what? For the Strictly app. My Strictly app is on a piece of paper. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my god. They're very, very clean copies. <clears throat> I think one through eleven is what you're you're looking at anyways, just because you want to get Jim Lee to sign something. It, it's still a good run even after because um uh what's his name? Uh Andy Kubert 
continued. H Sound uh, Comics, yes, I am from Houston, so damn near everybody. If you ended up buying these, Houston. you just meet up with me. Yep. It's about to be a Houston takeover. Uh, yeah, Houston takeover. Tell him, Paul. Houston takeover. Clearly, I mean, if you guys are watching the the corner content that I'm doing right now, they're um, they're all clean. Well, card shops man. watching, man. Card shops watching. So they're they're all like very very clean copies. There they're aren't any dicks you, in them. They're asking if you take PayPal, man. Yeah, I do take PayPal. Shutter Duck is in for 27, H Town for 30. Damn, congrats, man, H Town. Oh, wow, that's like for one book. <laughs> so, far, so far, the price is just for uh, one, one book that's 1 through 11. That's why I strictly bid it. Oh, yeah, I can, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> I mean, I have many of these. I, I just would just take what I need to fill my run and then just give away or sell the rest. Um. Uh, General Jedi comes in for 31 since he said PayPal cash that doesn't work with my bank. Oh, okay. Yeah, you, you good, General Jedi. So, okay, so we got a lot of players in here now. We got General Jedi, we got JD Ingram, we got H Town Comics. Shutter Duck is still in play. Yeah, Jake, General Jake General, Ran is still in play. Hey, General and Jedi, just always ask. I mean, some of us do uh, have GW. things outside of. Uh, like I have Zell also. I have Cash App. I have PayPal. And Key W. So we got six people in on this. That's awesome. See, see, Paul, this is Jake, how you get. Jake, they're all in. This is how you get hey, Jim Lee some love, man. Hey, Jake, this hey, they're all in. That's hey, what they're. Man. That's what the bid is for. It's for all of these. Yeah, all they're 14 all issues in right now. It's 14 issues. Lee they're all love. in. All of these that are in. You gotta get that Jim Lee on X Men, man. That's how. You, that's how. You get that's stuff. what I did. I, I sold some X Men, Jim Lee. But I like his Superman, man. And so every, every classic cover that everybody loves. Yeah, mm. that's the one. <laughs> Brian, I'll leave that up to you. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> All right, H Town is in for forty. <laughs> okay. Hey man, I hope she's turned on by you showing her that key collector app, Brian. There you go, Brian. Good night, bud. <laughs> Look at this cover, man. Look how they uh they drew uh, uh actually Magneto here. die he dies in that issue. Oh Magneto? Yeah, death of Magneto. Oh yeah, this is not uh, Eric. It's uh, what's his name, the one that sleeps with Rogue. Can't remember his name. The one that sleeps with Savage Rogue. What's her? Remember, there's uh, Eric, and then there's uh, there's another guy that's like a doppelganger Magneto. <laughs> My bad, General Gen um, General J Jedi. Yeah, man. just gotta read it. That's what he does. He spoils everything. Yeah, this is just classic X Men, man. I love this stuff, man. Good night, Brian. You have a good one, brother. Yeah, good take night, care, man. Brian. Good night. Appreciate you. Brian's from Houston, too, man. Yep. All right, Shutter Duck is folding, but I still got five people in this. I got General Jedi. I got JD. I got H Town. I got Jake Rand. I got. Good night, Shutter Duck. Thank you, Shutter Duck. I got Key W, but he was way back at $25. So, so JD Folds, I still got four people. Damn, we're at seven, seven likes from 120, man. And by the way, the uh, the the cards are all in here, like for these. Um, yeah, because you have the thing, right? The, it's still yeah, in the poly I, bag, right? 
Yeah, I see the the cards are all in here. They're, I, they're I could, sealed. I could, they're still sealed. Yeah, it, they're all sealed. <clears throat> they're all sealed books. Uh, again, they've never been read. Um, this was back in Hey there, uh, I think Joe's asking if we hit the thumbs up. Yep. Yep. Since I've been hiding in the shadows. <laughs> Damn, we're at 118. Come on. Damn. Oh, 116. I got 118. <laughs> With seven dislikes. Come on, man. Who, been, who got seven? Who hit seven dislikes? Come on, man. more likes guys y'all get somebody two more likes and strictly would do the giveaway jen how many uh how many copies of uh, how many covers of number one are in this lot just I just that one, one. just that okay one. just the one okay yeah just that one 119 come on one more like Like H Town in at fifty one. <coughs> Do we have one twenty with Strictly? It's a battle for that Jim Lee X Men. Paul, you taking notes? Yeah, I'm taking. Uh, I think we yeah, have one twenty. Yeah, man, it's been a while since I've read that, Omar. I mean, you could be right. I just remember that there were like two Magnetos or something. Are so we all, all I have right now going at it is H-Town and um, Thomas R. He said he said 50 was his last bid. I think we're Let's at 120, if... strictly. Okay. Um, so, okay, so Thomas R. Fold. So H-Town, I think you're the winner, but let me double check, man. Does anybody know H-Town? Yeah, he's a uh, okay. He's good just people checking. He's from here. Yeah, just checking. You know, do we 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 get the haters and the trolls? So, <laughs> nah, all right, H Town. He used to um, do, he used to come, chill with uh, Chino and Manny. Okay, I think cool. that's the right H Town. Cool. All right, cool. H Town. Congrats on these books, man. Um, just uh, cash at me. Don't don't just forget the one. Just just do fifty, and uh, just uh, we'll we'll do. Uh, you know, you can just go from there or just 51 it doesn't matter i mean i got i'll meet up with you whenever you're free just uh cash at me and then ig me um at the future batman we'll we'll meet up over there man you know, that was you. awesome man that was awesome yeah. all right um so what we're gonna do is um i'll tell you what let's go to who's next did we hit the 120 carlos is next we're gonna go to Carlos, and I got the potential to add another book if we get up to 140. Y'all, y'all should actually hit that like button now to try to get up to 140, and I'll yeah. show you what I got. So, Carlos, it's on you for now. And Jen, if you could just yeah. keep up with the with the with the bids as they come in, I'll be right back. Yes. 
Hey, before you start, Carlos, hey, uh, H Town <laughs> Comics, yeah, you can pay me in person. That's perfectly fine, man. No worries. Yeah, I'll go with you, Jen, to make sure. Man, you're all, all right, right. man. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, here's a. I, I'm going to do a couple buy it nows real quick before uh, before I get to the auction lot. Um, so, some of you have, have seen some of the Star Wars books that are starting to. Spike. Um, this is a lower grade. They're all around mid grade. Um, you know, like like fives and let's say four to sixes on these. This is a full set though of the Shadows of the Empire adaptation from Dark Horse. All right, this is number one. Is this an auction or are you going to buy now? No, this is just to buy it now. Okay. This, uh, that's uh, that's Dash Rendar first appearance. Uh, Carl right. Was. Yep. Yep. Number three, number four, five, and six. Oh, y'all know what so, happens in this issue. So yeah, so here, so the deal with these is they are uh, lower grade. So I'm doing them for just twenty five for the for the set. Uh, this is one of the ones that has started to go up because it's the first. I think it's the first appearance of Prince Shizor, which yeah. is the, the alien guy on the front here, as or uh, over here on this side. And he's it's also um, I think an iconic Boba Fett cover. And then it's also uh, Dash Rendar and the Outrider, and I think maybe one or two other characters. But I'm doing this lot, and it's a lower grade, like I said, it's a lower grade lot. I'll show the spines real quick for $25, $9 shipping. Um, but it's a great story. It was one of, my, one of my favorites, and I recently upgraded to a new set. So I'd had this set, and I wanted to go ahead and just, you know, pass this on to somebody else. And here's the here's the spine. So you can see that there is some spine wear on on them. Yeah. So that so they're definitely not high grade. They're not slab worthy. But if you're looking for a set for the per, for the uh, uh, for the personal collection, then um, yeah, this is definitely a good one to have. It is 25, like I said, for the lot. I've got that. Then I do have one more set left. I was looking through my box. Got one more set left of the Batman 106, the Tony Daniel wraparound and the old couple. This is 20 um, and then nine shipping. Uh, I'll hold this at, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and hold this at last round price at $80. Very slab worthy. Uh, the variant cover for number four for something between the children. Those FOC ones, they were lower print than the regular yeah. cover. Yeah, it's a really low. I mean, you're not going to find a better price than 80 raw. They're all going for over 100, or at least the last sold on eBay that I saw. Um, this one, first uh, Monica Rambo is Photon. It's a near mint minus. I'm putting this at 15. Static. Uh, at a VF, putting this, uh, going and dropping this down to 20 um, for this round. And then um, the Batman Catwoman uh, variant cover doing this one at 10 for this round. So there's several buy it nows. And uh, let's go ahead and get to the, uh, the auction lot. I'm going to go ahead and do Department of Truth because I know some people had asked for it earlier, but it was never the top. Um, never the top like winner in the poll. So this is going to be a Department of Truth lot. This is going to be six books, nine dollars shipping, and a uh, we're going to go ahead and do a twenty-five dollars starting bid on these. So this is Department of Truth number two, first print. Department of Truth number three. First print. Uh oh, uh oh. Yep. Fill in, fill in number one. Number one's coming. They issued no number. Number one's not in this one. Not for, oh. not for a twenty-five dollars starting bid. Come on. Oh, All right. Man. Issue number four. First print. Issue number five. A second print. Issue number seven. A first print. And then issue, this is a variant for issue number seven, and this is also uh, considered a first print. 
So these six books for only $25, uh, the first like issue two, three, and four, are all early issues and they are all first prints and they are all very clean near mints. So I'm going to do just a spine, spine slide of the uh, first three issues, This, or I mean the issue two, three, and four. You can see how clean those are. All right, James Bullock, I see that you've been some issues, so I'm going to get to that in just a second. Let me let some folks check this out. Lee, to the wall. So, uh, how much are these books again? They're, they're uh, the starting off is starting off is what? At it's 25, 25, six books. That is a killer deal if you're specking on Department of Truth because issues two, three, and four, first print. Yeah, you know that's yeah. You're you're getting a killer deal for these. So it's all of them are mint. It's nine dollars ship, six books, twenty five dollars starting, and first print for two, three, and four. All right, diecast. Oh, I'm sorry, is that twenty five? No, you're fine, Paul. Thank okay. you for helping me out. So, I'm yeah, this is this is uh, guys. guys, this is James Tynan. He's the hottest writer right now. This yeah. this book is optioned. It's it's going places. Yeah. Yep. So um, okay, so okay, so we had James Bullock. You been the uh, something is killing the children for eighty static for twenty for twenty and the mighty, and then Avengers. The mighty Avengers one for fifteen. Excellent pickup, sir. You picked some really good books. I'm gonna go. So I I am on. I think all the payment, all the regular pay uh, payment types. You know who that is, right? Je Wait, who? He's, he's Remy. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Right. You son of a... <laughs> yeah. I mean, we've been on the panel a couple of times. Yeah. So, what you got? it. I didn't uh -oh. think you knew who it was. That's why I told you. Sure, just All right. So, and then Mighty 15. And then the Static for 20. Thanks, Weapon X. I appreciate you, man. 26 to Mr. Nash. Awesome. 27 to Dyke Cast again. <clears throat> okay. So, and then we got, so James... One. James, that'll be 124. And any of my um, payment options is fine. Let's set those aside for you. And let's take a look at this auction lot one more time. So, Department of Truth number two. Okay, first print, Near Mint Plus. Department of Truth, number three. First print, um, Near Mint Plus. Department of Truth, number four. First print, Near Mint Plus. Department of Truth, number five. Second print, Near Mint Plus. Uh, Department of Truth, number seven, the A cover. First print. Uh, near Mint Plus, and then uh, the variant cover, uh, or one of the variants for issue seven um, is also Near Mint Plus. So those are the six books that are in on this lot. Still a killer deal for somebody tonight to take home some great spec books uh, for this series. It, it, and I think we were saying it has been optioned already. Or, I'm yeah. Everything by yeah. time. Yeah, yeah Carlos. Yeah. James Tynan's got a lot of his books, like Something is Killing the Children and The Department of Truth. I believe they're getting uh, screenwriters on yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So this. Well, they already found their screenwriters. Yeah. That was and reported it, back in February that it got optioned. Yeah. Yeah. So no, no. They, they already got their screenwriters um, 
for episode one because I was following yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. If you're if you're expecting me to put up any of these books, it's not going to happen. I'm holding mine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so y'all buy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. We yeah. go to every comic shop. They're sold out one through four. Oh yeah. Yeah. You heard Card Shop. He owns a shop. He said, I ain't selling these. No, I have two <laughs> issues Two issues available in my shop, and they're the newest ones. Yeah, that's oh. what I'm saying. You're holding on to the other yeah. ones because you're like, yeah. I ain't selling those. Those sold out quick in your shop? Uh, uh, the, well, it started after number four. After oh, number four, yeah. the series really picked up. Yeah, yeah. So you didn't order too many of the number one through... Uh, I Actually, I... Actually, through these auctions, I came in and was able to get my position on them. <clears throat> All right, guys. So we are in overtime. Sorry, I had to step away for a second, but I see Mr. Nash and Diecast Comics. We're in overtime, so anybody can still jump in. Once one of these guys folds, it's done. So somebody needs to come in to keep it going. What numbers do you have again? Because I just picked up a sixth print. Of number one, I might have some interest in these. Yeah, no, check it out. So, first print of issue number two, first print of issue number three. Oh, wow. First print of issue number four, second print of issue number five, first print of issue number seven. This is the A cover. And then here's this, here's one of the uh, variant covers for seven also. But the big get for this lot is these first three, and they are all near mint plus. Okay, let me pause you for a second. Uh, yeah. Weapon X, thanks for being a part of the panel, man. If you got to head out, please do yeah. so. What? Thanks, Weapon X, man. It's great being on the panel with you. Weapon yeah. X, yeah, appreciate, yeah, appreciate you, you, bro. <laughs> appreciate that, man. Whoa. Good to have hey, you, buddy. Have a good night. You too, man. Me too. All right, so Carlo or Carlo Michael is no diecast comes in for thirty two, so he's the hybrid. I still got diecast. I got Michael. I got Mister Nash. Just Check those three. <laughs> what? <laughs> James was not James. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I got three players in this. Anybody else can still jump in. Diecast has the high bid for thirty two. Yeah, diecast knows what's up. He he he's. He's around in the comic. Oh, Mr. YouTube. Nash dropping a little bit of a up. hammer. Yep. Yep. Nash and Mr. Nash knows. They know. <clears throat> yeah. Carlos is being dumb putting these up. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carlos, Carlos is letting them go at a good deal. Yeah. You Appreciate you, Car Shop. Finally, somebody. Finally, somebody. Finally, <laughs> somebody. They're out I'm, I'm about to sting. I'm about to sting you again, though, Paul, because these books probably Carlos jumped line and got them ahead of you. Yep, he did. <laughs> yep, I couldn't get one Department of Truth, man. Him and Weapon X cleaned it out, man. So here's Department of Truth issue number two, first print. Yep. Issue number three, first print. Fine. Issue number four, first print. Yeah. Issue number five, second print. Issue number seven, uh, the uh, A cover, first print, and then issue number seven, um, variant cover. And the thing is, you know, for some of the covers that, I mean, for some of the series that I'm well positioned on, um, I don't mind letting them go at a bargain. Good uh, idea. It gets people going. You know, I yeah. never get excited about it. And I, I, you know, yeah, I had to, truth be told, I had to clear out, uh, I had to clear out and make space in okay. the department of truth section of my <laughs> of one of my boxes but oh. but you have a number two and three right oh i'll be yeah. over there uh i'll be over there uh jen <laughs> so okay so issue yeah no i, I i'm fine on all the rest of the the ones all that's my the only ones. that's the only reason you're putting these up because you already oh, yeah. own it yeah yeah yeah, yeah, all, my, all my number ones are at CGC right now. Th- those were at the bad spec box. That's what they came out. No, listen, this is not a bad spec. Don't listen to him. Don't listen <laughs> no. to him shop. no, this is a jump Car's ahead of either. Paul. This Car's is a jump ahead either. of Paul in line spec. These, these were right. Be- <laughs> these were right between my. Uh, uh, what, what, is, what is it? Oh, what was the name of that one? Uh, oh no, these were right, these were right between the uh, four kids walking to a bank section and the. Uh, <laughs> And the uh, 
what was that Mark Millar one? Uh, the one that got canceled? Oh, you tell about oh, uh, uh, Jupiter's Legacy. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Reborn. Reborn. No. Reborn. Reborn. Okay. Reborn. Yeah, this, this, this book, Department of Truth, is way better than both of those. Yeah, no, I, I know, I know. I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Reborn got canceled? I did a, no, no, no. I, Jupiter I did. did. I did a tour of my comic room very early on, and I had a, a section that's called the Spec Deck. Okay. And they, they've not let me forget it and joked about it. And then I think early on also, I did a theme lot that was like Spec Gone Wrong. And yeah, yeah, spe- yeah that's spec right. Box. He has a yeah. spec box gone and wrong. They've, they've now everything I've pulled out that's even remotely spec worthy. They, they immediately say it's from my spec gone wrong yeah. section. Yep, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yep, that's where he got it from. But I can assure you, this is not one of them. That no, is I'm, one of them. That no, is one no, of them. It's not. That's, no, it's, it's not. not. Well, it's not. This, like this series is this. The, whoever picks this up tonight is going to make a killing on it. Yeah, right. I that, predict anybody that's watching this in one year's time are going to see these numbers and go, yes. oh, my God, I wish I was yeah. here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I think was the top bid 55. Yeah, yeah. that's not uh, that's one, not going to be anything. These, one, only one of them is going to be worth three times that much. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it's it's the yeah, this is this is a, a nice little uh and they're on number ten. I believe they're on like number ten right now. So yeah. you get one through, yeah. you get two through seven or whatever you got there. That's going to be a quick pickup. You can read this oh, thing yeah. quick. Oh yeah. Yeah. There, there you go, Carlos. So Department of Truth. There you go, uh, Carlos. What? It is now the spec gone wrong room. <laughs> <laughs> it was a box HGM. Now it's a whole room. I noticed yeah, it that. It was too. a short box. But now it's, it's not it's big room. box gone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here's issue number two, first print, near mint plus. Issue number three, first print, near mint plus. Issue number four, first print, near mint plus. Issue number five, second print, near mint plus. Issue number six or seven, uh, First print, plus, and then issue number seven, the uh, the variant, one of the variants for that. So, yeah, excellent Department of Truth spec pickup lot for somebody tonight. Man, I really Man. miss the train on this uh, this uh, series. Well, it don't matter because if you went to the shop late, Weapon X and, and oh, Carlos yeah. picked the ball oh, yeah. up. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here we started then, GoFundMe to get Carlos a shorter PayPal address. <laughs> 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 hey, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, Remy. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so it's still not- just between two players. Anybody else can still jump in, Mr. Nash and Diecast. Comics. And, I, and now I see who you send them to. You probably just send them to the damn card shop. Now I see it. Now it all nope. makes sense. No, but I thought about jumping in. No, but <laughs> card shop is right, man. This 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 series is just hot. All the beginning issues have sold out. You yeah. heard it from the comic shop guy himself. He's like, oh. I'm not selling any of these. Yeah. No. <laughs> You see, I'm Omar. Not. Omar's like Carlos has a Department of Truth section of, of his, his house. house. Yeah. Yep. Spec there, gone there's wrong. A, uh, so there's a spiral staircase right in here next to my desk, and uh, it goes up to the Department of Truth uh, <laughs> uh, loft. That in Radiant Black, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Don't sleep on Radiant Black. Don't sleep on it. I'm telling you, yeah. it's. Look, some of y'all, some of you, gonna be, gonna wish you had picked up that radiant black lot from a few weeks back that I put up, because that was another killer deal. I, just I agree, to- Carlos. I agree. Yeah, that I was mean, a good the, deal. The the it hero is- dies, and then he dies in the first damn page. Paul, that doesn't make any sense. I gonna, keep you, telling you, man, don't listen to Paul, man. You're gonna, Paul, you're gonna get muted again. <laughs> <laughs> 
Strictly's going to have a shirt that says, don't listen to Paul, and Paul's going to have a shirt that says, you're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it right there. That is exactly oh, it. Oh, right man. There. If people wear that shirt, I'll sign it, man. God, that's funny. <laughs> All right. And you're going to tell them you're welcome after you sign it. Exactly. Oh, yeah. man. Thank you, Carson. But the thing about Paul, he only says say, you're welcome when somebody else does something. Paul's hey, big, uh, Paul's big <laughs> deal is going to be the, uh, what do you call it? The hey, man, you just mess around, Carlos, because you're going to like what I'm going to put up next. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, let me get that. There we go. Oh, Here. look at this. Yeah. Look at how look at this strictly. He, he's been practicing. He probably look been at practicing. How these are. He's probably been practicing every damn day. I, I, yeah, this he, is he what I your sit video. in front of the mirror, and this is what I do. <laughs> what you do about four hours a day? Just... Right, yeah, yeah. So oh, up man. Look at, look at what Remy said, strictly. <laughs> You yeah, know, I'm Remy, you're going to come back on Thursday, man. I got you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they, they should be back next week. They they, uh, they, they they took some time out to let uh, Card Shop and uh, Weapon X join us. They, they knew Card Shop Reality and uh, Robot Monster Island on at the same panel would be too much fun. Oh, yeah, they'd be like, you two would throw us off. Like, nope, y'all can't, y'all having too much fun. Shoot two. All right, so die cast fold, so it goes to Mr. Nash for 70. All right, Mr. Nice. Nash, congratulations. That's an excellent pickup, sir. Wow, good, good, good pickup. Definitely nice. Y'all watch this back in a year and see if these boxes yep. are gonna be yep. crazy. Yep. Change. No, 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 Strictly is gonna make one of those black and white videos with slow motion. <laughs> but like, oh, like, yeah, like you did yeah. the other one. I, was yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I told y'all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> next year, next year, it's gonna be another lecture from Strictly. Y'all should have hey, bought it. Man, I'm just hey, if I tell you cat piss smells like polo cologne, you better go buy some. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> polo cologne? Right? Yeah, I'm just saying, if I tell right, you to go so get some, you better Nash, go. What are you talking about? Mr. Nash, that's hey, going to be man, we need to get a nurse for him. <laughs> it's it's, hey, uh, hey Strick, Strictly, this is an image number one, too. Oh, yeah, man, yeah, man. yeah. Strictly, it yeah, is. Yeah, buy all image number ones. That's right. Yup. All right. Uh, and real quick, just one more quick recap uh on the on the bite nows i got um this batman catwoman for 10. i got this batman uh 106 combo for 20. or kamali right here's the deal here's the deal if you want to do all three um i'll go ahead and do this yeah tell you what i was going to do this 20 these three books 20 bucks plus nine shipping uh, hey before, man uh what 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 cover is that in the front? I mean, what what it's issue just, is that in the front? Number yeah, one. Yeah, that one. Right. It's number That's one. It's number one. Yeah, yeah. And so the Francesco Ver, uh, Francesco, Francesco Martina Martina variant yeah, Martina. from a from a, a, cop, from a, a shop. Um, it's a shop exclusive. So those three Batman books for twenty this round, and then I'm going to go ahead and drop the price on these. Uh, Shadows of the Imp this Shadows of the Empire set. I'll take it from twenty five down to twenty. They're mid grade, twenty and nine dollars shipping. If anybody's interested. All right, no, I'm going to jump in front of the line just for a minute, guys, because uh, I'm not selling anything else. But I do want to kind of give a quick recap on the giveaway. Oh, I do have I a quick buy now. Well, I'm sorry, Paul. I'll get you just a hot second, man. Yeah, I got this. Um. <laughs> I'm going to offer this as a buy now just for this moment only. Um, it is a hard 9.4, maybe a 9.6. Um, if it doesn't sell, I'm sending it in to get it graded. Um, I'll do 280. It is a, about a 9.4, 9.6. It is a hard 9.4. I will press it for free. It is a new stand. So um, if somebody's interested, I'll do this for two. 80. This one has already been sold to Remy. So this one is about a 9092. This one is a hard 9496. I'll do 280 shipped and pressed. Damn, free, that, that, that's your that's your deal right now? I mean, didn't you want like 400 for it or something? No, that was for the Secret Wars. Oh, yeah. But I, but Did I think you guys hear that? He wants 400 for that Secret no, Wars. No, I'm going to send the I'm selling the Secret Wars off to get graded, man. It's a if it's a nine eight, it's about a seventeen hundred dollars for. All right, yeah, for the free right, giveaway. You right, car shop. 
Oh, I tell you, man. For the free giveaway. Oh, look who bend it. Somebody who? bend it. Oh. Wow. Lawman. <laughs> man. <laughs> man. Lawman, yeah. Oh, man. Lawman, I... Lawman wasn't asleep. That boy just said Ben. <laughs> God damn! Oh, man, he's supposed to be he's, he's, he's supposed to be sick, he man. A, he's sick. He heard that deal. He said, "Come on with it." Yo, oh, snap! All right. Oh, James wants your uh, Shadow Empire, uh, Carlos. Yeah, I got you. Okay, James, I will add it to your stack, sir. Keep in mind, it is mid grade. It is mid grade, but uh, it's a good series to have right now. Man, nice. Nice law, man. That was a man, nice one. Boy. I think somebody's gonna jump on that, man. Uh, you see, law, man. You need to screenshot that picture of his face. <laughs> Got him, hey, law, man. <laughs> hey, man. All right, so um, okay, good pickup, law, man. Um, I tell you what, law, man. If uh, I'll tell you what, I'll talk to you later. All right, so the free giveaway i added this to the bunch i might find some other wolverines we got to get up to 140. if we can get up to 140 in the next few minutes we're about 17 away 15 17 away i'm going to add a wolverine 100 newsstand Ooh. it's it's a it's about it needs a press but it's like you know even at their press it's going to be like a vf plus near mint minus yeah those newsstands are hard but i'll add this we got this is just the Wolverine lot. You got two choices. If we get up to one forty, if we get up to one forty, these are already included. This one, weapons of mutant destruction. This is already included, which I think it's like X Men twenty five. I thought hey, it's kind of weird because uh, you have to open it up. He said he sent you. He's sending you the money. Press clean and submit. Okay, uh, Wolverine the Punisher. I don't have number one, but I have number two. I mean, it's not like an expensive series, but I got number two, and I got number three. I, I wanted to kind of wait till I got number one just to kind of make it a nice, complete free giveaway, and then Wolverine one eighty. Or this. Hi, right, Paul. Let's get in here and win this. Oh wait. No, this is for just for the chat, man. Just for the chat. Yeah, I was uh, going to say that. This is the, this you beat is me choice, to it. This is choice number two. This is open, but it's complete. Superman 75. Adventures of Superman 500 signed by inker Doug Hazelwood. He's a local um, Houston resident. The Adventures of Superman 501 signed by Doug Hazelwood with a little remark. And these will come with COAs. If we get up to 140, I'll add these a complete run of Superman Doomsday Hunter Prey, all three issues. So you, this is basically a full storyline and an origin of Doomsday. I'll add these right here. Free shipping to your location. And that is it. That is all that I wanted to uh, say. If we get up to 140, this is going to be the last time that I'm going to show these guys because I need to create a randomizer and do at least one giveaway with, uh, with 120. But if we get up to 140, we'll add you know these, these extra items. So Paul, I appreciate you. Let me cut in front of you. We're gonna to go to you, man, and get your IG at oh, the bottom here. Finally, um, finally, I can go. <laughs> sorry, you're welcome, Paul. Sorry. Ah, card shot. <laughs> All right, I got my buy it now. This is a uh, Venom Twenty Six, Comic Men exclusive Peach Momoko cover. I'm gonna do a buy it now for thirty on this book. I got another Venom Twenty Six. This is the unknown exclusive secret. Tyler Kirkham variant. <clears throat> I'm going to do a buy yeah. now for 30 I got Comics Elite. This is the Wonder Woman tattooed uh, variant. I'm going to do a buy now for 40 And I got Secret Avengers number 18. This is the 1 in 20 Shang-Chi cover. Hard to find cover. I'm gonna do a buy now for fifty. And this series is red hot, but uh, Mike bought my my, my Earth two twenty five. This is Earth two twenty four. He he appears in the last panel in the Superman uh, uniform. So all these Earth two Michael B Jordan. I'm gonna do a buy now for thirty for this book. 
All right, and for my lot, I'm going to do. Oh uh, man! Just kidding, just kidding. Oh, see, man. Oh man. But I will do this one. Ah, oh, get out of here, man. <laughs> It's uh, I put it at a seven zero, and uh, it is a second print. So I'm Strictly start. knows that I don't own this book. So yeah, I, I, <laughs> this is for Carlos and Strictly, but uh, this is a second print. I'm gonna start this off at thirty five. That's a great deal. It's not been pressed and clean. Second print. Yeah, I think they did up to three printings of this book. Right, three yeah. prints. Three printings. And this is a Bill Sinkovich cover. When he actually looks like he can draw well. Yep. Wow. Yeah, you I can't Metro, believe how ridiculous Metroplex, you're style. right, man. Metroplex, complete. I have the instructions. <laughs> and, and on that, I got these two. If y'all know what this is. They have never been applied. Wow. Oh, excuse me. Is that to the USS flag? <laughs> no, that's what? No, man, that's to what the hell you don't see? G.I. Joe. Yeah, I don't say G.I. Oh, Joe look at James. That. He said anybody throwing shade at, at Bill Sinkovich, we fight. Yes, yeah, the Bill Sigovich cover, first appearance of the Transformers. But it is a second print. Thank you, neither. I appreciate that. All right, guys, timer is going. Sardi bit is only $35, second print. These books have gone up man it does need to be pressed and cleaned it's not been pressed and cleaned man freaking law man jumped, jumped in on <laughs> you should have told him no i didn't think so hey 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 man it's too, there's a lot of people sleeping, it. so I just thought I'd just test the waters. But, man. but this this one is for Strictly and Carlos. They both <clears> talked <throat> about the, this book. And they're revamping the Transformers series. And just like Strictly said, that uh, all three printings are going crazy. Yeah. And what's cool about it says one in a four issue limited series. It's only supposed to be four, but they went all the way to 80. You know, man, I, I I will admit, like ever since I've been watching the Netflix series, I've been reading the. Uh, I started reading the, the Marvel early. The, this run right here. Um, I read issue number five and just kind of keep plugging along, but definitely takes you back, man. Reading this stuff. It's good stuff right here, man. First appearance of the Transformers, Bill Sinkovich cover. Oh, card shop. There you go, buddy. Damn. Yeah. Strictly knows. I've ne actually never owned this book, and I collected back when it was around. I'll say this, man. This first issue has a lot of dialogue. <laughs> but, I mean, you got to, you got to, you got to, take your mind from now and, yeah, well, and set it back do, in the 80s. Yeah, what yeah. they're doing here is they blow up Cybertron and then uh, Optimus dies and Megatron dies. <laughs> All in the first issue, huh? <laughs> yeah, way, way, well, they, way before What they do with the other 79 issues. <laughs> they right? Become, they become way before I became yeah. issues. <laughs> way, way before I became Card Shop Reality as a little kid, I passed on buying this book so many times. Oh, my yeah, reason. you told me my, that. Yeah, I told yeah. you. My only reason I didn't buy it was I was annoyed that they had humans on the cover as yes. a little kid. Oh, yeah, yeah, they had the, yeah. So I've yeah. always passed on that book. So I thought that's kind of funny. I'm bidding on it tonight. First that's time actually uh, uh, Wiki, Wiki, Wiki and his, his son um, is who that is on the cover. And it's not the same name as the uh, G1 cartoon. 
Wait a minute, my, my, I'm slow? Am I yeah, slow? Yeah, it, it's good. It's, 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 no, it looks good. good. It's good reading material, man. Like, no, I'm talking about they're saying I'm slow? Uh, no, it looks oh, good. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah, you're good. Oh, okay. I got about 10 of these already, man. And y'all know what I'm saving mine for. Oh, look at Lawman. Thank you, Lawman. Ooh, excuse me. I ain't, I ain't gonna bother you, Lawman. You did. <laughs> you got you got made my day, man. Strictly's face was like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even tell him who who Ben did neither. I said somebody bend your stuff. I'm like, what? <laughs> really? <laughs> oh man. Yeah, right, Omar. You ain't lying, man. I passed on a few of these. But like I said, I found this one. And uh, for Strictly and Carlos, I put this up. Because I, I saw both their videos. I didn't I didn't learn a damn thing, though. But, you know. <laughs> I make no video of this, man. I mean. I gave it a. Here, I'll show you the back. I gave it a 7-0, man. But, yeah. It does have. It's never been pressed and cleaned, though. You go empty. And the front. Oh, got a little bit right there. There you go, Paul. Oh, you see that? Look at that. Look at that boy flexing, man. Look, look at that empty. Look at that, MT. That man flexing, <coughs> man. Look at that. Ooh. Signed by Optimus and Megatron, baby. All Ooh, right. You see that, Go ahead. Go ahead. You saw that, MT, <laughs> man? All right. Um, Lawman folds, so it goes through Card Chopper 42. Good oh, pickup shot, card shop for real, man. First time I've ever owned it. And yeah, uh, man. just send me a, uh, just send me seven, man. I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Yeah, All just right. uh, seven. Or if you want me to give it a strictly press and clean it, just let me know. <clears throat> uh, if you want me, I'll press a free for free card shop. What? Hang the? Code word strictly. No code word Paul. No, I'm not using Paul. I'm not using Paul as a code word. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate you, card shop. You're welcome. <laughs> Complete, baby. Look at that. White. Nice. Our phone. Yeah, that's that's nice. Okay, so um Top I mean, Dance really. <laughs> Yeah, I can't mess with that. Okay, so I need to let me see here. Appreciate your card shop. No problem. Um, damn, man, I need to ask a question, man, because we got a free giveaway to do. Um, how many times do you yell at Paul? Not much, man. Do you want me to to drop it off to him, uh, Car Chop? Uh, probably so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, uh. Okay, we'll work it out. No problem. Yep. Yeah. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I bet you're gonna cut the line too. My gut is telling me to go with a Wolverine question, so here's what we're gonna do. Um.
Okay. This question is going to be related to this book right here. Now, the cover says a lot. I'll take up to the first 20 people that get the question, that answer the question correctly. All right, I'm ready. No, yeah, Paul. I'm ready too. I'm ready too, Paul. I'm, no, oh, Paul. that's right. That's right. I'm not eligible this nope. week. Nope. I'm not so, eligible. Yeah, if you're on a panel, you're not eligible. No, uh, uh, okay. I got it. I got it. MT, the answer is not to rock number one. <laughs> MT, you almost got it. <laughs> one day you're going to get that answer uh, right. Okay, so there is something that happens in this book, and the cover says a lot. It's so not gonna, they become friends. I'm going to put in the chat. What's the main thing? Let me see, right? What's the main thing that happens to Wolverine in issue 100? I'll take up to 20 people. I don't think we'll get don't, 20 people to answer. Don't it. say they become friends. No, nope. they become friends. Don't say that. So let me know what happens in this. What's the main thing that happens to Wolverine in this issue? And the cover says a lot. I will just leave it at that. The cover says a lot. They don't tell me nothing. So I'll get. I'll let you look at this for just a few seconds. Here's what. Here's what Strictly likes right here. All right, I'm going to move it along. I see you, Paul. Look at you, man. Straight flexing. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna finish with card chop. We're gonna Thank finish you. with Thank card you. chop. Oh, awesome. Card chop. Have at it. Okay. Let's get some stuff going. Let's do an indie lot. Hot books. Something's killing the children. That's a good Ooh, book, right? Nice. Seven, what, eighth print, right? Yeah, eighth printing. It's got a cover that's similar to Berserker. You know, kind of a homage already. That that cover is nice. With the yeah. reflection of the monster on her chainsaw. Yeah. So. We got uh, Geiger number one. Very. That's a glow in the dark variant. Yep. That one actually shipped a few a couple weeks later than the other number one, but it's still a first print because of the glow-in-the-dark technology stuff. So we got that one in this lot. We got another little book that a lot of people like to show. We got an Invincible. Oh, that, that book is this hot, is, uh, too. The Amazon uh, version, number one, Invincible. Oh, you yeah, may like yeah. that show. Is that the new yep. series or is that the reprint of number one? This is the Amazon reprint. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. But if you've never read it, you know, you want to get in on that, you like the show, this will be good. We got uh, another book, Ha Ha, number one, second oh, yeah. print. Second print, yeah. Second print, issue number one. Mm -hmm. And then last, we've got uh, Spawn Universe, number one. Kind of a, oh, uh, it's a pretty thick book. This one's got quite a few pages in it. J. Scott Campbell. There you go. Yep, Campbell. Yep. So we got all these books right here in the lot. We're gonna start the bidding at a dollar. We're gonna do nine dollar shipping. Let's roll. A dollar for what? All of them? All of them. Let's go. Man, yeah. Somebody's been drinking. No, no drinking. Just giving <laughs> deals, man. Hooking y'all up. Thank you, Paul, for. Sliding my application in for me. Got you, man. We talked yeah, about man. it. What's, yeah, the start, what's the starting bid? Dollar. 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 Dollar, nine dollar right. shipping. I told you, you've been drinking. Big lot. Nice lot. Any of these books, if you've missed out on them, these are going to be good to get in on. If you already got them and you want another copy, this is another good shot. These are these are near me. They basically as soon as they came off the truck, pretty much in the box. I just put them to the side, bagged and boarded. Yeah, there you go, strictly. What bagged and boarded? 
There you go. There's a bag and board shortage, but we got them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm reading y'all's answers, man. Yeah, it's stupid. <laughs> They're just like, <laughs> it is yes. being silly, man. H- yeah, right. <laughs> childhood. And- <laughs> I love the chat, man. Michael's like, look, man, I'm in the, I'm in at the dollar. I don't know what y'all talking about. Yep. Right. Call, what did what, what he say? Wolverine finds out his first appearance. Throw a comic every time. Oh, yo, I'm surprised at how many people be lurking, man. Once the free stuff comes out and the, and the questions come out. Man, they want to get the free stuff, man. <laughs> we got Gaga number one. It's the glow in the dark cover. Invincible number one. Hot new show on Amazon. Michael's at seven. Number one. You can do the, do the comps and look them up. See what's <laughs> the last, going on. The last appearance when Hugh Hackman they was aged out. <laughs> Something's oh killing God. children, number one. It's the eighth print. But, like, you know, good book to back read. in at nine. Oh, there goes yeah. Remy. Remy back at 15. Yeah, he knows. He knows what's up. Hey, uh, can you highlight that, Strickland? Sorry, I'm trying to, I'm trying to populate the. Uh, I'm sorry, I got. I'm trying to populate the the thing. Oh, okay, cool. Wolverine becomes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, Remy. <laughs> I can't be mad at that answer. That's a fucking cool. I hope you win with that answer. <laughs> Appreciate you being on your card shop, man. It's fun with you on here, man. Good, man. I'm glad. I'm glad y'all had me. First yeah. full appearance. Yep. Number one twenty nine. Y'all be yep. memorable. You talked about it for a long time. You I know, on. man. I made the deal. I made the deal with Strictly. By the episode one hundred, I knew I'd be back. And he owns a comic shop, everybody. So y'all can hit him up. Get a yeah. It's located in Bastrop, Louisiana. Yeah. Get card him shop. Uh, Give him a holler. Get a pull lot. Pull uh pull this from him or maybe order a couple of books that you may be wanting. Yeah, hit me up on IG. That's cool too. We yeah, always see the, y'all see deals. the shop, man. I mean, good. We got overtime coming up. Yep, we're in overtime. Ha ha, number one, second print. Yep. Spawn Universe, number one. This is one of the variants. Very oh, thick book. It's got a lot of ask, pages. They're asking you a question, Car Chop. Okay. No, no, I don't do boudin, but but one of my friends owns a crawfish stand. My one of my best friends owns a crawfish stand. He's saying stand. if they buy some, you're gonna throw in a boudin. No, I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to mess your books up, man. He says that's the first appearance of Punisher behind you. Uh, no, this is uh, this is a poster. I do have on my goodbyes. I will hold up my two real original copies of 129. I'll hold them up on my goodbye. He said, "Close enough." <laughs> yep, close enough. The so going in the dark they, cover uh, number one. Did somebody fold? I'm trying to see. Who's in it with them? Oh, it's just Michael. I ain't seen Michael fold yet. No, man, you're not robbing me. This is a good deal. Whoever wants it gets it. That's cool with me. Uh oh, look at that. Max in at 16. Oh, Max. Is that Invincible, uh, uh, the Netflix edition? It's the uh, Amazon Prime edition. Yeah. You're thinking, okay. of, you're thinking of Netflix, but it's Amazon Prime. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Uh oh, Michael back at 17. MT, yeah. you gotta go a little higher. This is a good book, too. Some Skilling Children, number one, eighth print, with the with the Berserker homage. Max back at 18. 
Can you highlight ha -ha, that? number one, second can print. You, can you highlight that, that Jen? And then Geiger, this is glows in the dark. Thanks, bud. Which it will not go in the dark with all these lights on me. You're welcome. In the studio. <laughs> 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 All right, so Max is is the high bidder for eighteen. What's going on here? This is invincible. No, I what? got, I got, I got my, I got my. Uh, I, James is still in, so I, I got my. I know James is gonna come back. Oh, Michael folded. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, guys. I'm not even keeping up with this. <laughs> look what, look what James said. Oh man, James. Whoa. Gotta put That's you on the. Got to put you on the list, James. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Michael Foles, James Foles. I see Max. MT is actually still yep. in on this. Yep. So, Invincible number one. Yep. Max Something's and MT. Something's coming the children number one. Haha uh, -ha, number one. Second print. Spawn Universe number Magic one. Short Lots of pages. <laughs> <laughs> MT, I hope you win with this. Geiger, number one. <laughs> Go in the dark. First print. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's between Max and MT. That is it. How many books are in this lot, man? Uh, one, one, two, one. three, four, five-ish. Uh, Where are we at? We're up to what? Only, what, 18? Okay. All right. If we get to thirty, I'll throw in uh, Sons and School and Children blank uh, blank cover number ten. Somebody's drinking. MT number twelve. This is number twelve. Number twelve Man, blank cover. Been Red MT blank is cover. Into nineteen. We get up to uh, yeah thirty. Let's say thirty. Max is in for twenty. There you okay. go, Max. I'm glad I made you laugh a little bit. <laughs> Thank you, Max. Uh, Thank you, Max. Good to be here. They wouldn't let me and uh, Remy and Max be on the same week. It'd be too much fun. Oh, yeah, man. You two. Yeah, we, would, we, wouldn't get, we wouldn't get nothing done, man. We would get, we get banned. <laughs> Strictly bad. We got banned. <laughs> she says she has a bunch of blanks for number 12. Cool. Oh, covers of 12. Oh, okay. MT All folded. Right. Yeah, MT folds. So it goes to Max for 20. You can ask okay. her if she wants any extras for okay. 30 or whatever you want. That's do. cool. If she already has them, that's cool. 20 is fine with me. 20 on this deal. Very good, Max. Way to go. Congrats, Max. We'll hit you up on IG. All right. Uh, so let me see. Take this off. Take this away. Remove the banner. Show my face. Okay, so. <laughs> I'll tell you what, man. It's been fun. I wish Carlos could be on here a little bit longer because it's definitely fun when uh, Carlos is cutting up with Paul and Paul's cutting with Carlos. And I get to kind of get in the middle just a little bit. So, okay, congrats. so. Congrats, Max. I'm going to share my screen and just actually let me see here. Um, okay, so this was the question that I asked for the free giveaway. What's the main thing that happens to Wolverine issue number 100? I had uh -huh. 16 or 17 people get the answer right, and he gets his adamantium rebonded back to his. Mm -hmm. No, man, Remy oh, was yeah. right. He painted my 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 room paint, and then he he. Yeah, but it, no. MT's right. He found out my short box. No, nah, man. Okay, no, let him finish. So. So you know that, who, because the the main issue was that he went a little over two years without yeah. adamantium, just the yes. bones, and I think that fans what? definitely wanted him to have his 
sharp razor adamantium claws so they they bonded the adamantium back to him so x-men 25 right but who, who what you should have asked was who bonds it back to him because it was actually cyber who well bonds it i back. mean well, he i was just trying to, to make a, it very yeah, easy he was man. like trying to get, yeah yeah y'all know these free giveaways i don't i don't try to make them too hard just because i want a lot of people to kind of get in on the fun so hey man don't start remy uh, i know she ain't in there so so that is the main thing that happens in this what we're going to do is I'm going to share my screen. We're going to get us a winner of some free books. Nice. Me and, me and Card Shop are out. Yeah, we're out of this one. Yeah, yeah you guys are I'm out. Not, I'm not eligible this week of all weeks. Thanks. Oh, yeah. You're on the panel selling books. You can't be participating in the free giveaway. Oh, I tell you, man. What timing? <laughs> Okay, so we got our winners, uh, Nether Triple X, James Bullock, Michael Shutterduck. It shows you Gamer, Prince Zodiac, uh, Les Cruces, Les Cruces, 1971, Jim C, Wolf, MT, If You See K, Mr. Did I get Mr. Nash already or no? Okay, no, I didn't. Mr. Nash, Prince Zodiac, I didn't get him. Oh, yeah, so I got to take him out. He can't be in more than once. He said, him uh, out. Max said, car, uh, cash app, car chop. Oh, he's on mute. Oh, he's. Oh, I got oh. him in here twice, uh, 19, 1971. So, okay. Estate Comics and Tristan. Man, Tristan got in on the last spot. So that leaves us a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh, Stu Kids. Stu Kids in the chat. 13, 14, 15. 15 people. Stu Cat, man. Stu Cat, come on. Stu Cat. <laughs> Stu Cat. All right, let me see. What, what, what can I do about this? Should I put, yeah, I'll tell you what. Shall I let, shall I let Stu Cat come in this? Omar says he's the end. Well, who, who else answered? I got room. I mean, I got room for five more people. I said up to 20. Uh, but the thing is, uh, so you guys make it difficult for me because I have to take time to actually look out and see Prince Zodiac you already are in <laughs> all right Stu, i'll put you in man i'll put you in he, he did get it right and and everybody else has answered the question correctly already yeah max answer the question so you get in so okay i got you in there Stu. all right hey, hey matt just let max know she just won that lot from me uh as far as our payment goes got him thanks shipping out this week <laughs> Um, okay, so we're going to roll our dice, and as usual, guys, if we roll snake eyes, we're going to re-roll. So here we go. Oh, it's too late, Max. I'm sorry. Number four. Number four. So we got 16 people with the right answer. Let's randomize four times, and here we go. Number one. Number two. Number three, check our dice. Three plus one is four. And the winner in the number one top spot is. Oh, hey, Wolf. Wolf. Wow. Bang. All right. Hey, congratulations rest. to Wolf. Wow. So let me see here. Let me, uh, let me stop sharing my screen. How do I do that? Boom. Stop sharing. So let's go here here so wolf here's what you're gonna do you're gonna let me know if you want the the wolverine stack of books wow or, or if you want the uh superman stack of books just let me know wolf just you can put it in the chat or whatever and i will make sure that you get these 
Uh, but man, that that was fun, man. This whole night was fun, man. I really. You're appreciate welcome, it. Strictly. Like, You're welcome. Thank you. I mean, oh, well, the car, car shop. shop. Come on, I could man. not do it without you, man. I don't know Come what. Come on, you Scarch. were the MVP, man. Boy, uh, Paul, you hear this, boys? Paul, oh, Paul, Paul, oh. Paul! I used your catchphrase. Oh. <laughs> oh, is it my is it my turn? All right, I got I got this. Nah, man. Oh, look at you, man. Oh, look at look at the 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 flexing that's that's just taking place, man. It's just ridiculous. Uh, all right, let's do final thoughts and shout outs. Oh, uh, look at the one twenty nines. Yeah, man. This is man, this you, is real. You, this I'm is not, not reprints. These are the real deal. Car shop. I'm not impressed. I need to see one hundred twenty nine. Okay. Yeah, I need one hundred twenty nine. This is what Strictly's Sorry. impressed with right here. Sorry. I did my best. I you, my best. you need 120. This is you need 127 this is the more. No, nope, this is the best I can do. This is the best oh, I can do. Oh, you gotta have 129. <laughs> Damn, I didn't know they made them big like that. Golly. All right, yep. let's do final thoughts and shout outs. Uh, Jen, the camera's on you. What final thoughts, shout outs, man? <laughs> hey, uh, thank you guys for uh, jumping on today and supporting the auction like you do every week. And um, from everyone that bought, greatly appreciate it. And uh, I want to say uh, hi to um, uh, James, Max, uh, Beta Ray. Hope you guys uh, have a good Saturday if you guys decide to jump on. And um, this was a very fun panel uh, that we had tonight. And uh, everyone else that uh, had uh, joined us today, I hope you guys had fun too. All right. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Jen, thank you for being on Thursdays as always. Paul, final thoughts and shout out, sir. Hey, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate uh, Weapon X and, and, and uh, Jen and all the panel members. But uh, hey, Strictly, this guy didn't pay me, so you know what to do. <laughs> nah, but they, let me, let me they, block him right now. Let me block yeah, him right block, now. Block him, Strictly. <laughs> But yeah, thanks to everybody in the pan, in the panel on the in the chat. Always fun on Thursdays, and everybody that bought for me paid up. So uh, appreciate y'all. And uh, yeah, I'll be back next Thursday. Hopefully, uh, I'll be on we'll, Sunday. We'll see. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, we'll oh see. man. Nah, I'm playing, man. Paul, <laughs> well, uh, you good, man? man. <laughs> All right. Uh, appreciate it, Paul. Um, Final thoughts or shout outs from our first appearance guy. One of our first appearance guys. 129. I told y'all I would make it. First full appearance. Yep. Episode 129. Yep. If you if you missed out earlier tonight, you can go back to earlier in the show. Had a little Punisher outfit going. Even had even had the fancy boots. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah, um, I appreciate you having me on Strictly. Uh, it's a long time coming. And uh, I'll be back in the chat where all my other friends are and uh, look forward to doing some more stuff in the future. Definitely. Thanks. Awesome. Yeah, Thanks man, it was, it was good to have you. Like I said, I honestly wish we could have this into a freaking party every week, but there's the space is actually limited because each round would go for like two, three hours. Um, Wolf, I got your Wolverine. So, send me your real name and address, and I will make sure you get these. Stu Cat is hoping that you claim the uh, the uh, Superman so that he could buy the the Wolverines. <laughs> but, <laughs> Stu Cat, I appreciate you coming in last minute, man, and playing. Um, so, all right. That being said, guys, we will see you guys here next Thursday oh, for the next affordable auction. Um, but don't forget about Saturday with Beta Ray Jim. I'm pretty sure Remy and Max will be on board, and I don't know who else for affordable auction number 130 with a little bit later start time at 9.30 Eastern, 6.30 Pacific. That is it, everybody. You guys have a great night. We'll see you guys here next Thursday. Take care, everyone. Good night.